Is it time? It's time. Ooh, it's time. yeah. It's time for a test of our reflexes. A test of your streaming. A test of your streaming capability. Of... There we go. There's Ooh, that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody. Hello, everybody. I wore pants because I thought my legs would be in frame. Oh, I mean, I can lower the camera should you wish. <laughs> we don't need to. You know, I just this figured, because, you know, the screens are kind of far right away. Now. I figured there's a... Like, I kitted myself out with shoes and everything. Oh, wow. No, yeah, no, you look good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I might have a moment where I go, you know, Some get a little that. close. Hello, what? Well, I mean, Hello, in my what? place, you know, I'm used to, like, looking up here. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to, I want to... Hey, everybody. Like merge the two ideas in that I way. I do it. Yeah. Whoa. Welcome to the couch. May as well take off your yeah. Take off your pants. Take off your pants. One of my favorite Blink One Eighty Two albums. Take off your pants and jacket. Good evening, and I'm wearing no pants. Yes. Nailed it. <clears throat> Absolutely nailed it. Yeah, we're hanging out at Studio K today. Uh, here we might be opening a thing or two. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. all the things. This isn't a, mm -hmm. an official PO box stream. You. Um, and I, uh, I completely forgot to bring um, Jappers Don't Open Until After and Walker package. Oh, that's okay. We'll I just have, you know, more. spaced. We'll have more in the future. Like a lopper it, I completely spaced. Even more. I think we're looking good on levels. Hey, and you say things. Saying things. Stuff yeah, and things. Yeah, Same I'll, I'll even turn, yeah. My, turn myself down a little bit as I tend to get excited. But now we seem yeah. to be going in the mixer well here i was gonna shave my beard off today too and also didn't really have time for that oh i'm just a little sick of the beard right now i yeah i get that i yeah it's sometimes feeling like summer outside and i'm done with the beard i sometimes too wish to be <gasps> pothy's here pothy's here pothy's we should do here? the thing because i know pothy's <laughs> gonna jump on it immediately i will you know pothy's on lunch break and they gotta be here okay. except for Kristen wrote please open last with a heart on it so i actually don't know. That's up po to you, po Pothy. Pothy, are we allowed to open your gift? Should we open it first? Even though Kristen wrote from you last? <laughs> open now? Open now. Well, none of okay. you are Pothy. <laughs> but, I mean, Pothy <laughs> reacted with my face, so that seems like endorsement enough. I think that's endorsement. <sighs> they got an hour. Got an hour. They got okay. an hour. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's, uh... oh, it's heavy. Oh, this is heavy. <sighs> oh, baby, Pothy. Hi, Pothy. How are you doing? Okay. All right, so here's, do here's we, scissors. Do we need it? I'm going to, um, you know, it might, seems, be, it might be rippable. Seems perfectly fine. So, you know, let me, I, I'll, I'll be cameraman. Ca cam cameraman? Cameraman. I mean, we can, you know, actually, yeah, I do need those scissors. Enhance. Actually, that's not all that enhanced. This camera's too good at quality. Okay. I got it started, and now I'm gonna do it with my hand so I don't cut anything. But there you are. Hey. There you are. This has been in the wings for quite a while, right? Oh, oh wait, it's still a surprise. Oh, oh, there's there's deeper surprises. There's deeper. I'm trying not to show an address is the problem. I taped over it. Uh, it. Oh, the tape ripped off. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. When you open a package, things don't stay taped. Oh, I see. This is um. I'm sorry. This is uh, an right. insulated mailer. All right. And uh, okay, I require the scissors again. Scissors engage. I'm gonna move my laptop. How, how's it? I was very thoughtful and gave me something to put my laptop on. Oh boy, this is uh, this is well sealed. All right, there we go. There we go. I'm, I'm blind without a box cutter. The anticipation just keeps going. Inside the box is another box. Good. Okay. Why are we whispering? Well, you know, in the anticipation of it. Oh. 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 Uh, what should we read? Should we read this? Yeah, yeah, first? we should read. We should read first. Should we read the... That's common courtesy. You don't have to read this on stream, but do read this first before opening the package. Okay, but can we read it but, on stream? Yes, it's scanning. Waiting for Pothy to answer if it's okay if I read this on stream. Hmm. Is that all? Can we talk about the the, the, the lovely paper? paper? Yes. Can we talk about the themed paper? Read Old boxes. Don't. 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 Okay. Okay. Don't. Okay. Don't read. But it said read the first part. Yeah, the package. first. The, well, okay. Well, 
Oh, we're just we're just gonna have a moment. Oh, mm -hmm. same moment. Oh my god. I'm I'm getting this. Yeah, I'm okay. Alright. Uh th this is right. this is the sweetest thing okay. ever. This, this is going to the side. Um, I'm gonna set this down. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah. A, a, apparently. There, apparently. Uh, this apparently is uh, a. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> this is an actual FC guest book. Uh, so the way Pothy explains it in the letter. Um, so at at, at Fan Fest, join me, Kyle. Just sit down. Sit down, Kyle. But I'm I'm the cameraman. I'm yeah, off well, screen right well, now. Well, let's have a moment okay. together. Okay. Uh, don't worry about production. There'll okay. be there'll be times for for close-ups later. Very well. Um, Very well. Because at FanFest, we we actually you I should be able to see that now. Oh you, we yes. We had a, a book out that we had people sign. Um. And anyway, as as Pothy explains it, uh, that inspired her to uh, make. A book with messages from our from people from our community who who couldn't be there, what? and so apparently, uh, this entire time, uh, you all have been working in secret, sending messages to Pothy so that Pothy could put together this book of messages from you all. Um, so this is like a custom print. Oh my goodness! And oh my god, post its are a request from a Gearbox member. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see something truly mind blowing. Uh, feel free to show your friend. You should think of this as your first magical only from the community, th or first mog mail only from the community this time. That's adorable. Um, let's see here. Oh, oh my word. Oh, it is. Oh my word. It this is laid is, out. This is detailed. Um, this is the first page, and it has, uh, it has us going up through the. The freaking walk into the, the end. The freaking rainbow bridge. Nice. Oh my word, Pothy, this is incredible. Oh, and then and then there's quotes with our pictures in it. <laughs> Look <laughs> at got, that. We got a uh, Valentin in here. Uh, oh my god, this is that's amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, this all oh, this is from Pothy. Is a Garrett and Kyle. We thank you for letting us walk to the end with you. This wonderful community is excited to share their thoughts and their joy in the bromance. We hope we continue to walk together, forge ahead, warriors of light. Oh, Whoa! My word. Oh, I figured you transposed it. These are actual. No, they're like handwritten scans notes. Of handwritten notes. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all! That is a lot of work. This is incredible. <laughs> There's a hand drawn ley lines. Nice. There is. I don't. Oh my god! <laughs> he put the comic. Look at the, the scratch. It's the all here. Comic. Oh my god! Y'all, this is this is so amazing. Okay, so many people did this. We should set up a camera over our shoulders and just read it together. And make that like just a thing we post. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to go through this. There's this no is, way. This, yeah, 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 yeah. We we got to go through this. This is incredible. Oh my god, this is. I'm sorry, stream. I'm just having a moment. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is incredible. It's, it's got exclusive art I've never seen before. Oh my god, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> Noel, you wonderful <laughs> bastard. That's wonderful. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yep. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose to continue this. Um, we will we will go through this page by page together. I promise you, Pothy and, and community. We're gonna go through this page by page. Yes. And we will make sure um it gets it gets in front of you all. So also there's there's the back. Oh look at that. Yeah, there's the there's the back. 
Wait, well, oh, is that, oh my, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's each the, expansion. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Laying it out as we're walking. Look, that one. That yes. Focus. Pothy, this is absolutely beautiful. That's crazy. Oh. That's so cool. Oh my word. Thank you so much. This is now too close. Um, <laughs> dear God. Uh, that, 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 that's that bad. That is super touching. Thank you so much. Um, I want to touch it. You want, yeah, I just yeah. want to touch it's it. It's very want, nice. The, it the, is. The, as someone who used to work in printing, that paper stock is like bonkers. Ooh, that is thick. Yes. Yeah. If you handed this to me on business card, I'd go, oh my. Oh, yeah. You'd, you would make Christian Bale very ooh, mad. Ooh. Oh, does he <gasps> not like? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, get, I remember. Oh, I saw, but I saw a bunch of Jaffers art. There, there are so there's so, yeah, All your own warriors of light are in here. This is awesome. Uh, also, Poppy, I, I, can give you, I can give you this accolade right now. Your formatting is fantastic. It really is. I'm not seeing any stretched imagery. That is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, um, I need a shelf here to, like, you know, yeah. make, make good on... Wait a minute. What? No, that, that chair is in use. Never mind. No, no, no. All right. We, we'll put that there for now. And we will begin other things. We'll we'll begin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm covered in the insulation. Yeah, well, well, I mean, it has been, you know, a shift a great distance, I am sure. Also, uh, you know, kept secret from by Kristen in a secret location a uh, secret I mean, the it's, absolute it's the lack secret. of trust from Kristen was absurd the secret channel of secrets like I was gonna bust into the mailbag early I ain't about that life I, no. I, I will wait I will wait for my I squeeze my, my Christmas presents I oh I will I mean I'll yeah. shake them yeah yeah give him a squeeze I I well, I'm not gonna peek in the corners little, but I would have given it a little one of these but I am gonna go I'm not a monster oh, that's an action figure yeah that's an action figure as I kind of like hill yeah, in the middle of it. As an adult, Katie gets very mad because I go, "That's a, that's a bottle of liquor," and she goes, "Well," she yeah. just looks at me like, "How dare you?" Shake it. How dare you? <laughs> Listen to well, it. Well, yeah, you can hear <laughs> it. You can absolutely hear it. Um, Pothy, uh, d- how, how don't you dare super today? <laughs> <laughs> Said I want to thank everyone who helped make the secret channel become a reality. You're amazing. Literally couldn't have done it without you. Um, yeah, that's we've gotten some sweet things, um, but but yeah, that that takes a cake, Pothy. Thank you very much, and thank you to everybody who contributed. Um, yeah, uh, we'll uh, we'll put you on blast. Don't worry, we'll go through your <laughs> blast. <laughs> we'll go through the and a secret video of blasting. A secret, well, yeah, members video and can we wear gloves? Oh, maybe we could honestly, just in case anyone you know. We can't afford to be a member we'll do a double upload and unlist it and just drop a link in the discord for everyone. oh that'd be sick yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but we'll yeah. still put it up for members so that way you'll get notified like normal if you're if the, you're used to just interacting with but us then the YouTube. discord can have like its own version thing yeah yeah, yeah. i don't want to pay wall that yeah i don't want to pay wall that but i also want it to be kind of intimate so. i agree yeah, yeah no I don't no need for someone yeah. to be like why did this show up in my feed i don't even like books <laughs> I specifically asked YouTube to stop showing me books, and this is what I get. I would like it to be specific. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, mean, I that, hate that books. person. They have their own issues. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're anti- they have their, they're their own, own issues. Books. They hate the books. Yeah, thank you all very much. Uh, and Pimpy, um, thank you for the, the the generous. Oh, welcome to Final Fantasy fourteen. Is it is it officially over? Are we going to stop getting welcome to M Walkers? Uh, well, we have a lot of those to read today. We do. That is going to happen. We do. Yeah. I believe I believe we made an act of, of, of we have a group. We have the Welcome to M Walker Club. There's a great many accolades today. Yeah, yeah. So um, award season God, you, is here. Kind of, it kind of wrecked me there with that with that gift. Um, <laughs> uh, now for something vaguely resembling an introduction. Welcome to the Super Forum. For our Endwalker finale, um, if you've never watched one of these before, we started doing super forums, um, I'd say in Shadowbringers, I think. Yeah. Uh, what would happen is we would get um, too many messages of support um, to get through in an MSQ stream because we were focusing on the story and we were trying to think of a way to uh, properly thank you all for supporting us. And so Kyle was like, what if we just call it the super forum? We bring all the messages that we need to catch up on and we go back through what we just played because the messages tend to kind of tip us off as to where we were 
And it's also a really great way to kind of revisit what we did and help kind of take a moment and chew on the story that we just uh, that we just that we just went through. So we don't always have them. It, it kind of depends on um, how crazy the support is. But we kind of had one for um, every single section of N Walker because your support has been truly bonkers. Um, so thank you, everybody. First and foremost, these streams are a massive thank you to all of you. Um, Kyle and I did. Uh, we had to um, work on this document in tandem. Thank you, everybody, by the way, that reached out and was like, hey, would you like a tool that would do this for you? Let's let's talk after M Walker because I'm not sure we'll need a tool. <laughs> yeah, no, we're yeah. This was kind of a special case where there was truly a a a, a monumental amount of, of of super chats and membership messages that came in. Um, so Kyle and I just went at it by hand. Um, there were so many that I, I do want to. I just want to caution that if if we miss you, uh, I'm so sorry. Just, there are probably some messages that did get lost in the mix because. Um, when we pasted this into a Google Doc, it was 103 pages before we edited it, um, and I think the I think we're down to 10,000 words after formatting um, and and uh, marking messages. I know that we already got to, so uh, it's a lot, and and I'm very sorry if we miss you. Uh, such devastation was not our intention. Um, so. We also are doing a cool little thing today. So some questions were so off the beaten path or directly unrelated to the stream. So we're going to yes. put up a little doc of Q&A. If you asked a question, it was like, hey, Garrett, I saw a cool card today. Well, <laughs> we'll post that document later of us responding to that. Yes, there's a yeah, there's a big uh, there's a, a decent chunk of messages that came in that we did written responses to. And we're going to post that and make it available for you. Uh, and if you're watching the VOD of this, that ho it should be linked in the description afterwards. So please go check it out. Um, if you didn't hear your message read, there's a very good chance we responded to it in there. Uh, so without further ado, um, let's get sidetracked by the one gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, I grabbed here. Um, let, me, let me just get a name for this. Uh, this is from D, by the way. We'll be blocking my face at the moment. We'll change it out as we go, but right now yeah. he's gonna be our camera yeah, block. Yeah, because the footage you're seeing is from our Endwalker stream, and 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 we had two cameras running, but now we're sitting together, so we need to block the other camera with something because it's very distracting. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, as you can see, I was failing to buy Don Trail. Well, which another thing I have Poffy to thank for. We'll be talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Gunslinger right now, um, a good day to you, said as someone that started watching you when you already had 50 plus hours of stuff out, and when I said I was watching it all, got the reply, you will get tired of our voices. Uh, I'm glad to say it never <laughs> happened. It was great to watch you walk to the end. Gunslinger, thanks so much for uh, for being here for so long and going through all of that work of listening to our dumbasses uh, in the past. Thank you very much. Uh, and then er uh, Aurelio... Uh, thanks for the membership for 17 darn months celebrating the N Walker finale. You guys rock. Did you folks got, get any luck with the Dawn trail collector's edition? Anyway? Yes. Uh, Pothy was able to secure me a copy and I, and I want it known. She has been cash apt for her trouble. Oh, good. It's been good, paid good for. on you. So. <laughs> what uh, did you, did you attach your goodies yet? What's the eye level of the earring? I want to know. That's what um, I want to know. So I think the version that Pothy got was just the stuff and no oh, game code. Oh, sick. So okay, I'll cool. To, I'll still need to get my own game code, which I should probably just do. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Have you pre-ordered? Well, we've been so busy. <laughs> I, haven't, I, I went to lot, it yeah. and I was like, wait a minute. Do I do this to the mod station? No, no, no. And then my, I ran for it. My poor, um, it's tax time, as you all probably are aware. Uh, my poor CPA, who has to make sense of the weird way that I make a living, um, contacted me this morning and was like, I really need these things from you. Um, uh, where are you at? And I'm like, I'm very sorry. Last week was beyond nuts. <laughs> Just trying to explain, like, and Walker Finale was was lit, y'all. <laughs> like, well, you see, ooh, there's boy. a video game I play, and uh, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. She's more or less used to it, but the, the timing, oh, the timing has been interesting. Are we being in, are we being invaded? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> hey dude. The 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 door open. Oh. 
uh, I'm, I'm going to judge Kyle's parenting now. Absolutely heart meltingly adorable. Absolutely just so sweet. Um, uh, blow him up for a minute. I got to spend uh, Sunday hanging out with the Fergs, who were hanging out with my family because uh, they uh, they came out to Wines Earl Family Easter. And uh, now that I'm I'm going to continue talking about Kyle, like he's not here. Sure, uh, yeah. the, the, just the like saccharine sweet family, <laughs> just so adorable. Caught um, his first fish. Yes, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I took, I was a photo man for the day, collecting all these, these core memories. Uh, yeah, Flynn caught his, it was his first fishing experience. Yep. and he, he caught a fish. Yeah, he caught a little tiny uh, pond bass. It was cute. It was Had a so cool adorable. mohawk, quote unquote. Yeah. So he was pretty stoked on that. Yeah, the photo is is so adorable because uh, it's too scale for Flynn. It's like the perfect size fish for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Um, yeah, it was, it was very, it was very, very cute. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good day. It was a good day. Uh, a little, a little hot. I was very sweaty by the end. I couldn't wait to get home, take a shower. I was also covered in fish poop. Oh, well that, yeah. yeah. Um, the good on, you know. Katie caught like a five don't, pounder. It was huge. Don't blame him for pooping him. And when I was getting off the hook, he just, he just sh- took a, took a shit all over You think me. you're going to have a lovely worm and you're suddenly outside. It, you know, it's a little shocking. I take a poop too. You're an excellent releaser, by the way. We would all just, it was Garrett's official family job. Everyone just yell, Garrett. And he'd come running with the gloves. Yeah. Take care of the fish. Yeah. Uh, Boki said, now you can see the dev school will do the whole time. The splash screen of M. Walker shows Ultima Thule and not the moon. I was, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we have a super right. about that later. Yeah, that, that's right. why the moon's so with a hole in it <laughs> yeah no you're right you're right uh and then morgan parrot thanks for the super chat right now uh, uh said i wish you a good stream to all don't forget to leave a like thank you so much much appreciated uh jesus said little guy made up for matzia <laughs> yes yes indeed we had already caught the fish we just didn't sell the fish well we returned the fish to whence he came yeah we didn't we don't keep any of the fish that we catch Unless I'm in Key West, because those fish are delish- delicious. I do keep a few fish. Well, I was about to say, chances, you know, that they are. I'm surprised they haven't gotten sick of m- our voices, because my son will walk around the house saying, I gotta get to work. I'm so busy. I gotta get to work. But it's his little tiny voice doing his low voice as best he can. Oh, my word. Oh. I would do the same. I'd put on my mom's pumps and run through the house and yell, I'm going to be late. I'm sure she loved that. Oh, I'm sure she didn't think you were a little clack, asshole clack, clack, at all. Clack, 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 clack. Yeah, I'm sure she didn't think you were a little uh, a p word. Smart Alec. Oh, smart Alec. Smart Alec I was is a the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word that was the word we would use. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, uh, shall we get to the? Uh, we should begin with the paved road stream, which was our finale part one. On screen here. Yeah. So uh, uh, you tackled this part of the notes. I sure did. So. Um, uh, do you want the laptop? Would oh, that be sure. The easiest way to do this. No, I mean we we're gonna start off with some condolences here to people who may have had to miss the stream for various reasons, oh, or just generally had a rough day. Or yeah, or uh, our Wojo who was about to face a seventy-two hour work week, but was able to catch us before That's that happened. Went down. Uh, Adam, what has been uh, laid off and unemployed for a bit, but all the forms were filled and they got to sit around and join us for the whole day while they worked on a couple other things in the background. So we got to provide entertainment during that time. Hope we helped. Good luck on the job hunt. Hey, good, good, good on you getting all yeah, that. Yeah, we heard from a couple people around the job hunt and we want to say we are happy to comp streams indefinitely if you want. You can just yeah. keep watching. Yeah, just keep watching. Yeah, just keep watching. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Uh, Super Sideswiper, it was great seeing you. I remember you joining us all the way in. Heaven's word, storm blood, certainly. Yeah. And it was good seeing you again. Blessing in disguise, they were sick, but it meant they were home to watch the whole stream. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. And uh, Stevie had their first day off since January, but had bourbon pizza and the stream to work with. That sounds all right. I never had bourbon pizza. Uh, Scott's heart went poop. And they were going to the hospital. Oh, but my they were God. happy to have the stream. Uh, thank you for putting it in such a playful way. I hope you're okay. Tyler was facing a second time in six months due to layoffs, but was hoping Baba Ganoush would follow us to the end of the universe. 
I remember I was gifted Baba Ganoush, and I wonder <laughs> if it was them. <laughs> and Wintribute had emergency dental surgery, but also got to work li- uh, watch live. So. I don't like the idea of anything in my mouth being an emergency. Uh, no. Yeah, I hope that went well for you. Yeah, I woke up one morning and the, o- the air hurt. And that was, ooh. yeah, it was like, ooh, oh, ooh air shouldn't that's hurt. No good. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a root canal right there. Oh, these are congratulations. Yes. Ah, uh, so these this is the 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 club known as uh, successfully purchased Don Trail Collectors Edition. Uh, so congratulations in order for for Zenchi, Son of Myths, Carl, R, Sin's Home, Avain, Raygun Girl, Strider, and Bochamp. You were all successful. <laughs> all successfully pulled it off. Some of them using like developer tools to bypass certain web effects going oh, on to like delete all the photos do, and lower I the do load know times one of those names was a, uh, works in code for a large business that i'm not going to out them for working for oh interesting yes, yeah, yes, yeah yes. a little inside yes. skills yes. there i wonder if they were using their powers for for good or for evil for yeah yeah i respect it that's all you need to know <laughs> so i did want to mention taylor here who made sure the checkout was minimum eye level Oh, uh, we also had definitely was. Dread Kyler, Iris, Mox, Skilly? Skill Day? Skill Day? I always say Skill Day. They haven't corrected me, or if they have, I'm sorry, I yeah. missed it. Asty uh, said I didn't need to send a message last time, but this time I'm going to wait to pre order. Did this many times. Yeah, it turned out too. to be the right yeah. thing. It was still in stock the next day. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad they had enough. Yeah. Yeah. And then Amarin said, can't even log into the Square Enix website. That yeah, that was the case for a lot. It of was people. yeah, it was insane. I really enjoyed going through Twitter that night and seeing all the memes about you know four of there were like I think at least five unique errors you could have gotten. I saw all of them. I think it's healthy. I'm stoked. I'm sad there wasn't more like drama videos. You know, there was no certain content creator making it that night of being like, well, when I sat down, I can't, actually can't do the accent, but you know what I mean. Uh, sat down and you know the numbers and you got to run the numbers and all like the size of dawn trail coming in now there wasn't a lot of graphs on youtube that night and i was sad about that because i think it's an excellent sign of things to come the excitement of the dawn trail yeah i mean yeah i I mean mwalker is like like, i guess i guess the exodus started right before mwalker came out like people were still like from wow yeah yeah the shadowbringers hype was real um but there was it had that what I see is that Exodus had a long tail on it, um, selfishly, because we kind of came in like right as Mwalk had launched. Excuse me. Well, we, I did. You were already playing. But um, yeah, th- so to me, I look at this as like Dawn Trail is the first time like post this massive surge of new players that were all like kind of locked in and ready to go. I say that knowing I still have quite a few patches, raids, and trials to get through. Yes. But yeah. I, f- I feel much more... I don't feel like a newcomer anymore, and that's cool. I'm really enjoying it. I can't overstate how much I have enjoyed the talks we had with Jesse and Amanda the past few days. Those are really fun. Um, like, yeah, I was talking to uh, I was talking to Azumi, our buddy Azumi, earlier, and I was because because Azumi was like, hey, "How how was it?" I'm, you know, I'm, I'm catching up on the vods. How did it go? I'm like, you know, I'm like. I'm probably still the most proud of the roundtable because that was the kind of podcast I always want. I always looked up to. Yeah, I always, lo- together, I always loved yeah, that kind of absolutely. stuff back in the WoW days. Um, but uh, I, I legit think these last two, it's like some of the most fun I've had doing doing podcast content because it was just cool to get to talk to Jesse openly and get to talk to Amanda openly. Granted, about music, not necessarily the story, but it, it just it felt so free. And it's just like, oh. We could just have a conversation. I apologize for paraphrasing here, but there were some real kind comments on the Discord this morning of people just being like, I've never seen an interview like that. It was a completely different style, both of those. And it just showed your years of experience in it. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, yeah, that was cool. I didn't see that. No, that, that was very sharing. cool. Yeah, it, it feels good. Um, uh, so, please be mean to us because... <laughs> <laughs> just um, knock us down. Okay. Uh, I, I was uh, editing Jesse today and he was, I, f- I forgot just how damn complimentary he had been. Um, and as I've mentioned before, I look up to Jesse so that um, it's weird. And I've told him as much that it's weird because now he, he just seems like a friend, but uh, it's, there's, there's these moments of like, Oh crap. Yeah. Like I used to just like watch you and like, think you were a rock star. And you know, Jesse, you're still, you're still a rock yeah, star. Yeah, still a rock star. No, no, I remember. But you're a realistic rock star. We were having lunch up in the the BlizzCon 
hallway and he walked by during the here's the storm days and i was like oh my goodness i am a podcaster what the shit am i doing here i think i i think i've told this story before that i was probably the same blizzcon um i was going up the escalator and jesse was coming down and i was just kind of zoning out and i just like was looking at him because i was in my head i'm like i know you and i couldn't place it and I was trying to remember if I knew him because we had had him on a show or if he was just internet famous, but I had never actually talked to him. And it wasn't until the moment that he looked at me and looked very confused as to why this person he does not know is staring at him that I remembered it was the latter. I, I knew him from being internet famous, not because we knew each other. And it was a horribly <laughs> awkward moment. And I immediately averted my gaze and didn't say a word to him. So um, I'm glad he doesn't remember that. And Surely the man is used to be staring at weird. Probably. It probably happens. <laughs> I'm, pro- I'm sure there's a lot of that like, don't you, aren't you a little animated? Yeah. Yelling guy. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's, that's good. That is, there are a lot of things that's cool about doing this. Um, I feel like we do, we do spend a decent amount of time talking about the work that goes into it and how it can be tiring, but there's a lot of cool shit. There's so much cool shit about doing this. And that's one of them. It's when you get to uh, meet kindred spirits that you uh, respect and uh, they turn out to be super rad um it's pretty it's pretty rare that i've you know i've met someone that i was excited to meet and <laughs> was bummed afterwards <laughs> uh uh let's see and then uh yeah dark man was uh trying to get through the on the phone i'm pretty sure that was a joke or are you on no, a I, dial-up i connection? think he actually tried on a phone to order the collector's <gasps> oh, edition on a yeah mobile. like uh, yeah I'm thinking. that could not have gone well yeah and Tooney was telling us about what happened in Netscape, apparently, after winning their antitrust litigation against Internet Explorer. The people of Netscape founded Firefox. I did not know that. I did not know that either. I love huh. Firefox. Hot damn. Occasionally. Sometimes. Uh, I, I switch back and forth. I go back it's and a, forth constantly because yeah. uh, at some point, Chrome or Firefox will have so many inconvenient issues, I swap to the other one. And then, yeah, oh, and over and time. I'm, and I'm there for exactly. like a year, and then the other one messes up, and I go back, and it's this back and forth. Pelling each other forward. Yep. Yep. Uh, there, we had a note about M. Walker's release from Bahamut that said on, on launch, M. Walker had missing models in game and in cutscenes for some video cards and direct X issues, mine included, said Bahamut. Found out only after I watched someone else's playthrough, and I was like, wait, wait, wait what? I had this playing Wrath of the Lich King on a MacBook Pro. Oh my. I, I did the Death Knight intro. And I thought it was super cool. And then I watched my roommate go through it on his PC. And right before the final charge on Light's Hope Chapel, it rains blood. I had no idea. It never rained blood on my MacBook Pro. Huh. It's a, it, at the time, it was a super cool effect. And it was like metal as fuck. So um, I was very mad. Um, and it, uh, that was the first massive chip in the Mac armor for me being like, I kind of wish I had a PC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now we're to the stream starting proper. Oh, allow me to, I'll advance the footage if you would like to grab some in the moments. In in the moments. In I, the I, moments. I like that terminology. In the moments. I'm, I'm scrolling here to see where I left off, uh, which uh, appears to have been, uh, we got Jesus, 27 volt. Uh, don't worry about missing the stream, 27 volt. It's all, it's there for your viewing pleasure. Exactly. Um, it is. It has been uh, super humbling to see how many views it's been getting afterwards. Yeah, um, it's been yeah. performing quite well. Um, so thank you all for for watching and telling your friends. Um, and if you're hearing that, being like, "Wait, I can tell my friends." Tell your friends. You can tell friends. <laughs> thank you. And thanks for the grats. Twenty seven volt. Uh, C- CD Steig uh, said, "Glad I could visit from Ether Genova to join your end walk the other night." Grats again. The simultaneous min eye level extreme run of end singer. Or wait, Minai level no echo. Sorry, it wasn't extreme. Event Singer was awesome. Uh, I will look forward to your six dot X analysis when you get there. Yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be a little I'm bit. I'm stoked for that. It'll be a little bit, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> then, yeah, that's how I described it to my family as I woke up the next morning mm-hmm. and just like without words, just full dungeon master brain, and it was like. <sighs> And then and she was like, and then her heart like, 
And then it was just the jellyfish model again. But that's okay. And you're like, wah! And then she's like, yeah, man. The fight was badass. I want more fights to start with a cutscene where everyone else gets their ass kicked like One Punch Man. Because <laughs> that's what makes One Punch Man work. Because everybody else gets their ass kicked and then they, you know, he one punches. Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, Bravo. That, that's that's the fight. So there you go. Uh future what review. Else, what 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 else can you say? There's the analysis. What I already else did can it. You say about yeah. That? It's a great fight. What what more can be said? Uh uh Fast Turtle wanted to talk about expanse contracting, which it did in fact. Mm. It did in fact. Um and then <laughs> a variant uh that said, always makes me said cool. that with the OCE data travel or data center travel open you should have a worldwide meet on one of those servers once you complete the 6.0 and walker i would love to try and coordinate Ooh. um hmm. an extreme like an extreme or a raid night with our european friends yeah that would be that would be nice uh so some people have suggested we go to them but i'm like no 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 no. if we're hosting the server they come to us or if we're, well, hosting, if we're hosting the, the party yeah if we're hosting the stream yeah our latency is what matters that's <laughs> that's yeah. true yeah yeah um uh gunslinger during the start of the stream said uh you're still stalling going to be almost two years of gg when we get to, to get gg john Trail. it's already been over two years of gg we just maybe didn't have the name grinding gear yet no no we're coming up on a lot of people's two-year membership too so we, we gotta... really need to come up with a color for that uh kyle i see a note called fooling around which means we're into uh, ultima thule you are not um, true so proud of that that is why i mean it is a good phrase i don't think it's spoiler enough and i think everyone should rename stalling to thooling around and just let people be like what are you even talking about i'm in heaven's word i don't know what thooling around means yep just a bunch of thooling around so this is thooling around part one where i think the name of thool was dropped because the forum knew where we were going but we hadn't yet boarded the ship. I think more people can uh, understand stalling. I think stalling is more inclusive. Well, that's why you're here. Fooling around is... No, but if I'm not here and this does get picked up... Yes. ...and taken to poor future MSQ streamers... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I feel for I them. see. You worry about my impact on you, the community. Uh, always. <laughs> Very frequently. <laughs> Very well. Yes, uh, Kara, please snipe me in any uh, streams you come across. Yeah, yeah. If you could just snipe Kyle. Um, if you ever see Kyle in any other... Become a mod for everyone playing the MSQ, and if Kyle ever shows up, just snipe him. I will write you a recommendation letter <laughs> like you won't... But honestly, if anyone in our community needs a recommendation letter, hell yeah, hit me up. I have answered calls. I've been, like, such a good tenant. Mm. <sighs> wow. My apartment complex. I have been a reference many times. No one has ever called me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I was bummed. The one time I wanted to be a reference was I have a buddy who is now an FBI agent, and he didn't put me down as a reference. And my other buddy, we all grew up together. He was put down as a reference, and an FBI agent showed up at his door. Whoa! To to screen him in person, and he literally showed up at the door with the with the badge. And I guess my friend had this look of horror on his face, and the the FBI agent goes. Yeah, it's your first time seeing one of these, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, it's like you were about it. Yeah, and and he goes movies. immediately deflated. He's like, "This is nothing scary." He's like, "You were put as a reference for so and so." Gonna, you know, I just want to talk to you, you about like to him. come in and get some lemonade. <laughs> get, his, get his background. I'm like, that's the one time I wish I was a reference. Yeah, I would love to be visited by an FBI agent for like a fun reason. For fun reasons. Be very specific for a fun for reason. Fun reasons. Yeah, that seems like a good time. It seems like a good like what a good story. I, not that many people have that story who are criminals. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, Aaron Iron was really excited that Colin Ryan had stopped by. Uh, just Aaron, no one else. No one else was no, completely yeah, no one... losing their shit in the chat that Colin had stopped by. Uh, again, Colin, if this ends up in front of you, that was so dope that you stopped. By. I ran out of the room and was explaining to Kate. Uh, Katie, uh, the main character... Okay, you haven't played that much. This is a character called Alphano. He's basically the main character. This is the guy that voices Alphano, and that guy was in our chat. I was very excited. I was very, very excited. Yeah. It was super cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Kalar Media, thank you for the tour funds for the Edge of the Universe. We very much appreciate it. Um, <laughs> we did not spend them all in one place. Not not much merch. Well, and, the bill uh, kept getting smaller, you know, as less people showed up to lunch. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Also, just not, you know, Ultima Thule, mm, three out of ten stars, not a lot of places to get food. No, the place was kind of dead. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, a cough drop didn't even know how to feed people. So, yeah, it was rough. Not the best service. Not the best service. That's a good point. It's a good in universe joke. And lunch never showed up. Yeah. Uh, nasty crime boy wanted to celebrate the Dorito ship. Yep. Yep. That's not shipping the Dorito. I don't think no. anyone ships the Dorito. But hey, if you're into that, you know, um, what was that like my weird obsession? It was the guy who like was in love with this car, like physically in love with this car. Oh sure. Yeah, you know, you have the two Doritos and make them kiss. You, know? you are, you are, uh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Cool ranch. I have. I'm going to move right past that. Uh, Tooney was here with the ancient Greece fun facts. Uh, saying Thule was the furthest island on Hellenic maps, so very much the end or edge of the ancient world. And so. then uh, we have Draconis jumping in as well, means the furthest point, literally. Yep. And Ryan added on that it translates to the farthest point. Uh, the piece known as the farthest point in ancient Greece was Greenland, perhaps, which is a cool idea. That's quite a ways off. It's so much um, less despair than Ultima Thule. Well, sort of. Greenland was the one they reverse named, right? So, yeah, there was quite a bit of despair, I'm sure, as there was nothing worth doing there because it was <laughs> Iceland, right? Yeah, because Iceland was the sea. Is that still true? Or is that just what I was taught? Is this a Thanksgiving thing? Remember that? Learning the Greenland no. wasn't green because nope. they named it Greenland, so people would go there by mistake trying to settle, and Iceland was actually the cool place where you could actually grow stuff, so they switched the names out to trick everybody? No, it went to Catholic school. They just made things up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That in, that in Signature Islands is a really cool Wikipedia hole to go down. <laughs> uh, uh, Lunsa Kitsune wanted your best Tim Curry impression. Spice! You got it. Liminal space. My boys are all grown up. Um, that's still up for debate. Um, y- yeah, you know, Katie, most of my family members, a lot of people would probably debate that with you. I'll write down some references. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Danielle said, Astinia needs to be socialized like a feral cat. Uh, yeah. Well, he he's more. I feel like I feel like he's more like the domestic cat that hides when guests are over. You know, because he doesn't attack. People that don't deserve it, but he, he always removes himself physically from the space. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. He physically removes himself from the space. The space. I, I feel for him greatly. It is a, you know, he was a, a lone lancer doing justice. Everyone loved him. Yeah. And now he's outside of his element. Yeah. I'm excited to explore his character as he is amongst the lizard folk in his touching all the hands being worshipped moment. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Uh, Rockmall right now, um, saying they fell asleep during the Graha scene. Respect, <laughs> respect for making it that far. It it, it was, it is super it chill night. too with that music going. I I did I I I was I was powered. There was no universe where I wasn't going to finish it. Um, I I don't I don't think I realized how I was until we got to the talk to all the scions twice. Oh yes, and I was like, okay, all right, I I could do this on another stream. I look but, back okay. at that footage. We were already past 1 a.m. at that point, and at no point did the, the late hour even dawn on me. No, 11. I was like, really? I went to go get some water, and I was like, no way. It's 11. I'm stoked. Yeah. And then, yeah, we hit the talk to all the scions, and I, I watched back the footage, and I was like, I look... That's what the picture is on the thumbnail today. I was like, I look, you know, I look decent. Because uh, I felt absolutely drained. It, it, it gave me um, a really strong midnight release of, of a movie I really care about vibes yeah because i was i was always i've never fallen asleep in a movie theater and so i was i was always like wired for those things you know the the pirates trilogy when those were coming out those were big midnight releases for me the dark knight trilogy um trying to think of obviously all the i went to like every midnight release of the prequels uh except for phantom menace because i was too young but yeah like that was my shit man and i was never tired i was just so jacked about what i was seeing you know even if it was Attack of the Clones, and I did. Well, no, I didn't go to. It doesn't matter. It's too much information. <laughs> I guess I only went to Revenge of the Sith for the prequels, but 
Yeah, nonetheless. Uh, dressing up with Totaru is where we are now, and uh, we got our first of, uh, there, I believe there's a few in here, Fid Tips from Fitchell, who wanted us to know that if we complete the roll quest, we unlock Diability. I think that's an awesome idea. Do I unlock n- uh, No Tail? That's what I want to unlock. That tail bugs me, man. I I understand. It bugs yeah, me. I think it's you know it should be toggleable, or may, we don't have. Do we not have back pieces in this game? There, oh, wait, because yeah, you can get a backpack, but I think that's I think that's, that's like, like a wing. fashion accessory. That's like the wings. Yeah, everything that's a back piece is a is a fashion accessory. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like no no cloaks exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, Edna, Edna Mode is a developer on Final Fantasy fourteen. No capes. No, oh, yeah. That, that's true. We are heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ryukai, I'm sorry to inform you that we, in fact, did disappoint Tataru by not wearing our outfits. Well, I did. I just didn't. I, I thought all I, you I, did I, was a weapon. No, I glammed over it, but I put all the stuff was a stat upgrade for me. Oh. Pathy okay. has informed me there. I provided great content to the Discord over the weekend, and they are currently min maxing my gear approach oh interesting because there's going to be minimum my level requirements for some of the content we're doing and granted i'll be in a full full party so it won't matter i'll be fine but i could walk in there with sad gear that would require upgrading could you all plan my trajectory for post uh crafted gear because i have a full set of crafted gear so i want to know what's what's beyond that and i know we i know as jesse has informed us we were going to have to manderville all the way to the end to get the best weapons I'm like, I'm, I was wearing the Tataru gear. I think I have some like 80 rings, but this game has never really given out rings. There's no coffers for rings as you level. So they kind of let your jewelry go by the wayside for a bit. Okay. Okay. So just Savage and Tome gear. Okay, cool. I like that. I, I love hearing about it. That brings it. My favorite days of gearing in WoW, I've mentioned before, was Wrath of the Lich King, where it was very clear what you needed to do. Um, if your ketchup gear you could get from badges, which you could get from doing dungeons and raids and the current best and slack gear you just got from doing the most current raid and you knew what dropped from what and so you had like a, a i called it my grocery list yeah and i had bosses earmarked and i would like take the post-it off my monitor when i got the piece of gear off that boss i loved that and so hearing that it's like you know where you get your stuff from makes me very very happy mm-hmm. C- ketchup gear is in fact very messy yeah nerve do you know what side quests? I will do them. I will get rings because then I'm, I'm pretty much sailing pretty good with Tatar gear. But you know what they did? It's dastardly. You can't do 90 roulette until you've done the patch dungeons because they updated 90 roulette as they put out more patches. So you and I can't 90 roulette right now. We have five mystery dungeons or something. Oh, to do. so we need to complete the patches before we can do roulette. Yeah, and that's how you get uh, a good chunk of the currency. Okay, okay. The comedy. Oh, we need to go, man. I know. We got to get some some loot, some tokens. Do you have Do you have, do you have a name for the for the new, for the new one? For the new trial? Oh, it's, I'll, I'm happy to t- say it's a tiered system. Oh, the name? Yeah, is a tiered system. Yeah, yeah. We have three is different it? names based on eye and hair color combinations. <laughs> that's fantastic. Okay, well, I was, I was gonna say if you had a name, I was gonna, just tell them to like hurry up and get here already. I have patches to do. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's there's a range of names. It's a, it's, I'm, I'm very excited about. It's it, the most important thing is my progression through Final Fantasy fourteen. Clearly, well, the important part is that while I've got you know little ones sleeping on me, I've got you know tombstones, not tombstones, divine stones of comedy. And divine poetics of justice or something. There's like two different currencies. One is modern but old. And one is modern modern. And then tombstones are nothing but old stuff. Pothy gave me the whole layout yesterday. Because apparently people were talking. People were like mog stationing my gear. And like picking up my rings. And and like gagging in disgust. (laughs) And then like someone was over here heaving. And they're like it's okay. It's just 80 gear. But you know. The the spoiler channel was in shambles. Absolute shambles. (laughs) <laughs> uh, also shout out to marco thank you for the, congratulating us on beating the game that we also kind of didn't beat yeah thanks appreciate it it was a it went by and i know yeah, yeah it's good to see you marco yeah. <laughs> please get your you uh your vtuber set up i want to see the, the meatball oh the mark the meatball i want to see yeah, the meatball yeah sucrose reward said you'll take your free tail and you'll like it i won't I no won't. you can't make me yeah here he you is you cannot make me um 
And then um, I believe this is you talking about wanting to kill all of the Lala, or not Lollafels, um, Loperitz, because it's a rip engine way. Oh, yes. Uh, allow me to update. <laughs> that was engine way falling out of yeah. the hatch. All right, this... Oh, my God. We didn't. Yeah, we missed out on showing this wonderful piece. So this piece is from Zaku in the Discord. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. I never thought I could love a piece of art that doesn't involve tuna <laughs> this much. <laughs> so there's the engine way moment. Yeah. Vivian wanted to know who made you this way. Kiari, uh, Kiaria uh, said rip engine way. Mm -hmm. Voltaire wanted someone to quickly animate Kyle's madness. Uh, Nomad said, I guess the applesauce wasn't enough for Kyle. <laughs> he now <laughs> needs rapid slaw. Yeah. Stew. You rabbit stew. Um, and then Jesus just yelled Leroy Jenkins. Which I believe was us taking off. Yes. Yes. That was a, a delightful, a delightful uh, lead in. I like to think of it now. In the moment, I'm glad I, I wasn't screaming Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> um, yeah, because we're in a spaceship time now where our, uh, our good friend Ro, who goes by a podcast reborn, shout out to them in chat, uh, said, please keep all seats and tray tables in their full upright position. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I would, I would, I mean, if you're not fully erect going to Ultima Thule, then what's the point of all of this? Hmm. Your tray table. Is that just, I'd assume because the tray tables get in your way because you stand up and you're like tumbling over the tray well, table. I, I think the safety is like, make sure they're in the upright position. So if like it's a rough landing, you don't know, smack your Oh yeah, it doesn't like bounce around. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Black Mage Mog said, uh, Sid just shows up, puts a couple finishing touches, and now he owns the patent. That's how, that's how capitalism works. He hangs out with Jesse. Have you ever talked to Jesse? Yeah, Jesse really does like capitalism. Like she is capitalism incarnate. Hawking those alphas. <laughs> Mark Oracle said, I thought the teeny tiny bo toy boat was going to be named after Louis Swa after the speech, but no, past Final Fantasy reference instead. Kind of took me out of things. Everyone's mileage is different. I thought it was, but it was related to him. The Ragnarok part is obviously lost on us because that's not yeah. something we played. Yeah, it's but a reference to another Final Fantasy. I thought it was but... twisted around in a way that like, it was the spaceship that Louis Swa was like interacting with or was like the part that crashed down near him or something. So, you know, obviously I haven't revisited that footage exclusively to see what's going on, but I am going to because I liked the roundabout of him forgiving his father, which was important because you can't be a good father until you've it was the, dealt with your own parenting. It was the final, like, issue with Fortunell. It was like yeah. it was the final piece he needed to make so that, it, at least in my mind, he could be a likable character. Exactly. It would have been in the back of your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, th I thought it was fine. It didn't take me out of it. Everyone's mileage is different on, like, what is a, what's clever and what feels like fan service. Like, clever, I think if you feel it was clever, then it means it was successful. And if you feel like it was fan service, you feel like it was unsuccessful. That was Tower of Zot for me. That wasn't Tower of Zot for you. It's fine. Everybody's different. Again, it's grown on me a lot. Yeah. It, I, I'm, it's a great dungeon. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's, like, from a gameplay aspect, I thoroughly enjoy it on repeat runs. Um. I love being challenged when I heal it because holy shit. Uh, Toonie said extra sad. Fortuno and Louis had a falling out over Charlene's non-interference policy. Uh, they never made up before Louis Swad died. Yeah, yeah, I remember that heading into this. Um, I was really happy that they added that in there. Because I'm sure you all have been around when I'm like, I didn't need to know that. But here I was like, I needed to know that. I needed, well, I needed yeah. this closure. It was kind of a, a double whammy, if you will. You know, Fortuno shows up in Gridania is like, you kids. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know you. And then he's like, and my father. I don't like him either. <laughs> just go, whoa, dude. <laughs> you just, we just met you. <laughs> just a big Tommy Lee Jones. I don't care. I've got books and stuff. We didn't know about the forum and all their communication with Heidelin at the time. So he's just like, we're not interference. We don't it's, care. It's like a bad Thanksgiving without any of the ramp up. It's like you show up to a, it's like your first Thanksgiving with a family you've been adopted into. And they, as the door opens, they go, welcome. Here's our family baggage. As opposed to it slowly coming out as the wine gets lower and lower at the table. Yeah. He was yeah. thrown down. So we're up to launch time now. Not lunch time. 
launch. Just launch time. Just had lunch. Have had some ramen. Ross Henche uh, just hit us with an oof. I think you should read the next one to perhaps discover the source of the oof. Uh, uh, KMC ain't uh, saying that Alfie's voice actor is in chat and you guys debate not picking the Alfie option. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't changing how I do things. Now, to be fair, <laughs> for like, anyone, there was an awesome line on the table we all know we wanted to say. But, I mean, to be also fair, Alphano's voice actor destroyed that line in a joyous fashion. And if we ever get to interview them, that'll just be the fan service question I have. It's like, what was it like to say spaceship bullshit? Was it fun? Because I would love to say that <laughs> crap. All I want in this life is to get to say spaceship bullshit. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Uh, Vigil said a week or so after Endwalker dropped, Square Enix dropped the 1.0 trailer again on YouTube. They're cheeky bastards. I don't think I've seen the trailer. Obviously, we've watched the opening scene multiple times. There's a couple, because Shakal also said it was a callback to the 1.0 cinematic, and then Adam said, Grumpy Garuda is one of my favorite parts of all of this. Did you see the remastered 1.0 trailer? No, we haven't. I believe it is on our list for our first post-Endwalker react stream when we get there. Um, but uh, but yeah, the prime, the pri- all that stuff with the primals is apparently a 1.0 trailer, Interesting. trailer reference. I mean, it's it put a cap on the primals in a way I didn't think had to be done. You and I were both sitting around in videos being like, just take a break from primals. Well, we, we love primals, Temperance fun. This is a fun lore system you have, monsters kaijus but uh, yeah let's all take a break from it for me this was one of my favorite surprises from this entire segment like i you heard you've heard lord knows you've all heard us cook enough at this point at no point that i think the primals are going to be summoned for good for like a good purpose for a positive purpose to help us you know get to the end that was not that was not on my card at all um and i thought it was great and I also like that they didn't belabor it. It was just like, this is the thing we're going to do because we can. And so we do and they do it and it's a cutscene, and we're off. Like it doesn't overshadow that could, I feel like in a, in a more clumsily written or edited chunk of narrative that could really overshadow Ultima Thule. And instead it feels like it's, it's, it perfectly stays. It's welcome. It's the same balancing act they performed with the scions. I love this shot. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Final Fantasy fourteen has far earned its circle magic, and I accept it. And we've got a freaking spaceship on screen, and I'm like, mm-hmm, yes, that was taken from the Elegans, of course. And it all just makes perfect sense. Plus, the primals, it's all just so funly absurd if you say it out loud to somebody who doesn't. Well, the primals flew into the engine. Why'd they fly in the engine? Well, they're made of, they're made of ether, so the engine's running on ether. But there's, some, there's a snack left works. over, which we'll talk about later when I get to that part. It, it it does just work, and there's like electricity. Like it's just it is this this universal power source that can be put into a lot of different applications. But we had fun with Garuda and moved on. Right? It's not everybody take their turn. We all know that anime, that cartoon where you're like, oh my god, does everyone have to have to say something? As, as someone who's, who my favorite primals are literally Garuda and Susano, it, this is made for me. No, you didn't need to see the the big. It was perfect. Good King Moogle moment. It was absolutely perfect. Uh, the best primals got speaking lines. I was so happy. I was I'm, so absolutely happy. I feel kind of bad for Bismarck because I was like, oh, right, Bismarck. He just, he just talk, he's a whale, man. He doesn't talk. <laughs> I, I like that. He still got his moments. He did. Why do you feel bad for him? Goodbye. The fact that they spent any time with him and it, it's probably the most universally hated trial in this game. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, if you were making me list off the various ones I remember, I'd even remember Gigabeard. And his lightning attacks. I'd remember Ifrit because he looks like an alien from Aliens. Like, I, I could do I most of them. I still but. think Bismarck, the, the set piece of Bismarck is great. I love the floating island. And I love that when you fail, he eats you. Like, that's great. Like, that shit is great. Um, they should just make it harder. And more people will fail it and more people will get eaten. And then they will have, a like, a core memory of Bismarck. Besides just, like, clicking on the harpoon things. Uh, Daykoth, you're right. There is never a bad time to summer Garuda. Uh, Der Bursko said, Bismarck to Garuda, let them fly with the wind. Uh, Amarlian said, enjoy that ludicrous speed. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched Spaceballs. I need to do that again. Yeah, everyone now thinks it's a freaking Tesla reference. Really? Why? Yeah, Teslas have a ludicrous mode if you have a, the fast one. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's yeah. that's cute. That's why the really fast one's called a plaid. That's also a Spaceballs reference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chacal uh, said error boxes 404 reality not found. Yes, the error boxes that pop up. I love those. When Medion shows So that's where we are now is where Medion shows up. Oh, I'm uh, such right, a fan right of that before, crap. Right before Thancred's sacrifice. Um I think I kind of noticed it in the moment, but by the time I actually wanted to say it, Thankard was dying. <laughs> so I didn't want to bring it up anymore. Um, I always hear the the Ava music. Jun, 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 jun. When they're just like building the whole wall in the front of that TV that looks like a Transformer face. I'm very excited. I ordered some new um, die cut anime stickers because uh, the place I got my Chainsaw Man stickers from just did an Evangelion drop. Ooh, so I've got some nice. I've got Asuka coming for and she's going to get smacked on the side of my toolbox in the garage. Nice. Yeah, she'll be right next to uh, uh, Denji and Haruko. Uh, Haruko's not Chainsaw Man, but you get the idea. Um, that's the whole thing's just going to be anime sticker bashed one day. And I can look forward to collecting enough anime stickers that I like. Uh, Susano should have been voiced by Brian Bless. Oh, Brian Bless would have destroyed it. I can't pull. From memory. So you would know Brian Ble- Bless Breast as Boss Nass from the Gungans. Oh, okay, done. Yeah. But he does a lot of classical theater. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, never mind. Yeah, I know exactly who this guy is. Oh, yeah. Someone rid me of this turbulent priest. And just like in general, Black Adder, like just yep. an amazing. He does Peppa Pig now too as like his hobby. That would totally work. Oh, yeah. That would absolutely work. Yep. Sam Bright said, remember when I said that Thanker can hold his breath for 10 minutes? There we go. You cheeky. We were all thinking it. You cheeky Sam, you. You cheeky Sam. And uh, now we're to Ultima Thule. We're there. We made it, Kyle. The Thuling. Um, Let's get Thuled. Yeah, yeah. We're, uh, uh, we, our accolades for Welcome to Endwalker during well, uh, Ultima Thule go to Sideswiper, Avane, Bandit the Thief, Swordbreaker, Thornweaver, Metallic, and Rachel. Thank you very much for the warm welcomes. In some sort of fashion of Welcome to Endwalker as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Clark Cox and Raven both were like, for the love, do, uh, absolutely disable mount music and turn up the music. For the I song. can see that being an issue. It is, the music is so ambient when you first get to Ultima Thule. On the way it just turns on. Slowly. I'm assuming there's like no, it doesn't like back itself off if you go back to the older sections of the zone. If you want to experience that again, I think the only way to do it is just New Game Plus. I'm not sure. Are there, are there parts of the so, zone yeah. that I can go to and the, the music calms down? Because I love when you first get there and it's super minimal. I thought that was great. Yeah, I got, got to, it's going to have the New Game Plus. Oh, uh, okay. That's neat. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Kuro said she Ultima on my Thule till she see of stars. Shame on you. How dare you? How dare you make me say that? How dare you? <sighs> I'm just thinking of that t-shirt of the jack on my beanstalk, and I will not finish it from there. Yeah. Yeah. Our Wojo just yelled the whole buffalo, which I was thinking that a lot during all of this. Oh, well, it is the culmination after all. Yeah. Uh, remember the game's logo? That's No Moon Baby. Look up. Welcome to M Walker, said GG. Well, that GG, is super GG. cute. What what a fool I am for thinking it's the moon for so long. Not not embarrassed about it, but you know, you all knew. So thank you for uh, There was a lot of moon motifs at the end of Shadowbringers and, and Stormblood. You're staring at it for so long. The moon. You're just like. I still don't really think of it as Ultima Thule because Ultima Thule was like the shattered husk. It wasn't really like its own pretty orb. It was in such pieces and in disarray and there were so many other orbs in orbit. Yeah, I guess, I'm not sure exactly which orb it's referencing. Yeah, to I me, think of it more as a cluster. To me, it looks more like the one that's like <clears throat> kind of blown out with sort of jets mm. that you see in the sky. Yeah, like I think of the whole thing, like 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 uh, yeah, like it reminds me of nowhere from Guardians of the Galaxy. Like it's that floating head, but it's there's other yeah, little satellites and that's shit a around fun it. One. Yeah, like that's what it, that's what it really made me think of. Um, and that's high praise because God, I love I love the whole aesthetic of nowhere. Um, so we get to uh, as Kyle effectually wrote in these notes, Kyle being an absolute bastard wrote, "This is Thancred's sacrifice." 
I'd be great at naming DVD tracks. Where's your heart? I, you read those comments and tell me I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> Tazriel wrote, looks around, takes a deep breath, nods. This is Thancred. Lamadar, this is Thancred. Uh, Swordbreaker said, Thancred is no longer a now cred. Yep. I'm going to call that a reach, Swordbreaker. Fallen plays. Now you're cooking with Dynamis, which was followed up with Tazr Smurf, who said basically the same thing, except now you're cooking with Thancred. Dean Online. Who said, I remember reading this one and giggling and then not sit calling it out loud because I didn't want to ruin the moment. Um, Dean Online said, Medion says, this air you're breathing, this is Thancred. Dean Online, this is might be quite possibly the most evil super chat we've ever received. Well done. How much work would it be to take the Morpheus scene and put Medion's face on it? And he bends down and does one of my favorite lines in all of the Matrix. You think that area is that? Oh, that oh, I, oh, that chills every time, man. I just freaking love that scene. It makes me think of my Taekwondo instructor putting such an emphasis on controlling our breathing. Well, that's true. That's how you get power. You got, you know, you got to yeah. <sighs> still think about it right. to this day. I didn't stick with Taekwondo very long. Analia said gestures to the ground. This is Thancred. All of this. It's also quite the uh, quite the evil super chat, but we thank you for your service. Finchel said, I want to give a shout out to our community. Everyone has been giving great effort respecting the mods requests and normies out here, and I love you all. It's a good community. Hell yeah. I mean it. Like, legit. We, we love you guys. Uh, Kyle and I frequently talk about, like, holy shit. Uh, somehow we ended up with, like, a really well-adjusted corner of the internet. Yes! And we're very we're very thankful for it. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a break and catch up on some things that are happening in chat right now in live chat. Hi, everybody. Um, because... Uh, Nerho wanted us to know that accessory coffers are from side quests. I will do them. So there you go. Vernacular Ham, thanks for the Gemma Super Hat Chat, said, The answer to all gearing questions in Endwalker is Hildebrand. Not really... But it is kind of the like end goal we hear. You got to do it. Um, yeah, I'm, I want I want the weapons. I'd like the weapons. Um, I don't think the M Walker are the ones I want the most for for look, but uh, if they're also like best in slot, I kind of yeah. We'll need to do a fashion day where we just watch. I just like, don't. I just don't know if we have the time to do all that before Dawn Trail. Yeah, I know that too. Yeah, but I, there there will be off days in Dawn Trail where yeah. we're making a video or something. We could be like, hey, let's do weapon days, patch content, extremes. And raids come first, I think, for us. I think that's like our that's our holy trinity of the, the obviously patches you have to, but 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 raids and extremes. We is just, there a trial series? I haven't heard anything about a trial series. Ah, uh, I think there is. I would assume so, right, chat? I think there is. Just no one once ever brought it up. Uh, you can confirm if there's a trial series. Yeah, no, if, if it exists, you don't need to tell me what it is. I assume no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh. okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. The All effort right. was placed elsewhere. Mm, okay. Okay. And then Draco Chan in, in chat right now. Super. Thank you. Uh, fun fact for the zone. Now that they're not being crushed by despair, there's a ton of side quests. They can finally desire and hope again and ask the warrior of light for help with that. It's one of my favorite touches. That is adorable. Oh, That's a re that is a really nice touch. Yeah. You're the first person to tell me that. Or it, it, I'm, someone may have mentioned it, but I, I haven't, I haven't, seen that message until now that's a good way to use the zone yeah you know, because you do need to worry about like how much effort can go into something this skyboxy well yeah i mean which you want to hang out here don't you yeah you want to do yeah. quests here don't you yep uh talia wanted us to soar the azure skies selly beans said slaps the air of ultima thule this former bad boy can fit so many scions in it. <laughs> Allow me to, <laughs> to advance to a uh, Stidian sacrifice, I think. Oh, God. That was, that's, that's fantastic. That I never get sick of slap the hood jokes. Like, I think it's one of the highest forms of comedy. I love it. I abs absolutely love it. Um, I am a big fan as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Toonie said, speaking of mu music, have you noticed? Something tells me there's more messages in here wondering if we noticed the music. Because no, no, we didn't. We didn't notice it until... No. It was complete. But why would we? I thought it was really hard to, to decipher. I think it's quite... I think it's quite difficult. 
I'm sure some streamers put it together. Because it's um, building to... Where would I have heard it before? Is it... Because it, it's a part of well, the well, Endwalker it's the trailer? It's the motif. Uh, it, it's a major... It's like the Endwalker motif from Footfalls. Yeah. Um, and so that melody comes up a lot throughout throughout Endwalker. I was just thinking the the screaming cowboy, most of all. Also, we did see it uh, during the Primals concert. We did, didn't we? But I, I really didn't. I just remember... Because kind of in that weekend, I, I I was vaguely aware of Amanda at the time. But obviously, we had just avoided watching so many things. So I wasn't super familiar with Amanda. And I don't think I was familiar with Jason Charles Miller at all until FanFest. Oh, I was I was sent by But him. they had um, the To The Edge music video playing like the entire weekend in between. In between panels, if you weren't at FanFest Vegas, they would play the Dawn Trail trailer. And the music video for To The Edge, which has Jason Charles Miller performing with the Primals. But it's just like him, like, standing on stage and lights are flashing. Yeah, 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 but it made me realize who he was. And sure. I, and I knew golden tickets were going out for a meet and greet um, with with him. And so when he came out with the Primals, I was like, oh, oh, this, this is the dude that sings that song I like. But it was a song I wasn't aware of. And I was like, the song's cool. Everyone else seems super emotional, and I have no context as to why. So I just thought it was a cool song. Um... And because it's a little more like emotional, it didn't, it didn't, out of context, it didn't stick with me as much as something like Scream, which I still don't know the well, context for. Badass. But yeah. because it's this big bombastic rock song, which is much more my kind of jam for music I would listen to of my own volition, Scream really stuck with me. So I kind of forgot until yesterday when we had Amanda, uh, when we recorded with Amanda, the podcast is releasing next week, but we record, we had the live recording with her yesterday. I looked up the, the um, set list. From FanFest. And I was like, oh shit. That song, they play that song there. And I kind of came rushing back to me. So, yeah. I'm not putting on a face. Like, at this point, ever, I've been accused of so many, uh, you know, spo- by, I've been accused by so many spoiler police. I, mean, I, I wouldn't lie at this point because I'm... It's, it's it, at the end of the day, you could go read Wikipedia. It's right there. Like, going, you know, it, it, it takes effort to even do the spoiler dodging that you're doing in the first place if you were trying to, like, backend yeah. it and lie about them. It's all right there on the internet if you wanted it. Yeah. No, what really, like, for me, it was so cool to talk to Amanda yesterday because when she walked out on stage at FanFest and just that wave of energy hit her, Singing for video games is such a closed off activity. What classically trained singer doesn't want to absorb the audience? It's such a rush. Yeah. And not even knowing her in that moment, just being like, oh my gosh, she's eating this up. This is amazing for her. This is awesome. And that was obviously apparent in the interview we did yesterday that she, yes, and did. She did find it quite amazing and awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gabgano wanted to talk about the relic grind right now, said that uh, people tend to complain about there not being a quote-unquote grind for the relics, but Gabgano says that the fact that you need to do all the Manderville quests seems more than enough, and they think that adding a fate grind on top would be a bit too much. I agree with that. Makes sense. I think that's fair. Um, I'll weigh back in on this when we do it. Also, I'd be curious to see, like, in the future, if they change that, if they do Manderville again, because obviously with COVID, you had to make certain budgetary constraints on the content you create if you have all this content right here with no prize at the end attack like that just sounds economical yeah yeah and then uh james thomas super the music buildup is though sung by the scions maybe played by the scions because all the lyrics come in at once the buildup is more from like different layers of instruments than from the lyrics as i remember it unless it's faint in the background yeah the uh the tracks themselves are called Echoes in the distance and then closing the distance instrumental and then close the distance. So it seems like there's strictly an instrumental one that comes on mm. before they add on the lyrics. Yeah. Graha's the lead singer. <laughs> he brings it online. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, he's the Crystal Legs arc. He's used to addressing the crowd. That makes sense. I like that canon. I like that. I like that head canon a lot. I like that quite a bit. Um, so then we get to meeting the Ia. Oh, allow me. Jay's Jay Mickey's art or yep. Jay's Mickey art. Yeah, allow allow me. Oh no, is this a special file? It's a web P. Oh, I, I got web P'd. Okay. Was this the GIF? 
No, this is this is the there was a gif. The one a on gift? Twitter that I, I added you at. You even oh, were, oh, the, you replied to it. Yes, yes. You're talking about the Transformers yes. gift. No, no. This was the Mickey art from. Uh, let me see. What can I? Here we go. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna <laughs> just give it a quick save. We're doing uh, we're doing on air surgery to show you this art from from Jay. There we go. <laughs> I love this. There we go. I love the please don't get us in legal trouble. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so freaking good. I love it. Jay, thank you for that. This made me laugh. So Kyle and I saw this when we turned the stream off. It's like, you know, whatever hour it was. And we're just we're just dying. Or no, no, this was the first stream. So it was a reasonable hour, but we were dying. We were absolutely dying. <laughs> just Kyle doing a Mickey voice. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> It oh, took, we are the ER. It honestly took me forever because I loved how it evolved. Like it became a character, and I've always enjoyed, well, Tim Curry and Tim Curry and Legend and this like really like sing songy. Uh, oh, you know who does it really, really well is Avatar Last Airbender Co., who's very like, oh, welcome, Avatar. And then he gets in your business and he's like, oh, be scared. And I was like, why, why, why is this voice like in my head? What was this voice? And it finally dawned upon me. I believe it was called him in Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Power. And he had claws. Powerpuff Girls. And he go, Powerpuff Girls. I want to murder you. And so I like I, that whole night uh, I was just. The, who was the head teacher in Aubrey Monsters? He was the same way. He would talk like this and then. It is a bleeder kitten in my office. I love that. I absolutely it's a love. Great I love that rope. What that, would you that, call it? That rubber band juxtaposition. The, the Grommel, I believe, was his name in uh, Real Monsters. Oh yeah, you didn't grow up in Nick too. No, but I, I remember seeing some of that. I love someone who just rubber bands up to the high and just gets super angry yes, and yells yes. at you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, I loved Real Monsters. Lady Neko said, I want to pop out head sometimes to explain things to people at work. I do too. I need that. You know what it's like to be friends with Kyle? It is so hard sometimes. <laughs> Your head would pop off? Yes, just just to tell me things. Uh, Kura said, did anyone mention the door to Dynamis? No, no, no one did. The door to Dynamis? No, no one did. No. Just is this a thing? Popped open like a TARDIS. Oh. Uh, Fidcho with another Fid fact said, that is the we are... Uh, you get it from fate currency. They're required to summon the S rank in the soon. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. And then we clearly are at the end of the stream because it says trust in John, which uh, <laughs> uh, Fallen plays Tyler, Versen, Comor, It Is Lupus, Aerophage, Jorm, and Griffcat. Thank you all for the supers. They all trusted in John. They're not wrong. Actually, some of them were like, you have two choices, as Tyler put it. You can do... What we did and never leave or leave now. Yeah, because the next quest would have had you go in with like Orion J and that would have been set up for more than just like not talking to boogers there. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what is the what's with Chi and five people have been typing that in every stream? Oh, I didn't I see this I previously. What, it, what is it? What is it? This has been in like the last three streams. What? What is it? I don't know. Huh? Oh, is that? Oh, oh, because five, because, you know, you'd be calling out in chat. So it's oh, a thing that gets repeated a lot when okay. people are summoning the boss. Okay. So y'all are just trying to horribly distract us. Okay. Well, they're enjoying, you know, their depth of the moment. Yeah. You know, the slop A's of sorts. Yeah. Mark, you are not the first to uh, suggest the travel quest for Endwalker. Jesse himself is suggesting. Yeah, that. he actually did suggest those, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, and then Karu wants to know if you're saying that Amanda is a primal. Yes. I would say it was the opposite, that she was enthralled. Well, it was a co-thrall. Uh, Amanda is the vessel like... Don't, no one clipped this and sent it to her because she hasn't gotten to this point in Heaven's Word yet, but Amanda is the vessel like Iceheart, and the Crystal Mommy is the primal she becomes mm, Yeah, like Shiva. That is true. Or you could go with the Knights of the Round or wh whoever else summons primals. Oh, that was the hardest part for me not to spoil yesterday because I think she's really going to enjoy Eden when she gets there and gets to hear her own song there. 
Yes. Because she was talking about the song that plays when you fight Reen. I, I hope you all caught my Jesse poker faces, and and I, I hope I hope you noticed them, because I had to engage it multiple times yesterday. That one, I was like, oh, you're... Because yeah. imagine hearing, like, not even knowing you get to sing over that part. That part was badass. I love that part of Eden. It's freaking great. Um... Yeah, and uh, those will be coming out. They're they're unlisted on purpose, and they're not on the feed yet on purpose. We're doing some editing. I want to get some clips in there. Um, basically treat it like an MSQ video almost. Um, oh, she sings it on the album there? Well, still, I mean, it's a badass, badass rendition. Oh, okay. Well, still, I'm excited for her to get the context for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're on to the finale, Kyle. Okay. We are, we are on to the finale. We're Advance on. the footage. Yeah. I am going to, uh, I wish I had brought a mouse for this. Do I you desire a mouse? I, I have mouse. Uh, it's, so far it's working. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Just talk to the lovely chat while I, okay. while I try and, while I, tr while I focus really Oh yes, hard. you, you, you copy paste. Yeah, I'm trying, um. I'm going to move our accolades to the bottom, which I meant to do before mm. formatting everybody. Kyle can attest I am, uh. I'm a stickler about formatting. Well, you are a graphic designer. You know, your eyeballs have extra wires running to them, all that sort of thing. <laughs> That's not how it works. That is, that is how it works. <laughs> your brain is dead. How do you think? You know, you know I'm not going to go there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now I want you to go there. No, no, I'm not. No, please go there. Well, because the, the part that has your foot close to your fetish in your brain and they touch each other and you go, oh my God, I have a foot, right? Like, that's probably how it works because brains are like these piles of goo. And so, you know, why do people have something like that in their lives? Well, it's probably because, you know, the brains are full of wrinkles and, the, you know, this part that's like, hey, feet are important to me and I like walking. And this part that says, wow, I, I'm kind of into that. I don't think that's how that happens. Up, I know. think I think you have a Twitter account and everyone keeps posting Tifa's feet. Well, that you're, and you know, it's you nature see versus it, you see nurture enough in times, the And you're like, well, I like Tifa. And, and therefore I keep looking at these feet. That's where I that's where I think. Yeah, well, I think that's, you know, the the symptom, but not the condition. There's been so many goddamn screenshots of Tifa's feet. Really? On, on my wear, Twitter like, feed. Sandals or something? I don't know if, if it's an official thing from the game or if it's like a fan-made thing of her posing, but I have seen this damn image, and it looks like it's in-game graphics, so I don't know if it's like a source filmmaker or what, but uh, now we're seriously having this conversation. Yeah. But yeah, it's all over my Twitter feed. It's fascinating. I just keep seeing it. I just keep seeing it. What if I just think feet are cute and I'm not weird about it? But that that's fine, too. Yeah, you don't have to, like post about it okay yeah all right that's fine all right thank you for being my therapist for you're welcome 30 seconds yeah, you, you, much that, that's healthy what much appreciated i was about much to read that's why i was pausing not because i when was did this become a tarantino conversation no Every, I, I mean everything given a long enough timeline becomes a tarantino conversation no, i wasn't pausing because i was struggling to not think about the thing i was not saying i was struggling because it's hard for me to read and i was attempting to gather myself enough to read the next super chat we got which was <laughs> unrelated to the conversation maxio said yeshtola to the ia don't care didn't ask and that is so true i i i was hoodwinked yeah because I thought she was going to, you know, and, and it ended up being that she had the like holes that she wouldn't want to be lonely in that decision. And I thought that was beautiful. Yeah. In the end. And then Komor was informing us, thanks for the super chat just now, Komor, that she is always in five. It doesn't matter when it last spawned or when it will next spawn. She is always in five. Always available. Okay. All right. All right. So it's just that it, words don't have meaning. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Dolph Grimm said, I waited so long for Chi once that one of the other people waiting was typing and copy-pasting the whole Shrek movie line by line. So yes, <laughs> Chi is, in fact, in five. Oh, huh. yep. The internet. Lynn Co. Super... Speaking of Amanda, hey, Kyle. Kristen sings Final Fantasy XIV covers when? Well, first she needs to be able to breathe. <laughs> so that's, you know, as you may have noted from the conversation yesterday with Amanda, oh God. breath is very important. And when you have... A third trimester pregnancy, uh, that takes up lung room, you know? Yes. Actually, your organs do not get smaller. 
So I have no doubt Kristen would love to sing for you at some point. Compacting like a human sausage. Yeah, very much so. So, yeah, I I have no doubt that if asked, Kristen would love to sing for you all. But yeah, yeah. The first time I ever had a friend get pregnant and they were just like, let me tell you what it feels like to have your intestines pushed up against your lungs. I was like, oh, my God, I never thought about that. Yeah, well, and then like they don't always kick forward. Like they all people are like, oh, baby's kicking. You you just assume they're oriented head to toe. No. Yeah, they're just like there's no game like a little Bart. You know, there's absolutely no guarantee. Yeah. Oh, baby's kicking anybody want to touch. Right. They don't. They're not telling you about all the times they're getting punched in the heart, punched in the lungs. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, and then Eka just says, "Show feet." Why did this happen? Oh, because I'm me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought we. <laughs> you started it. I finished I, it. I I dismissed <laughs> and then was urged and so I dismissed it again. I forget I even say these things. Can confirmed squished for yeah, Misha. Yeah, exactly. It's a. Uh, I'm sure we 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 seem like uh, dumb dudes that never considered it, but yeah, I mean that. Oh. Uh, I never thought about it. Speaking of which, because because oh. they're out there, oh, in the house. If any of y'all parents or know somebody who's a parent and know like good gifts to get them, because Kristen's birthday is like in fourteen days, and there's a good chance she'll. But we'll have the kid like right before that, and I want to get like cool stuff. But you look up gifts for recent moms, and it's just they're awful. It's all that's the stupidest stuff you've ever seen. Yeah, that shit hasn't been updated since I feel like the 80s. Like it's like the same kind of gift. It's just it's stupid. It's very also, yeah, it's not like it's your first kid either. So it's not like you need no, yeah, like, I don't the special bottles pillows or, and yeah, we have yeah, the supplies that stuff. So, so if anybody knows like cool stuff and she games too like actual cool stuff let me know in the discord like just like help me out a bit yeah yeah like actually I, if, for me too as someone who would like to give you any suggestions for like to make like multitasking more comfortable like if you're in say a rocker but also maybe playing some games yeah like is there i would like some suggestions hit me up in the discord thank you yeah but privately because <laughs> Kristen's in there I thought, right. about, I thought about the Steam Deck. I did think about that. Oh, shit, that but I know it's pretty cool. But then I'm... The, that, see, I'm worried about, the, like, the... But what about the PS5? And then I got to get a PS5 Portal, too. Because it's just, like, if I if I oh, crack dude, that, I got to... Dude, a PS5 Portal. I, I was thinking know. about that. I think, fucking... Yeah, because she's so into the Dark Souls. That's kind and... of... A, it's a weird... I still think it's a weird piece of tech. But that's, like, the perfect use case scenario. I was thinking about that. That's a perfect use... Can we actually yeah. hear us? Are we... Are we... Was it supreme too much? Does, does anybody have... That do you do you like it? Give me a review of it. It it looks nice. Yeah. Is yeah. the Steam LED? Is Steam Deck OLED? Oh, oh. They have an OLED. Oh yeah. That's they, the oh, top. It's special that's the top tier upper echelon one. Okay. If I I really want one, if I get one, I'm probably gonna <laughs> get that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea why he's laughing. Um. Well, uh, <laughs> Darley has ended the conversation. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Uh, n- 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 you know, moving on. Moving on. Th- please, uh, th- thank you for your help in advance, everyone. I'm glad we could help out today. <laughs> I don't. What? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know, the people, greatest community in gaming. People always say you're going to cry in Endwalker, but they never tell you. <laughs> they never tell you you're going to help someone get there. They never tell you you're going to help someone get there. Oh, uh, lovely. Four. So, Endwalker finale. Um, Endwalker. Uh, there's two clubs I want to start with because they deserve a special recognition because um, there's a the MS Curator Club. Because Craftless Rogue, member for one year, wrote It's Been an Honor, Boys, and No, John. It's been an honor for us. Hell Thank yeah, you for man. all your hope. Thank help. you for your, your hope. hope. Thank you for all your help and your hope that we wouldn't absolutely screw this up. Um, and then there's the mod club because our own Jordan Kennedy super chatted. Uh, been an honor doing my part. Started from swatting chat bots while Kyle did Totorak to helping out on the Discord and chat. Happy to see you and walk. Um, thank you, Jordan. And thank you to the whole mod team. Um, we really can't thank you enough. I know we've dropped you some messages and stuff, but... Uh, we never had streams like this with this many people. Even I would say the smallest 14 stream we've had was 
easily three times the biggest stream we ever had for our Heroes of the Storm content. So, um, legitimately, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for all of your work. We really appreciate it. So thanks, everybody. Um, and also, uh, just because, you know, I didn't, there's not a club here. Shout out to our free company leadership. Hell yeah. Well. Um, I cannot overstate how much we don't do anything <laughs> when it comes to the free company. We are but humble members of the free company. It's true. Uh, your officers uh, and uh, yeah, your, the the officer group, um, they're responsible for like the whole damn thing. Um, the events that go on, that's all them. That's not us. Um, it's it's uh, the best guild I've ever been a part of in any one of these MMOs that I've played. So seriously, shout out to you. Hell yeah. GG officers, y'all slap. So thank you. Um, and then, yeah, uh, similar to the last one, there was, uh, there were some folks not, you know, maybe not having as good of a day as we were having. And I just wanted to give them a shout out because, you know, if you're having a rough day, uh, I want to, I want to, I want you to feel seen if you're going to go through all the trouble, even sending a super. So, uh, Nani Nani, um, sadly lost a friend the same week we were finishing and Walker. So Nani, um, if, if this gets to you, um, we're so sorry, please have our condolences. Um, and, uh, as I always say, I hope our absurdity was some sort of comfort for you. Um, this is the, I, I mean it when I say this is the type of time where I'm like, I wish I could just reach the internet and give you a hug. Um, so I hope you're, I hope you're as well as, as you could hope to be in a moment like that. Uh, and then, uh, uh, Dalarp guy, uh, also was recently laid off, uh, but sent a super this is calling it their entertainment budget for the week. And this again, made me think we're good to comp you. Yeah. For you can, yeah. You can Just keep watching. Keep watching. Thank stream. you. Yeah. But That's awesome. thank you. And hope your job hunt goes well. Um, and, uh, smooth, maybe, maybe swift for you. Um, and then we've got, uh, oh, I meant to set that for the end, too. Remind me to come back to that, Kyle. Okay, reminding. Remind me to come back to that. I clearly went into a fugue state formatting this. All right, here we go. Start of stream. Start of stream with Mel the Red Cap saying, Urian J is the best shifty, sexy character. No lie was detected. Hmm. No, none whatsoever. Um... Do you have a follow-up? I just saw show, the show feet message again. So I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> no, no follow-up. <laughs> uh, Vivian, right now, uh, thank you for the super. As an uncle, the cool uncle, 17 times over, uh, I really don't envy those that have the joy of having a child kick your liver for seven Ooh. months. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then Rocka, right now, thanks for the German super, said... Uh, been here since stream one, but couldn't, uh, support you. So take this at the end. Thank you for all the fun. Kyle, you're my role model as a fellow dad. Garrett, may you love everything as much as cars and imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Excuse me. I actually do love one of those two things. How dare you? <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate it. Um, Lunatic Kitsune, uh, during the start of the stream, said, when I got to Ultima Thule, I couldn't stop. My eyes never stopped watering from before Asthenian all the way to the end. It was very emotional for me. It is uh, one of my, one of my thought pieces in my own head was just considering, and I shared it with Jesse a little bit, what yeah. it was like to play through this by yourself and what that experience must have been like. I think he put it beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. Just getting into like. Yeah, like, if you were at, like, the height of COVID, like he was. And also just the way this game makes you confront all of these themes. Like, how can you not have a reaction? It might come as a different at a different point for different people, but how can you not have a reaction? Um, so, yeah. I also stand by my point that if you're just here for Shonen Awesomeness, it's got that It's there, space. too. Yeah, well, I mean, look at our previous supers on Thancred. Like, there was a great many people having a giggle. Oh, yeah. Just, so, it's like, what a badass. But it's all about what hits you personally. Yeah. And I think if I had done it the height of things, being on the internet, being isolated, people just disappearing, it would have, like, just like, they're not there anymore. That would have been intense as shit. It pro I probably would have tried to hold it together and just been like uh, hoping they come back and just like push through. So yeah, I probably would have done the same thing. Probably just kept going, going. Marathon, going. just so. I, 
it's it's tough because it is a lot of content but once the scions start dropping it does feel like it's all one big unbroken arc um so yeah i don't i don't i don't know what i would recommend for someone people have been asked a few times like would you stop where you stop knowing what you know now i'm like probably yeah because i just don't know like there there really truly is no good stopping point but that's so much to do in a sitting and especially if you're playing it publicly and having to read out loud i think if you know it's one thing if you're playing it alone and reading to yourself but vocalizing all of that text that is a long session yeah and you're your brain reads, at least mine does, at different speeds based on how interested I am in something. You know, there's the skim that happens. You oh, go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. some of the EO stuff I probably would have been like... I'm not even saying, like, you would have skimmed through this. I'm just saying, like, this would have been a full-blown and how many breaks would I have given myself a lot? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. The only thing I would do different, because I have been asked, and, hmm. but it's mostly about the break. They, they, I, don't, I haven't gotten an open, would, what would you do different? But if I did, um, I would stop after credits. And like today, we'd be going and talking to the Scions, because I I was I was def that's when I felt the crash. I was like, oh okay, like the I was so elated. The last thing I wanted to do was read a bunch of paragraphs. I do the same with prologues. Like when I finish a book, I go, oh, put that thing down. Epilogues. Epilogue. Yeah, yeah that's the other. Yeah, one. I, the I mentioned I did the same thing. Yeah, I think during the Jesse podcast. Um, yeah, I usually, I'll usually set it down for at least a day. Before I go read the epilogue, um, I, I, re I distinctly remember doing that with um, Hunger Games when I got to the end of the third book. Uh, well, I guess I won't say it in case you want to read the Hunger Games one day and you haven't already. Well, so. I, I see people talking about like uh, the Dawn Trail trailer being a spoiler, but that was a conversation we had. And again, like if, if, if you're I'm, I'm done having that conversation. Absolutely. And if and anything I say will just make someone who's already mad more mad. Because they've already made their decision about what our playthrough has suffered from. But we had a detailed conversation with John. We had a detailed conversation with him. And you and I just don't respond to character deaths as the most important. For me, it's more about what led to it, what the layers were, and how they made it useful to their overall story. But that's why I also acknowledge if you are the kind of person... Who sees a show. And I've been told this before. Like people will come to me with a show. I was sold on Gaunts back in the day. And they're like people die for real. And they're gone forever from the show. And that was the selling point for them. Did I like Gaunts? No. Not really. Yeah to me it's a very like 13 year old. The way to sell someone on a piece of media. But it's also to someone who respects that style. Who likes that style. They don't respond to like what we would consider a more nuanced approach. Well, yeah, and a, lot of, a, a lot of people just, there, there are some people that seem to have a wall up and they just don't, they don't understand liking things for different reasons. And I, I don't know what the, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so profoundly. Over. Absolutely. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. No, but yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I've, I've, I've told you, it's like, uh, I, it's this, it's the exact same energy as the cringy people I see online who follow a bunch of attractive women on like Instagram or TikTok that are like, Oh, I just wish you didn't have those tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're not Ooh. there to be pretty for Ooh. you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you're the Lord of cringe. You're the Lord of cringe when you do that. So, uh, thank you. Thank you for bringing that energy. I always wanted to know what it felt like to be a hot girl on Instagram. Uh, all right, Boopy. Uh, is that generous to what you're at? Uh, thanks for this, Boopy. Said, watching this last zone on the game multiple times helped me get past some of my own mental blocks. I can absolutely see that. Again, going back to what Jesse said, like, just what this game presents you with and says, think about this. I mean, unless you just don't think about it. Which there are definitely, I mean, again, like... The, the Which is an option. It is an option. Like, clearly, you know, what was it back in Stormblood, I think? How do you beat this game and then go mean to some, mean to somebody in a dungeon? Like, it still happens. Like, there are absolutely trolls and angry people who play video games, who experience this story, and it didn't touch them in the least. But I do think if you... If I had played this in my like late 20s when I was really feeling like I was struggling to identify what I was good at mm. or what my skills were, what I could contribute. Seeing each scion discover their own contribution would have meant a ton to me. 
and I think it could help me through that. I don't know if I would have been mature enough in my 20s to give this the time it deserved. No, it's still kind of an ass hat. That's a barrier to entry. Yeah, <laughs> if you hadn't even gotten this, like, could you? I, mean, even I still ma- have ass hat you're, qualities. You're asking the question: Could I but, even have made it this far in my twenties? And that's a, yeah, the very different. That's its own thing. That's its own thing for me. Yeah, I, it, to me, it's like a non-starter. Uh, count seven, uh, and many other people said, "Pay attention to the BGM throughout this." We did. Uh, Finchel said, "I already did the quest. I couldn't be the real Ia." Yeah, I guess there's some quest that turns into an Ia, and that's how people became Ia's. Oh, so it's it's like a limited time thing. Oh, so if you complete the quest, cute. you're out of luck. Oh, I thought it was a you know a mount or something like that or a fashion accessory. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Amperture said, "Am I hallucinating or does uh, Lalock sound like Shodan? I don't know what that's a reference to. I I included this just to see if you knew what that was a reference to. No, but I'm guessing we it were... sounded like an anime thing that you would know about. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not I know familiar. I'm the one sitting here in anime. And you were the one doing but... the the voice for them, so I can't recall exactly what you were going for in that moment. Shodan is shit. System Shock. Oh, I've never played System Shock. Uh, me neither. I've been recommended it many times. Yeah, yeah, and apparently that remake is quite quite good and quite. Oh, is it already out? It's been out for like a year. Dude. Oh, geez, I missed it. We were a little busy with Final Fantasy. Yeah, fair. We were a little busy at the time. Uh, Luke Eoff super that, uh, yeah, the fantasy game did just make the IRL heat death of the universe an actual problem way in the future. Doesn't surprise me at this point. Not even a little. I mean, Yishtol's got the right answer of, like, grats on your dark knowledge. Can't do anything about it. I'll keep living. Yeah, it's my answer to people who didn't want me to go to FanFest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Congrats on your dark knowledge. I'm going to keep living. We won't bring it up again. We'll just be like, heat death of the universe, my man. Heat death death of the universe, universe, you know. Heat death be with you. Quasars. (laughs) Pick your poison. Uh, Emily T said, Cough Drop is voiced by Timothy Watson, a.k.a. Orion J, in a nice piece of meta casting. Oh, there we go. There is. Talking to themselves. Is. Uh, Claire Voy and Nara apparently during this uh, experience their favorite Orion J line. That's going to be hard to pinpoint after the fact. My guess would be when he's walking in the swirl, getting a swirl oh, on. Yeah, I do like that. I mean, his little, like, pull us aside, though, is also quite lovely with um, Graha. Yeah. When he's kind of having this realization that he has to <laughs> kind of use his 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 back, you know, back channeling nature for good one more time. It was a good reference, too, to how important that promise he kept was to Graha. Because it's so easy to be like, that was one scene I th- in Shadowbringers, but they really didn't interact otherwise. Was it even in a patch when? No, I think we had, I think that was before the end of Shadowbringers that Orianje revealed that he was keeping the secret. But yeah, yeah, it was a good callback. Mm. The Final Family said that during this, my daughter and I spent an hour and a half after this discussing existentialism, empirical science to measure, uh, to measure reality, absurdist philosophy, and determining our own purpose for this life. I'm so grateful for this game. That is bonkers. I've never had a conversation like that with my parents. No. No, I don't think... I don't think it would go anywhere interesting. <laughs> I think it would, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a shot. Yeah, I might fire that off the next time I find myself having a beer with Dad. Um, and I, this, I love the ebb and flow. I love the ebb and flow of this game in this community because following that is Witty Pinches going, Garrett 2024, this doesn't suck. <laughs> it did not suck? Confirmed. Can confirm it did not suck. Uh, Emily T said, Uri getting to blatantly help a friend and be at their side instead of being sneaky and sending them off alone uh, to get hurt uh, is also really good in my opinion. There was sneakiness Ooh. right before it though. Yeah. But he used this, he like, he's always used his, his back channeling for, for good inevitably, but to varying degrees of unforeseen consequences. But this time it was like, it was like truly pure of heart and executed in a very selfless way. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't really, I guess I've seen Orion J as a plot device for so long I haven't really considered his character growth much. I mean, obviously, he's grown as a person. He took off the mask. He's met the parents, all that kind of thing. 
But as for his sneakiness, I just always think he's going to be back on his bullshit. He can't stay off that wagon. <laughs> on the wagon, I guess it would be. Yeah, I mean, he could. I wonder if in Don Trill, if he'll insert himself into some other group to back channel them. But all of the Scions are in full knowledge of this. Yeah. Like where he's using his powers for good. And instead of back channeling his friends, he's back channeling other people with and his friends are in the know about it but i don't know we'll have to see what happens in the dawn trail or maybe even the the patch content yeah i think you're onto something i think it's a scion per patch well i mean we also have like and i didn't really get into it with jesse because i was freaking exhausted honestly but we've got a whole shopping list of side assians i'm still curious about (laughs) who said side ass yeah, it's the old side ass. <laughs> Is it like side piece? I've never heard yeah, that you know, term before. Yeah, get a little lassian on the side. <laughs> La Habrea yeah. is my side ass. Oh my god. Ugh. Misheard. Misheard Kyle's quotes is my favorite sub genre. Um, right now, in chat, we got more supers. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Ryushiro said, I came for the friends playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I stuck around because of Kyle's voice. I chose to stay because of the bromance. Parasocialism be damned. GG guys and hope you continue being aggressively you. I'm, I have my own parasocial connections. It's it's fine. And very well. I it's shall continue to be me. We've also met a decent amount of you in person. <laughs> He's also going to continue to be him. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for hanging with us, Ryu. Uh, Armadillo right now, supered. Uh, I played it with a friend over Discord several times. We audibly said, hey man, you there? Yeah, I'm here. It was definitely emotional. That was the nice part about playing in the same room, man. Yeah. Just being like when it was quiet, just being able to look over and see if you were like intentionally having a quiet moment or if you needed me to step in. And I've heard from a few folks that they like really enjoyed the quiet moments. I'm pretty sure you have a section for it coming up, but I I would have felt trapped over the other side of the Internet if I couldn't have given you a hug. Oh, I would have just been like squirming in my seat. There's being a note. Like how... There's a note coming up saying Gary breaks down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is so, so specific to what we've experienced. Um, our Wojo supered right now. Uh, my job has started back up now, so I'm back to my 72 hour work week still November and won't be on much. Thank you all for the great content that helps me through the days. You guys rock. Uh, forge ahead, our Wojo. That's 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 a hell of a workload. Um, but uh, best of luck with it. We will be here. Yeah. We are happy to waste your time with our nonsense. And we you've are got, here. You've had an insane road, so thank you for being so awesome and a part of our community too. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna do a scrimp check because I am sliding. Oh, it does happen. Adjust my posture. Are you ready to receive my better posture? Nice. Well done. Yeah. Are you Are you ready? Uh, ton e tone. Thanks for the super right now in chat said uh, when Ann Walker came out, I had just lost my job of 15 years the week before and was at the lowest one of the lowest points of my life. But I cannot overstate how the message of hope and forging ahead helped me at the time. I feel that. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, we've almost quit doing this a couple times. The first time I almost quit doing it was not that long after we started. Um, 2011. Because we started working together in 2010. Oh, would that be your move? 2011. I moved from Los Angeles back home to Florida, and I was living with my parents for a hot stint there. And yeah, that was um, it was amazing how much we wrap. We, we, we can you can you can fall into the trap of of wrapping your self worth up in your job. You, your you don't say. Uh, yes, I know it's, but I'm bringing it up <laughs> because it it is uh, uh, something that binds many yes. of us. Um, and it's a fallacy, and we sh- and we sh- and we all know we should not do that, but we do nonetheless. So, um, I-, I really feel that. I really feel that, Ton. I really feel that. Um, so, um, I'm glad that you wrote this in past tense. It feels like you're past this, and I'm 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 glad to hear that you made it past. Because uh, so did I. Um, yeah, and yeah, I've said before that uh, before we started this like grinding gear and, and playing Final Fantasy I was I was pretty close to looking for uh, uh, to, for, to applying for jobs because um, everything else I was doing I'd been I'd had a pretty successful run at that point for for content creation but it looked like it was over um, and this blew up and I was like okay 
<laughs> Maybe not the best time to start getting a master's, but hey, we, we got through the other side. So yeah, don't get too wrapped up in, uh, you are more than your job, everybody. Uh, and then Aaron, thanks for the super just now. Um, so my, my, my dad passed three months prior to launch. Uh, my husband and I had COVID Delta. Uh, N. Walker definitely was a bomb during my despair. I, the themes. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a reason it resonates with a lot of people that were going through difficult experiences, just like what you're talking about here. Like, I mean, the death of a loved one. Yeah. The loss of a parent. Um, it's, 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 it's tough. Uh, that's something we've been dealing with. Um, I'll put it as simply, uh, Katie's pretty private, but it's something we've been, we've been going through the last few years on, on, on her side of the family. Katie's had a, a lot of loss, uh, the past few years. Um, and then obviously with, uh, with Bailey recently. So yeah, I feel it's, it's so on my mind right now. So this, this stuff really, I don't want to keep parroting myself and being like, Oh, I just want to give you a hug, but that, it's, it's how it makes me feel. Cause it's, it's a fresh wound for me. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for sharing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad the story was here for you. That's, that's how I feel about that. I'm, I'm glad the story was here for you. Um, where do we leave off? Uh, I think this doesn't suck. Is, is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Which is another way is, yes. to read the quality to, of the narrative. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, nope, we got that one, and it was Rachel, who, who generously super, do you ever hear a song for the first time, a sound that makes you nostalgic for lies never lived, scenes never seen, and words unspoken? That is this music. I would say, uh, probably not, Rachel, but now I have. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, one of my favorite Twitter interactions recently was retweeting the, Dra uh, the Dragon's Dogma 2 Emmet that someone had created, and I retweeted it and said... I'm going to show my barber this and I don't remember who it was. You can go into my replies and find it. Someone went, uh, I want a haircut that, uh, says, uh, I, I am slouching from the weight of eons of despair and the deaths of everyone I've ever known and loved. <laughs> wow. It made me laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I got you fam. That is exactly my, that is dead center. The, my sense of humor, dead, absolute, Absolute bullseye of my sense of humor. Um, Anna said he's stolen around a fully made up from the lies of Shadowbringers here too. Uh, totally, like freaking absolutely. I didn't. I never focused on that one as much as, and I don't think Orianje focused on it as much as as keeping secrets from Infilia and where that in inevitably ended up. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they did team up in a sense. I'd have to revisit that. I don't know if that's because yeah, the sh the trailer is most heavy in my mind of them oh, being yeah, together. They're, they're just hanging out together and him calling her Master Matoya. But then they that. split up pretty soon after that with all the years that passed. Because didn't she get like super mad about at him when it came out that he was keeping the the Crystal Exarch secret? <sighs> Am I that yeah the 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 character minutia of that is. is far from my brain right there now. were a lot of moving pieces while i was still yelling at thancred to open up already yeah huh. yeah i'm just saying i've chat caught up um real, real quick could you uh could you mark us there where we left off I want to, I just want to do, I want to do a quick, I just want to do a quick search. Real okay. Fast. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, Umatsu is, uh, uh, feeling despair that we don't read their pre-stream chats, which I may have gotten lost in the mix Umatsu, which does tend to happen, but I do have one here, uh, from you during the Xeno section. So, uh, I hope that, I hope that will suffice. Uh, I do apologize. It's, uh, we don't, we don't miss things on purpose. It's just uh, we get a lot of messages, and it's it's hard to yeah. Sorry, we missed. It's yeah. hard to properly organize. Um, 
So yeah, uh, Eleanor was, said I was just dropped dropping by an Ultima Thule and saw some hilarious stuff. Chad told me to come here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're a burden on the server sometimes. We don't mean to be. When we had finally powered down the computers, well, my computer, because Kyle was, yours took, I think, nine hours to upload all the footage from that night to mm -hmm. Dropbox. Yeah, there was quite a bit of it. Kyle, Kyle looked at me and goes, I guess there was someone questing through Ultima Thule that night that has nothing to do with grinding gear. And they were very confused what was going on in the field of, of Ultima Yeah, they flowers. were in the field of flowers. <laughs> I was just like, oh and they, my god. They walked through that channel and ended up seeing just the sea of people. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely absolutely bonkers. Um, all right, we're to the uh, Omicron section, or as I like to call it, the Omega section. Uh, Rogue Mage said, when Endwalker came out, they subtly changed a dialogue uh, in one scene of Omega to better connect. Ooh. It's super minor. Uh, but the change references Omega's commanding officer uh, instead of master. It's changed to sir. Ha! Huh. That, that's fine. I'm fine with it. Let's that's do it. Freaking fine. Let's freaking do it. The hunt yeah. is only because bad properties have done it. The hunt? Yeah, the witch hunt for retconning. Oh, it's it's the same thing. We're like, is it fan service or is it just world building? And it's just like, well, was it successful? And it's it's tough too you know. when it's a wide open property. I, nothing was harder than when I DM'd a live podcast because my players gave craps about things that the audience didn't, and the audience gave craps about things that the players didn't. Mm -hmm. So people would message me and be like, "Well, what about this one plot hook?" And I'm like, "Well, in a home game, my players don't remember that, so let's just forget about it and not address it." <laughs> But that's cool. That's I'm, fair. I'm more than fine with them going back through a realm yeah, reborn. I'm all, I'm all good with yeah. that. I'm all good with that. Uh, Rachel Ward supered that to Graha is a phrase I appreciate. I appreciate it because I like saying it. To Graha. Lurker37 said, in a world that runs on emotion, the jammer would have worked if you had not realized that it shouldn't. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Oh, right. Because you could have... So Graha should have encouraged us and then we could have manifested much like the teleporter device that landed next to us in our Xenos ending. Perhaps. But it was maybe it was also suffused with joy at that point. So maybe we should have, you know, pushed Alphan off a cliff and his sacrifice would have been enough to manifest the jammer. Gotten out of bunny. Game of toss, man. Even when I'm, even when I hear it, I don't know how to follow some of the things that you, you. Come well, you up know, with. you gotta influence the dynamis with sacrifice. Uh, uh, I love that headcanon for you. I love it. I love that headcanon for you. Russell Gill, supered, been here since your second stream. Been a wonderful journey, and I look forward to each week. Walk on. Oh, I have been here clubs. I've been here. I have a bunch of been here Ooh, since clubs. I that, missed this that's one, a Russell. Big one. I missed this one, Russell. Since second stream. Hell yeah, yeah. Thanks for hanging out for that long, Russell. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't. Um, I didn't sort you into the been here since club. We, we'll get to that later. Uh, Fitchell, uh, with another fit fact, said before in Walker Street launch, Ishikawa specifically said folks should probably go run Omega if they hadn't yet. Well, you know, you yeah, just a little. A little friendly note. I mean, if I had wrote entire books inside of a video game, basically, I too would remind people to go do my damn content. It's freaking Soldier Hawk in chat right now being saying, been here since StarCast episode two. Oh, mm -hmm. I freaking had a Facebook memory this week. Yeah. That said 14 years ago, and it was a text update for me saying, Kyle and my first podcast, StarCast, drops this Thursday. Wow. So we have all, we have officially crossed the 14-year line of working together. 14, nice. Yeah, it, we, Kyle and I have officially worked together for 14 years. 14, wow. Um, that. that was, I think, Friday of last week is when I saw that. It's the only reason I like Facebook at this point. That and Facebook Marketplace is a really fun place to look at shitbox cars I shouldn't buy. But um, the memories are fun. Hmm. Uh, there, there's, there's no one I recognize less than myself 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. What a time <laughs> to see 
<laughs> yeah, exactly That's right cool. yeah. what a perfect timing absolutely freaking right um yeah uh shane the pain right now super chanting that uh, was recommended by an fc friend to watch you all and i've uh, been jealous of garrett's hair ever since but no you guys are great uh, i appreciate the jealousy thank you it's a lot of work i kind of i want to shave it off every day <laughs> every day <laughs> it does look like a lot of work it's so much Falling, going to sleep, like getting it in a place where I can sleep. Yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, 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 early on in our relationship, Katie and I were like talking about like, well, what do you like in a guy? And like, oh, what do you like in a girl? Uh, I feel so villainous now for saying I like long hair. No, I sure. feel so villainous for, for, for making her feel like she, huh. yeah. I didn't know I was so convenient. <laughs> Um, but it's good. To, I highly recommend it because I would have definitely gone for a mustache at one point had Katie not told me, um, I will shave it off in your sleep. Um, I, yeah, I would have gone for a nice, like, pharaoh kind of business. Oh, you knew. How did you not grow up listening to new metal? That is like, that is such I listened a... to that, um, but with you. Lies from the table clock. I didn't have one of those. <laughs> You did, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. I didn't like down. think it looked good on him, but it's no, more just because it doesn't. It doesn't look no, good on anyone. But the point is, like, it's it's not about what looks good. It's about what you can do. Uh, it's about doing the most good uh, with the facial hair you have. It's about getting to know me, not judging you if you do have one of these. But to me, I have that. It's like firmly in the worst facial hair you can have box for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's rough. It's rough. Lies from the tablecloth. I'm dying. Yes, that's how Kyle remembers everything. Well, I wasn't okay. going to say the song right. that goes. La, 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 la. The photo Ziggy d does have the exception to the rule. Okay. S Wayne Static pulled it off, but he also like bundled it. He kind of like braided the end of it. Wayne Static? He was the, the sadly departed lead singer of Static X. Oh. You're a Power Man 5000 guy. I'm a Static X guy. I didn't know we were they're, rivals. They're very similar. Are we rivals? There's a lot of like people who like. Award? There's plenty of people who like both. Okay. But like I was already listening to Static X by the time I found Power Man 5000, so I was like, I've kind of already got this corner shored up in my musical pantheon. So yeah, yeah, I haven't listened to them in a while. I should, I should, I should fire. I'm, I'm going to listen to some Static X on the drive home today. That's what I'm going to do. Although they did come up the other, I made a, <laughs> I made a playlist of all of my favorite songs that appeared in Need for Speed games, and I forgot that a Static X song was in Need for Speed Underground One. Um, so I, I, that, that, that's not true. I did very recently rock out to some Static X. Uh, and yesterday I made it an Amanda Aiken uh, soundtrack or playlist on my Spotify so I could just have her in my head while I was uh, mm. preparing for the interview. So uh, I should link to that. Yeah, and, that's a good idea. And and I was going off MSQ list, so a other folks uh, should let me know what else to add from like raids and stuff because there's, there's if, if any songs that she did for non MSQ stuff I don't have in that playlist. So yeah. Um I'll I'll remind me about that later in the later in the week. I'll get that linked in the Discord. Uh Gregor Comics said my wife and I lost our dog on the eighteenth and I got into my car after picking up her ashes when the Thursday stream started. That was a nice try. I still need to do that myself, Gregor. I haven't been able to to do it. They said don't worry about it and I'm just like I just I, I just can't do it. Yeah. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of random grief uh crits in our house since 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 it happened uh comor said you people have no idea how hard it uh was to not say anything about the cooking about the dead stars during omega uh, i feel like i have an idea now well it was stormblood too so you know there was the big ha red herring of the reflections even though i think you can like start to put together the reflections before that as a sort of plot point from some of the other Context going around, but I certainly well, yeah. and there's also like when you're it's definitely not spelled out. And when you're first point. getting into the game, there's the stars planets thing they're doing, and it's just that like that is a barrier to get over. Yeah, because just like planets. Yeah, we really need to uh, get a react stream on the docket because El Grande here because I've seen this one mentioned before. But thanks for the super El Grande recommending the Thousand Singers collab for closing the distance. Um. Yeah, that, that, oh, that cool. has come up before. I'm pretty sure we have. Yes, that. yeah, we have a we have a we have vast video list of memes and thing and stuff from that sandwich guy. We got a bunch of stuff to watch from him. <laughs> I love that stuff. I love that stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I put on. I think it was the ten years of Final Fantasy medley last night because I uh, 
I was explaining to Katie Husky's work, and so I wanted to like just show her. So I I think last I think it was the ten it, it was like the anniversary medley. I think it was two hundred musicians. Wow. Maybe it was a hundred. I don't remember, but it's very. Uh, all I could think of the whole time watching it was, what instrument is that? Because I don't recognize it. And dear God, this is a lot of editing. Like, yeah. It has to be such a massive undertaking. I have so much respect. Uh, I have so much respect for Husky. Um, that is such a massive amount of work for uh, for editing. Um, we got the Jammer one. We got that one. We uh, Fid fact, we got that. Oh, yeah, the mirror who supered one last Yabby Jaw, no Yashola, but to click on. Shaking my head. Um, I mean, we failed that one. We failed that one in the first time it came up. But there's always Dawn Trail. <laughs> Give me Tokyo at a fun fact that all of the Alphatron Machina minus the level checker are all based upon Machina enemies in Final Fantasy X. I thought there was a bunch of nine references. Oh, oh wait, no. That 11. Is yeah, there's an exclamation no, point. Though. Wait, oh, is it 11? Yeah, yeah it's 11, but it's there's 11. an exclamation point. Okay, 11. There we go. Okay, got it right. I've been hearing so much about 12. That's the one I want to try. Uh, I do too. I just don't love the way it plays because it's like a single player MMO and that's, it doesn't, it's weird, but God, I love the setting. And Dragon Age was kind of a single player MMO. I fired up like the first like four hours of it. Uh, like when we started this, when we we're getting close to Ivalice, my friend, just mailed me a switch copy with no warning. And I was like, okay, let me see what this is. I'm like, this com I liked, I was like, I was very into the story, but I didn't love the combat. Um, uh, is Lua super uh, excited that you get to do this together, uh, to many more journeys together. Thanks for bringing us along. Uh, Hell yeah. Thanks for giving your crap and watching. Um, much appreciate it. We're to the food break here. Oh, Clearly. I mean, do we want to put that on screen? Is that is that important? I don't think it's that important. No, <laughs> we'll let the gameplay no. continue then. No, but some of the supers were hysterical, okay. like John D. Arthur uh, supering tip for Katie five stars for the delivery. <laughs> it was good pizza. It's very. I want more already. Uh, it breaks supered, and there's your pizza slice into the moon. See, the graphics never lie. Perspective, perspective. <laughs> Uh, Viden supered, uh, 6,288 of us watching Garrett eat pizza. This is when you went to the bathroom. I like I, took my first piece pee, bite and you're like, I'm going to go pee. And I'm just like, rrr, 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 I, I believe, rrr, rrr. I believe I heard you abandon me or something like that. As I left the door, <laughs> you're burning me with food in my mouth. You know, you just gotta, gotta chew on. <laughs> just really work those chew, eyebrows. Chew, chew ahead. Yeah. Forge ahead. Forge a chew. Chew walker. And chewing. <laughs> pizza walker. <laughs> uh lonesy carp said joined for the end walker ending stayed for the knees well i mean they did have, my knees were extra on display because i had my holy jeans if you watch the end video where we're sitting outside in front of the fire um uh, i asked kyle to please do some creative editing because i'm sitting not cross-legged for a lot of it and my my shorts really hiked up and i'm like there's way too much of my thigh on display there were some effects in the final cut and then I had to apply them to myself, too. I because... tried just blurring it out, and it was like, it just looked like it was worse than it actually was. Oh, see, when, when I... it was blurred, it made it look like something, like, fell out. Yeah, no, for, <laughs> for, the, for the thank you video, I ended up lowering, <laughs> I increased the saturation and the darkness as it ramped up, uh... which meant I could keep it dark on your crotch. <laughs> But then I had to darken my crotch with an effect because now my crotch seemed to be radiant in comparison to yours. So in the final cut of the thing that everyone saw, there were two different effects on both our crotches applying darkening and shadows. You did a good job. I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I didn't notice it. Yeah, because Katie was in the room and she's like, because I was like, Katie, can I, is this a lot of thigh? She goes, oh boy, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of thigh. She's like, maybe if you were Tanner, you would notice but you'd have to be Tanner in that spot, and yes. that's hard to do. I do wear pretty short bathing suits. I think it's a but it hasn't been swimming weather. I think it's a sin. I think it's awful that we hold farmers' tans in such low regard. Because obviously, like, oh my God. I've been outside. Jesus. But like, why? It just means Put I'm wearing down. a shirt. Put them down. What's the like? This this happens to everybody. It's I just natural. I can't, I can't see? see, I can't see. Why? And and then, what's your thought when you see someone running with their shirt off outside? What's your first thought? 
Put a shirt on. But that's how they're not getting a farmer's day. We're a broken Whoa. society. There's a couple people in my neighborhood who are jacked. Yeah, when like, they're, when I'm they're, like, you, damn, I wouldn't wear a shirt either. It's called Myron. You got to Myron sometimes. But there's a lot, like, I don't know how to get this get here without, like, shaming somebody. We have a lot of um, more mature sure. denizens of our neighborhood who, who run without a shirt on. I'm just like... I'm je- I'm like, but you know what I will it. say? I will say, mm-hmm. I will say, that's a look. I want to be there someday. I want to do that, you know? Yeah. yeah like, yeah. we don't, we don't do enough squats. I don't, don't want to body shame. I don't want to age shame, but. No, I'm like, I, I see that and I just hope I'm that together. <laughs> and that, like, I'm cool enough to be still running. Yeah. Got all my organs functioning. Yeah. Good on them. It's 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 tough. It's tough because I'm I'm now reaping the I'm reaping what I sowed, in terms of like the lines on my forehead from how many times I was just out in the sun with nothing. So, and if you were getting tan when you're young, you know it starts to really wreak havoc on your skin. Yeah. So, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did this happen? Thanks for the knees, Lonesy Car. Ah, the knees. Give me Tokyo. Uh, super. Um, they, they were just super stoked. They had just gotten home. Uh. And they said, also, I was mistaken. All of the Alphatron enemies minus the level three checkers and the three world ATD baddies are all based on Final Fantasy 11 enemies. So more of more filling in the, the Omicron gaps. There. They were great models. I really liked them. I love the Legion look, yeah. uh, the, the, the Geth yeah. from Mass Effect. So I was all for it. Azure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to die soon. I ain't got to prove anything. I, 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 I'm in no rush to get there, but I'm going to enjoy I'm going to enjoy that energy once I do get there. Uh, vernacular ham said i'm here for sailor moon and pizza oh yes yeah i was was explaining the plot yeah yeah i loved jesse talking about him reacting to you going off about (laughs) sailor moon (laughs) it was probably the highlight of that podcast for me it was good him being like oh my oh my god was it was it sailor moon all along yeah i was just thinking of the astronaut meme with the gun always has been always has been yeah it went way deeper than that like that that was that was part of the bizarreness of the of the playthrough yeah. was we ended up completing the Scion Sailor Moon arc. I would say three hours before I thought and went on a whole median journey yeah. beyond them. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Tim Lewis, who uh, this is their first time tuning in live because the N Walker emotional vamping needed to happen in person. Fair enough. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us live. Um, and then right now in chat, because some of these are on a uh, relative uh, topic for, things that are off topic but they're on topic for the stream of course um Toonie, actually this is quite on topic said they do finally say planet here in ultima thule the omicrons call them planets and the others have no idea what they mean when they say it i didn't pick up on that oh that's cool thanks for letting me know uh vivian supered right now one more super for radiant crotches gg radiant the, th- the yeah yeah the, uh, the thighs of light that's what we'll call them and then uh, Malmuki said, one brings shadow, one brings thigh. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Mm. One brings shadow, one brings the thigh. Two legs toned. Your eyes won't survive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so amused right now. Rachel Ward, super during this, uh, that uh, they were glad to share uh, their Endwalker experience with us. Said you inspired me to take the same walk with my brother. Sincerely, thank you. Nice. I love hearing that. I absolutely, I absolutely cool. freaking love hearing that. That people started playing with their friends or their family because of seeing us play together. Um, it could be done. Hell yeah, keep it going. Like, please, if that, please let that be our legacy. That you, that you get up to some more co-op together. Um, Captain Usaland said, "Ghost hands like you sailing Horshafont did." Final Fantasy fourteen is Sailor Moon confirmed. Kyle's been saying it the whole time. Is it fair? Yeah, I don't remember when I started saying it, but I've been saying it for a while. Yeah. yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Like, it, oh, man. Oh, man. And I remembered <laughs> one of my own quotes the other day that was, uh, see, if you don't know how to say goodbye, you haven't played Final Fantasy fourteen. but I couldn't remember what that quote was to include in our thank you video. And that, that I, bothered oh, me. Yeah, I think I, that was sometime in Heaven's Ward. It, maybe it was Stormblood Hien or maybe Gotsetsu walking off. Like, I just can't remember. Maybe, yeah. Um, I will only watch Sailor Moon if Kyle watches Dragon Ball Z. That's that's the deal. That is the deal. I just know you won't like, you don't like Monster of the Week, so that you're not going to find joy in the 
ridiculousness. I do find Monster of the Week uh, a horribly outdated form of television making. Ger oh, yeah, I need to make you watch Gurren Lagann. I think you'd like Gurren Lagann. I've started it. Uh, Katie wasn't super into it. I thought it was I thought it was okay. But I wouldn't say I absolutely loved it, but Katie was like, eh. And so we didn't continue. All right, look away. Don't listen. I made the mistake of it being one of the first anime I tried to watch with her. Sure, sure. I can see that happen. He goes no more Shinji at, like, episode seven. Okay. The main kid. They, like, they oh, straight up okay, do cool. a time thing. Okay, cool. cool. And I mean, at this point, it's Studio Trigger. I trust them. Yeah. I trust them as long as there's no uh, vehicles for the finale. I think they're the all cyber, hand animated cyber, cyber back punk. then because they're punk. more like people. <laughs> uh, so. isn't I think the mech is 3D. Is it? No, it's all it's all is squishy it? and is like it? It, oh, okay. it's doing the stretchy trigger thing all the time. Okay. I don't think they. Uh, yeah, but at any rate, pulling yes. out of this this uh, this could be a deep well that I don't want to get into while we're trying to. Yes, yes, uh, yes. We were, we were attempting to, but we were yeah. talking about anime at this time. So that is sense. fair. That is fair. That is a good point. Um, yeah, no, at this point, I need to finish Kill la Kill, because we're more than halfway through that. We, I love that. We got distracted by Free Ren, and we got distracted by uh, anime season, is what happened. I, I think Jesse was like, and there's actual lore why she doesn't wear clothes, and I'm like, I've seen Kill la Kill. I, it's fine, bring it. I'm into that. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch that three times over, sure. You're talking about Radiant Blade? Oh, no, I think it was... Or Stellar Blade. No, he was talking about near... Well, all the nears have lore that why they don't wear clothes. Me? But that's everything can have lore if you don't for someone to not wear clothes if you don't want them to wear clothes. Well, but you, but MGS five was flimsy as hell. It's like just just say you like girls in bikinis with sniper rifles. Well, that's like a throwaway line, I can right? Respect like you know, that. You, you build to it. You know, you gotta build. <laughs> it's gotta be. I'm. All, I think I'm at the point where I'm like, don't justify it, like because we all know why you're doing it. So just just own it. Yeah, lore glooperoni. Yeah, whatever. It's. I'm just closing this. Oh, gotcha. Oh my God, that is night and day. Right? You Holy know? shit. Yeah, yeah, no, right? Apologies for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I think I've moved past uh, don't kink shame. Let's uh, kink celebrate. Yeah. Um, uh, or just own your kinks. Own them. But if you put your kinks in a major production, expect to be at least noted. <laughs> yeah. It all comes back to Tarantino. Yeah. All of it. All of it comes back. To Tarantino. Uh, I mean, McWilliams sent in a super generous super during this said, uh, I don't know if I'll be awake for my favorite part. So I'm going to send this now. I've enjoyed your journey so much. Looking forward to seeing it continue. Um, I made sure to include this one and not put file it into a club because I thought it was uh, respect to everybody that um, either fell asleep in the middle of this or tried to make it and didn't um, stayed up with us. Hell yeah. It was late for pretty much everybody at a certain point. So thank you for being here for it. Uh, and Kasim also with the 1 a.m. here in France and watching you eat pizza. Thanks for being here, dude. <laughs> it was good to see you. Um, Jensen supered and wanted to grats us on getting to the end uh, and said, it's been great reliving it again. Here's to continuing your fantastic journey on the Dawn Trail and new adventures. Aloha and GG. Aloha, Jensen. I couldn't remember if I read that one or not. Jensen, I feel like I always read yours because of the aloha, but I might I was afraid I was conflating it with another message, so I just included it. Um Degeneracy is accepted here in chat. Okay, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Uh, and Matt wants us to watch the Randy March is the Warrior of Light. It came out three days ago and it's gold. YouTube has recommended that to me on my personal feed multiple Isn't times. Isn't it like 30 minutes long or something like that? Too? Oh, geez, is it? I think okay. it's big, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. That's a honker. Yeah. That's a honker. We're, we're going we're gonna to sit down with the mods soon, get the whole lineup we're, we're of the React content. Curate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 React gonna be... streams, it's so much fun to talk to Chad that we, we, can't, we can never fit in as many reacts as we think we can. Yeah, we're going to like properly, it's going to like dim the lights in here, get the theater going. Oh, yeah, we'll do a proper react. Witty Pinches says, if only the Aya could see you now eating with your mouth holes. I know, right? Would have been very instructional be for them. Would have been very instructional. Uh, Solaris wants to shout out right now to 6.30 a.m. gang. Damn. Hell yeah. I'll only get up for that at that hour if I have to get on a plane. No, thank you. It's a common time to get up in dad land. I had to get up early, way earlier for that to go to FanFest. That was a early, early flight. Uh, Jesus said, if it had, uh, I had the Dawn Trail preview game files hard copy and was going to deliver it, but you never answered the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when the bell rung. Ah, yes. Well played. Well played. Uh, who just left it? I asked for contactless delivery. 
Um, we were talking anime here because uh, Michael B said 2000 ish Vampire Hunter D English is the original. It is, you know, we all make shallow decisions sometimes, and that thing is hideous. Yeah, I don't know. It's not. I mean, they I never watched. It. They made Bloodlust so pretty because even the creator said, "I want to do it again," and uh, we didn't like that. <laughs> Had that Friday off. We should have been smarter about it, but we we really wanted to have this post talk with Jesse. We really wanted to get finally get Amanda like properly scheduled because that had been in the works for a while, and uh, we didn't want it to go. We didn't want it to go next week because you're officially in like baby watch. Yeah, at that point. Yeah, so. we're streaming from here. Yeah. No, we're streaming remote Thursday. Yeah. Like, there's important things going on. Yeah, and I just yeah, I didn't want you to there to be a chance that we you wouldn't be there for those those episodes so. i also wanted jesse to have after all he's done <laughs> in his poker facing and guiding to get a raw version of us and not a version that had had a lot of time to think on it and processed and read comments and whatnot i was a little i was a little worried going into it because that was the least prep we've ever done for any of those and it ended up i think being like the exactly how it should have gone exactly yeah it was yeah. the right energy it just it literally it felt like what you hope what you dream podcast will be which is i'm just going to get together with my buddies and talk <laughs> that's <laughs> what that was that was there was like no prep beyond like you know let, making sure jesse was free and the game's still on screen look god like, that pizza does look, look good look, look at that shit. pizza man that pizza kicks ass holy crap god. yeah it bad. looks good. Katie has requested payway tonight, so I will not be getting my pizza. But isn't that a type of money transfer service? No. Oh, it's a, what's a payway? It's an Asian food chain. Oh, P E I. Yes, W E I. Oh, payway. Yeah, yeah. This extremely normal, like millennial. You just kept saying chain. payway. I was like, That's what yeah. it's called. Yeah, I know, but it sounds like you're like, you know, you just kept saying the name of I the place. I gotta go buy Western Mutual and fax my family a couple hundred bucks. Like, you know, I thought it was payway. Yeah, paying way. Exactly. It's like saying, you keep saying Walmart. I was so confused. So it's I've just seen the it. name of the place. I've seen it in the mall. I saw it's just what it's called. Yeah. yeah. It's just what it's called. Oh, there we go. Is it good? Yeah. It's. Yeah, it's fine. It's way better than Panda Express. And so it's just kind of like American Chinese, and it's you know, quick you get... service. Um, but yeah, it, it's I'm into that. Yeah, it's I would say it's it's a notch above. It's like a, a Chipotle is a notch above Taco Bell. Mm. Pay or Payway is the Chipotle to the Panda Express's Taco Bell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So quick service. They actually have like properly spicy food. You can get shit with like gochujang. Like, uh, like, uh, Payway's solid. Sure. It's solid. It's solid stuff. It's, it, it's not, you're not going to get that mom and pa quality stuff, but it's decent. It's decent. Reheats well, too, and I always have leftovers. <laughs> I love, I'm, I, I love any, any takeout where I can get two meals out of it. Uh, Mini the Goose, Super Garrett, Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon were on the same half hour block in the morning before school. I'm surprised you never saw it. I, I wasn't claiming I'd never seen Sailor Moon. I just didn't watch it because I was a preteen and I was like, that's for girls. Because I was a preteen boy. And that's how I lived my life at the time. It was a popular sentiment in the 90s. But now I know it's a monster of the week. So I'm also still. Well, yeah, honestly, that's, that's fine. That now you can hate it for real reasons. <laughs> just not that interesting. Reasons of your own preferences. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I should probably do a just a plot watch at some point just to absorb that pop culture into my lexicon uh amperture said i have reached a new level of streamer parasocial as my chicken parm arrived when your pizza did well nice Ooh, i could go for some chicken co-eating Milla said it was time for food what can we say i ate you both ate amperture ate we had a moment <laughs> i love i i so desperately was going to because we try and find ways to make this a surmountable amount of messages and i was like i almost multiple times made a eating food club but these just all made me giggle so much i wanted to read them it was an important part of the stream yeah yeah kit london succumbed and bought garlic tomato pizza just soiny said just got back from my favorite korean place are we super chatting about food now we were we were just having a oh, food yeah. experience oh, everybody oh, yeah, that's making me hungry yeah yeah oh there's the sailor moon shirt yeah <laughs> you nerd you absolute dork <laughs> <laughs> you absolute dork um yeah 
It was good stuff. Now I'm hungry. Getting mm -hmm. back to Omicrons and Graha. Oh, okay. So Very we're getting well. back to the gameplay here. Because uh, Rachel supered Hello World, the first program uh, you learned to code. And Christopher Clayton followed that with It's a Programmer Reference. Oh. Which I was, I knew that, but I couldn't pull it. And I was in the shit at this point. I was missing messages like crazy. So uh, we thank you for your... Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. No, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Thanks. Is There's that, coffee on its way. Awesome. Oh, snap. It's, uh, it's past three. I can't have a coffee. Oh, you just need to become horribly desensitized no, to the chemical. No, because then when I need it in the morning, it won't help me. I get it, yeah. It won't help me. I used to be a three cup a day guy, and I back myself off, and I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad for it. I understand that. We all have our vices. You've seen me having a... I'm not above it. No, I'll, no, I'll, it happens. I ripped the emergency Red Bull during the I feel Jesse no podcast. shame. You don't need to make me feel better. I'm yeah. going to have some damn coffee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, Mel made us feel better with, or made Alizé feel better with Operation Zap Shit. It was a good moment. I, I want to call it Operation Distraction, because that's what we were doing. We were distracting. Yes. You can have decaf. I'd rather I should, die. Well, I, well, I've never had a decaf latte that I like. D yeah, decaf is a, it's like a made in a lab sin. I don't trust decaf. I would just have decaf tea. Also, I'm, the number of times my mother would be like, this wasn't decaf. And, you know, she was up all night. Oh, like, that's a bit of a trigger for you. Well, no, that's more just like it seems like they make the mistake a lot. Oh, and I've made that mistake. Excuse me. When I was a barista, I made that mistake once. And I will always remember what I probably did to that poor old lady. Like, I was I, I honestly think like that'll come up. You know, I'm all thinking about is the person dying from the overcaffeinated Panera lemonade. I mean, like, who knows? The death what lemonade. Cosmic. Re oh, is that why people... Oh. Well, yes, because we're all monsters and it immediately became a joke on TikTok. I didn't know why people were drinking a thing and then... Because that was the Grimace shake well, that was like, grimace right shake. after that. No, oh, the, the Grimace shake was before that. Oh, people died. No, death lemonade was its own... Oh, I guess I missed death lemonade. No, I was someone of actually... I believe they went into cardiac arrest from the amount of caffeine that was in it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a thing. It was a thing. Um, yeah, that, but uh, like it's so conflating because it's actually a concerning thing. But then also there were a lot of jokes being made about Thank it. You. And I do have a dark sense of humor, so I found it quite humorous. But at the same time, I'm going, didn't somebody actually die? What are no, we doing? We, we do this all the time. I'm like, we, we call out this one joke, but wait, what are we? What are we doing on Twitter, everybody? What are we? What are you doing? What What is this? So you just can't, you can't be too worried about hypocrisy on the internet. It's just. Yes. It's just the way of things. Yes. Oh, look at me trying to jump over those breaks in the ground that you cannot jump over. Yeah, but the alternative is that you would fall through. So. Yep. 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 There's a food theory behind. Oh shit! I like food theory. I haven't watched that one. I'll have to watch that. I'll have to watch that. I'm gonna pull. Katie would love that. I'm gonna pull that up tonight. Uh, Emily said, "More fun with casting M17 slash Sir is voiced by John Heffernan, aka Nero. That's gonna make Kyle so pissed because Nero hasn't had one single voiced piece." Of, is that accurate is my next question because uh, i did not vet this ahead of time well, we have been led astray before okay but uh, 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 why didn't nero have voice lines it's, why i guess because if you haven't done anything since stormblaze probably not that important to you I like Nero. Sid and Nero are, are it, it, it's that meme of like, this is a pair. Do not separate. Yeah. Nero, Nero got the shaft. I'm just going to say it. Nero absolutely got the shaft and, uh, and Walker. Gearnix said, need a redacted Ur 404 that turns Graha into the adoring fan from oblivion. <laughs> Dude, that thought entered my mind that I'm like, this was Graha is doing that in a way that isn't horribly annoying and cringy. I, I get that's kind of the joke. In, in in the Bethesda games, but but Graha has that, and I was thinking about it in in the epilogue when we're talking to the Scions in the Rising Stones, and Graha takes us to a quiet little corner so he can be cute, uh, like just like have a cute meet with us. Yes, a meet cute one more time before the end, and I was like, he, he he's that that an archetype, but he's not cringe. Yeah, that is an interesting balancing act. It probably helps that, you know, he's an adorable cat boy. Also, he's like really old. I find that part fascinating about the way he talks sometimes. That is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think about that much after watching so much Doctor Who. 
Because every doctor has their own spin on being the ancient being. I always really liked Matt Smith's version of that because he looked young. But I felt like he brought a lot more of this like ancient being energy than a lot of the doctors that looked older. I agree. So, yeah. Anyway. Thank you for reminding me of that angle. I like I love that angle. Uh, all right, we're two Grahas sacrifice and close in the distance, um, which means we're also close to my breakdown. Um, that one half ass, love the name by the way, for whom weeps the storm. Me, goddammit, I'm the storm. Don't take my cat, boy. <laughs> loved this message. I absolutely loved reading this message. Uh, Shakal, thanks for the super during this. Said uh, I love Graha's moment with Sir. Unlike the others, defiance. Graha literally just reaches out with warmth, empathy, and kindness, and he finally speaks to the good of his own story, not just yours. Yeah. Uh, I think Graha easily has the best. For me, it's I think it's Graha and Thancred. I like that Thancred has just moved to action, and I love that it's just this kind of badass hero moment. Um, I mean, it's thinning and gets it too, but there's, there's something about it. I've, I've talked about this. The, like the, 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 str the way they animate the strain in his step to make it to Medion. I love, I live for that type of hero shit. But I love your take on Graha and that, like, I am absorbing it. That is my own take. That just, like, Graha. Because I thought about it, and then when you vocalize, like, Medion didn't have shit to say. Yeah. And I'm like, hell yeah. He had solved the puzzle. Like, yeah. he completely countered her at every angle. It is such a rad moment. It's such a good character moment. Um, and it made me think back to, like, Ra his moment in Razan Han. Like, a, and every character is pulling from their past, but there's just something about Graha when he pulls from his past. It's probably my love of Shadowbringers, let's be honest. That's the easiest answer is the correct one. My love of Shadowbringers. Like, when Graha goes, when he enters Crystal Legs Arc mode, when that gets activated, ooh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, yeah. Uh, Mason's Game said, how the music suddenly cuts out and then he vanishes and the track kicks in. This is where I finally just broke. And yeah, I, b I believe it. It's, it's so well executed. Uh, Zvota Ziggy said, that is how you properly use the ship of Theseus. <laughs> just for you, Kyle. Uh -huh. The man who loves complaining <laughs> about the overuse of the ship of the Theseus. It was just because of that damn vision. Yeah. Visions? Wanda. Wanda vision. Wanda vision. Yeah, Wanda vision. Yeah. No, that was the first Marvel show we were all having a water cooler moment with. Yeah, that. no, it was a fun show, but yeah. 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 Well, the first of that, it wasn't it wasn't the Netflix Marvel shows. It wasn't Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but you get the idea. It's the first Disney Plus Marvel show. But yeah, I, I didn't mind it. I like WandaVision enough. Um, Capper 187 said, and thus the zone music is complete, but at what cost? It's a good time to use at what cost. Yeah. Yeah. Hybrid music, fittingly super during this, that this is their favorite song in all of Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, I, I, there's still, I still like high energy. I'm still a mark for high energy music, and so I think I still give it to things like um, uh, Amatsu Kaze, uh, Biako's music. Mm. Um, I absolutely love that. It's a great pick, though. Yeah. You can't, it's, you can't assail it. Like, what are you yeah. going to be like? I, for one, don't think that that's... No. Like, I think most of us are... I, I think most of us can respect a difference of opinion in music at this point. Like, I think we're kind of... We still like to dunk, but I don't think we're expecting to change anyone's mind. Like when I dunk on Nickelback, I'm not expecting people to like Nickelback to be like, "You're right." I'm gonna like I'm not trying to get you to not listen to Nickelback. I'm trying to, you know, razz you. Yeah. Um, although with you, it's Imagine Dragons, not Nickelback. But um, yeah, yeah, it's it's an absolute, it's a stellar pick. You, no one can no one can fight you on that. Yeah. Uh, Shanetta said, "This is when I ugly cried." I absolutely believe that. I absolutely believe that. Um, Raha is definitely cute meat, but, but you've spent, spelt meat like food. Oh, I see what you did, Casual Korok. I see what you did mm. there. Yeah, I see, I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, Band of the Thief during all this said, Graha's send-off will always send me. He speaks so passionately, both with your character and Sigma. Also, yes, the music cheats. This whole, I, is it a cheat when it blends? Like, because everything, I think you could argue almost everything cheats. Like, the music cheats. The the twins reacting to Graha cheats. The game being like, oh yeah, he's gone now, and he's represented in the form of a crystal bridge. Like, that to me, that probably hit me more than anything else. The fact that, oh my god, he made a bridge of crystal. 
No, I would say only up cheats because you they do it in such a short amount of time. I'm not talking about up. I know. I'm just saying like it's How not dare a, you? it's not a cheat when you put this much work into it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a cheat. I don't think it's a cheat. I think it's effective storytelling. Yeah. <laughs> it's effective storytelling but it's a great show of like just how things hit us differently because obviously i was overjoyed watching graha solve the puzzle better than anyone else you know orion j yishtola all had great counters but graha's just complete compassion Mm -hmm. it also like dodged one of my personal it, you voice sometimes just something you hate in media that happens and i've said mine before i hate robots that are wondering if they're real and why they feel and it's just like who programmed you to be this way i love that shit why would you wh- I love what it. are we exploring here we're all useless stardust come on don't just because you're a robot doesn't make you special i love it uh i'll never forgive halo for yada yada ing uh cortana's rampancy well that was weird because they built up to it so much yeah and then, and then just they're just like the yeah, yeah, yeah that happened yeah that happened and i'm like the fuck i mean halo infinite's an incredible game and they tell a great story but i'm still forever pissed at them but here they did something completely different and something that i respond to a lot more which is the when we take away our flesh we miss it like what are we now without that flesh and that they were once organic beings in that trial an exploration of that thought. That is an interesting idea. And Graha's joys of, joy of life could show them that just because you're made of robot or crystal, you're not lacking that. Mm-hmm. Just because you've been alive this long, you're not lacking that joy of life. Yeah. Yeah. Korik, I'm glad you don't apologize for anything. You shouldn't. Don't apologize for anything. Um, also, I'm sorry, I just feel very seen right now that uh, Woggle is saying... Halo lore is a damn mess right now because it is. It's such a mess. Everyone's like, Gary, you should watch the Halo show. I'm like, no, that show is an, it offends me on a nearly religious level. <laughs> <laughs> like that show can absolutely burn in the deepest pits of bad, uh, adaptation. Hell. Le- yeah. We're, you know, le- we're not putting anything down mm-hmm. here, of course, but I see it and I go, this looks like a show I would want to be good. And that is the instant <laughs> sign that it's not good. <laughs> There's tons of people that love it. And everyone I know that loves it has never picked up a Halo book. Mm. I unfortunately have. I have picked up a Halo book. And so I want that show to die in a fire. It makes me so mad every time I look at it. Um, so yeah, that's my Halo therapy session, everybody. Thank you for coming. Back to Endwalker. <laughs> um... Where did they leave off? I got um, really uh, uh, dark lighter. Yeah, dark lighter uh, said I appreciate th- that this game just doesn't hold back. It throws really difficult concepts uh, and like kids play this game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can you can put walls up. Like I think it, I think it would be relatively easy. You know, if you're the type of person who doesn't want to read into this kind of stuff, to kind of put a wall up. I like I said with Jesse, I think you can play this just looking for the big action moments and i think you're going to have a great time um would i recommend you look a little deeper than that absolutely but i wouldn't hold it against you if that's what you're here for it's bombastic i always forget about the smell of coffee hitting my nose and the effect Mm. that that has on me Mm. i always forget about that yeah keep me strong man keep me strong I want to sleep tonight. <laughs> you need your payway. <laughs> I want to sleep tonight, damn it. <laughs> I've been thinking about M. Walker so much since we ended, dude. Dude, yeah, I've had a, a mess of songs. Stuck yeah, in I'm my head not. All I'm weekend. not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to put on a show here. Um, I've been thinking about a lot. Uh, that end of book feel is like it's been hitting. No, I think that uh, that's a good reason why we've been doing all this extra stuff, talking to people, but also. We haven't recorded the video yet because there's still parts of it that I'm like... I'm incapable of giving that video the the the, the point-by-point respect that it's going to need right now. I don't like analyzing things while I'm still emotional about them. Because... Yes. And there are parts of this ending that I'm still just like, I don't... I don't want to force myself to not enjoy. Like, sometimes... Yeah, right. I, okay. Crying feels good. 
and you just want to continue to feel it's like putting on sad music when you're already sad and that's how i've been feeling these past couple days yeah man i feel that i was going to say for me it'd be like me making the MSQ video right now would be me, like me watching my cell phone video version of a concert that just absolutely sent me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm like, no, I like I was there. I lived it. I just wanna I just wanna I just wanna let that feeling wash over me for a bit. And I don't want to um I I don't want I don't wanna like overanalyze it right now. I do eventually want to overanalyze exactly. it, but not right and now. And there's some really fun things. I've got some great gag ideas that I want to include. There's some jokes I want to do, but <laughs> uh, look, yeah. nothing felt more fake when I was running around doing Easter slash the ladies day this weekend because I wanted the mount. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to be helping I'm, the I'm, town. I missed that on the mount. 100%. I missed that yeah, on the mount. It, Yeah, it was like... Go to the citizens of Uldah and tell them that the Gobus aren't as dangerous as they once were. And I'm like, shit, that's where Heidelin showed up for the first time and was singing while Menphilia's parents died. This quest isn't... No, I'm just sensitive yeah, right just, now. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, quest exactly. isn't insensitive. I'm just sensitive. Exactly. Yeah, we, I did a lot of prep for Amanda's interview, too. So that's where, kind of where I put my uh, my prep energy. That's where that went. Uh, to everybody, like Sarah Mew saying, like, no rush. No, I don't feel rushed. Everyone's no, been super cool. No everyone's been super cool this is just kind of kyle and i talking out loud about our process of uh making making some videos so i uh, appreciate the uh the no rush from everybody very much uh i drink windex still love that name makes me laugh every time thanks for the super during that set uh the song has a proper music video as well i'm sure we will watch it at some point i'm sure we will watch it might get flagged for that eh figure it out yeah reverse aquamath super uh wanted to give a shout out to jason charles miller uh who sings close in the distance yeah yeah uh, uh killed it i mean i, I really what, what can i say that hasn't been said um it was rad to get to see him perform at fan fest uh i want to get in a time machine now and go watch it with context <laughs> that's what i want to do uh mel the red cap super there's a fan video with literally hundreds of players singing this ah yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go it's been yeah referenced multiple times in chat just now today um yeah uh epa Sentara said we've lost graha and i have to go to bed <laughs> walk on valentina <laughs> <laughs> so sorry we went so late replays said this part just had me bawling yeah i, I believe it i believe it um, Ricardo super that Graha awoke in a dead world where people uh, united against the spare. Then he went to another dying world where he led people through despair and out the other side. And he was saved by his hero. Absolutely. Uh, nobody knows hope better than him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with that. And I love that. And that's definitely, I think the cooler, like more heartwarming takeaway. I was geeking out so hard that I'm like, yeah, he took his freaking sentience and put it in another body. Who better to freaking, like, point out the fallacies of the Omicron's bullshit than Graha? Yeah. Yeah. So. I just want to see the notebook. I would love. That would be. <laughs> where, the movie? No, no, no. I've seen it. No, where, <laughs> with, like. With Brian Gosling? Yeah, no, yeah. But, <laughs> like, the, the writing notebook where the team moved it around and, and figured out, like, Thancred goes for. No. And and like just how they chose to layer it, because having Graha last in this case for the main signs, you still have, you know, the Alpha No Alize moment to go is just really genius. Because he knows it so well, because he solves it with the knowledge that everyone else had. It's well done. Yeah. Yeah. And Cephalia, uh, being the jogger of my memory, saying you heard the primals play close in the distance at FanFest. It's a great song, but hearing it live with context was amazing. I, I bet. Freaking bet. Because, um, yeah. Yeah, it definitely didn't. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, I just, I was just, I, it was, it was cool. It was honestly, it was a cool experience seeing it out of context because it's just like audible gasps from the audience. Like, when it starts. Like, yeah. everyone who knew what it was. And us um, keeping our eyes on the band close-up <laughs> screen. <laughs> Being like, huh, why is everyone get so mo But, like, who gets that? <laughs> like, that's a very, that's, like, that's our experience. That's our unique experience. And, and 
I wouldn't have any other way. And I'm so excited to eventually get the context for Scream. Yes. And now I'm like more excited again after talking to Amanda yesterday and how she's so excited to get context for all of these pieces of music that she doesn't have a lot of context for. I'm like, oh, I get to have like a little, just a tiny piece of that. Well, Scream is was so important a moment for me because I started playing because I heard the trial music for Warring Triad of uh, Locus and Alexander. Yeah. And that's what got me into the game. And once we got past Heaven's Word since then, there's been a lot of amazing songs, but nothing has been of my genre, my Power Man 5000 metal, new metal kind of feel. Yeah. And so when I heard Scream at Fan Fest, just the elevation of something to look forward to was so powerful. If someone had sent me metal ahead of time, it would have been a great way to sell me on this game. Yeah. yeah. I, Honestly, you and I hadn't talked about music much before no, playing this game. No, we don't so agree on really anything you. when it comes to music, except th there's been two times now. Kyle got in my car. We were going somewhere, and I had Fall Out Boy on. He goes, is this Fall Out Boy? I'm like, yeah. He's like, is this newer? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I like this. I'm like, yes. And then he came over before End Marker finale and had the new Blink-182 album playing. Because uh, honestly, there's a lot of songs in that that make me think of Kyle and the journey that Kyle and I have been on. Because um, a lot of songs on the new Blink-182 album about brotherhood uh, and friendship. Um, and Kyle, again, went, this is Blink? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I like this. I'm like, I'm, get I'm getting him. I'm getting him, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting him. Um, yeah, music can be a really powerful motivator. Um, if you're if you're if you're music motivated, I, I think, you know, everybody's mileage for what a spoiler is is different. But I think if you're trying to sell a friend on Final Fantasy 14, I, I, I think you could be a lot more spoiler full than than sending some tracks over because they don't hit this as someone who has experienced some really significant 14 music out of context. Let me tell you, they, they hit very different in context. Um, so that would, that would be my, my recommendation. Um, you know, or just go you know, for board, just show him Emmett in front of the flaming doors and just be like, behold this Things visage <laughs> or, or the sea of boobies. That is the final boss of <laughs> Eden? Eden. Like John Actually, sent that, me that. Yeah, you could do, you, you could, could do that. that and you'll you just be that. like, what the, do not send hell. the mom around. Do not send the mom around. Uh, cow tell us, um, both cow and Kevin M had similar thoughts and they mentioned that this hit, uh, this part hit really uh, hard during a, a tough part of their lives. Uh, so I hope, I hope you're both doing better, Kevin and Cal. Um, yeah, you weren't alone. I've heard, a lot, heard from a lot of folks who uh, talk about what they were going through when they got through the end of N. Walker. Um, and then I have a note here, Kyle. Mm. Uh, you want to read that note right there? It says, Garrett Breaks Down is the name of this section. Yeah, so we don't need to show that again. You can revisit it if you'd like. Um, but I will revisit some of the messages that we didn't read while I was blubbering. Um, but it is lupus cheered. Yes, the tears. I I don't know how to explain this to people who, who don't understand uh, the journey that is this game. Uh, Gaijin Hunter, it's great to see you, said, uh, watching from Japan here, we're all connected no matter where we are. Um, and reliving this through you both has been special for all of us, too. Thanks, you guys, Hunter, for the message during this. Um, Vocative Case wanted uh, me to accept a virtual hug from all 7,243 of us. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel great knowing that oh, that many people have seen me cry. And I've also seen the views on the VOD after the fact. And whoo. Whoo. Yeah, as Jesse said, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're all bros here. I'm, I'm going to muscle through. I'm not going to cry. It honestly was not a plan. <laughs> I mean, I, I was midline <laughs> on mine. I honestly just kind of hate crying in general. So a well, little bit. It's, yeah, it's uh, painful trying to avoid it. You know, it's it's not I don't like the way it messes with sinuses and yeah, stuff. And but. I didn't want to talk about uh, the loss. Our, our yes. family had just suffered. It's, yeah, it's. Uh, I think I can get through this thought right now. Losing a pet is a massive trigger for me. Um, and I, I, I just don't like talking about it to me. That's, that's something that's, that's to, for me, that's something, uh, uh, for me to hug Katie and get through. It's, it's a very private grief for me. And so this, this has been challenging for so many reasons, but it's been a particularly big challenge because it's like, well, I, I got to tell everybody like, 
my ex- my, my family uh, and my, my pets are very much an extended part of that. It's part of it. Like everybody knows our pets, so it's like I'm not gonna keep it from you. But it, it was very hard. It was very hard to to kind of talk about that publicly. So. And it always will be. I don't think it's ever going to get easier for me. So if I ever seem like I'm kind of shelling up for that, uh, that's why. Uh, and so so thanks for thanks for understanding that, everybody. Uh, Hark Magic uh, super that the number one hobby of Final Fantasy XIV players is watching Final Fantasy XIV streamers cry. That is no something lie I have learned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is an accurate statement. Accurate statement. Uh, Jesse Cox. I think I read this in the moment, but I, it was so amusing. I pulled it in again. Uh, <laughs> Jesse himself, super. No one makes it to the end without tears. And I'm not going to read the rest because it's extremely complimentary and I've been complimented enough by no, Jesse. No, no. We're talking about not crying at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Don't, don't read the rest <laughs> of Jesse Cox statement there. That, yeah. That, that is absolutely insane. Yeah. Uh, of a compliment. Yeah. 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 Okay, Mage watched the hug on VOD and she was sobbing. Oh, Jesus. I didn't need to know that, Ricardo. <laughs> I did not need to know that. I will not go look up that clip. <laughs> but thank you for sharing. Um, I think I, I'm glad we crit you in the feels. Okay, Mage. I'm, I'm happy to have. I hope, I, hope it was, I, was, I hope it was good tears. I hope it was tears of joy at um, uh, positive male bonding in Manifest. <laughs> I mean, legitimate. Like, I do hope. I don't want to get preachy, but I do hope that if if you are not as um if you're not as emotional with your friends, I, I do hope I do hope we can kind of be a beacon for that. Like because I, I do I do think it's important. I do think it's like tell your friends you love them and hug your friends. I think that's really important. And I know for a lot of folks that are our age that was not a thing growing up. Um I think the uh, Stinian scene with Alphano was a great example of don't leave things unsaid. Oh, in Jesus. that regard. Yeah. And yeah, no, there, I mean, there was a lot of 90s sensibilities that you and I both grew up with. And I think that it doesn't come, it, the emotional vampirism is a fun way to put it, but I don't see it as villainous. I, well, uh, I, so I, much of it is, is made in jest. Exactly. And it's a way to almost, well, it's laugh through the pain, right? Because it's a core relation you're having with a person and it's acknowledgement of your own emotions you felt during this journey and getting to see a streamer have yeah. that raw experience validates isn't quite the right, right word i'm looking for but it does speak to your own experience uh yeah no yeah 100 100 yeah i don't know it's just it is it is it i i use the term parasocial more but also the same way, like you're trying to like say like, hey, vampirism is a bad thing. I don't think parasocial is necessarily a bad thing. It's just that this, if you're not used to it coming into the 14 community, like these community, like y'all want to talk about this, and the game tees you up to talk about this kind of stuff. Um, and so it can be kind of jarring if you're coming into it for the first time. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that's I, I joked about it in our thank you video too, but. If you're streaming this game, first of all, you know, there's maybe that's why a Realm Reborn needs to be so long for the onboarding process for the poor streamer who's going to slowly gather an audience and eventually be yeah. crying on stream. But, you know, it, the, this, the game also goes, hey, streamer, what do you think of fascism? And you have to deal with that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the Varys table looking back was such a hilarious moment of I just I noticed I absolutely noticed people in chat being like what's their reaction to fascism is it and I'm just like why are is there does anyone have a different reaction other than this is gross yeah isn't that the point yeah yeah the man literally can't yeah. have a hug he has a spike on his chest <laughs> He's in the wrong. His armor says as you much. You can't hug this man. Nope. You cannot do it. You can't do it. Ugh. 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 And then, yeah. And so, yeah. Like, yeah. I, like, because I think people were trying to pull really emotional things out of me in Heaven's Ward. And I just wasn't ready. I think you need to go on this journey before you can start asking this of people who are going through this journey publicly. Um, But it makes so much sense once you're here. Like... But if you if it if I was starting and you're like you're gonna get Dan Walker you're gonna have to like address some tough 
personal feelings. I would have been like, that's weird. This is, I'm, no, this is kind of off putting. But when you're in the moment, it, it makes so much more sense. And that's why, like, like Johan here uh, left a message talking about how they lost their mother in 21 and that N Walker helped them process that grief and find their way again. Like, that that that's that that's a difficult thing to explain. Like, if I tried to tell someone who didn't watch this journey, didn't watch the stream, that someone sent that message, and that it made sense, it's a hard thing to explain. But in the moment, uh, I can't even look at my own face right now. Um, in the past, my own not this face is fine. That that <laughs> face makes one a, <laughs> makes one a ball. Um, in that moment, it makes sense. Like we're we're. Yeah, it's parasocial. Maybe, yes, it is, but I don't know. Like, I don't like. I don't think it's a bad thing uh, to share this kind of these kind of feelings publicly. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. You know, maybe not all the time. You know, maybe if it's a day you're standing on the the barrel of needing to get some very uh, practical things done, maybe losing yourself to to your existential feelings is, is not the most well and this is also helpful thing, highly but, on point like you know but what what really helped you know i i of course have said like you know what really helped me through a, a tough time red line what was it the cars <laughs> going fast no 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 i was just having a really rough time this, in my period in my life the, yeah and, the other side of this is sometimes you do need an action pack kick in the ass to be like stop like stop being lost in your yeah. sorrow and go and be a, a person of action. Yeah. Um, and I, they're both are really important, I think. And, 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 and I don't see that talked about enough. Um, so anyway, I, I hope, I hope we in this community can be a good beacon for that. And I feel like we, are. Yeah. I feel like we are, I don't want to yeah. our, own whole, our own horn too much, but I do think we are, a, I, I do think we've managed to find a, a decent way to kind of talk about this in a communal setting. Um, so yeah, and then Melissa was like along the lines, like never apologize for crying. Get this man some tissues. Yeah, yeah, that was a rough. It was, it was a, it, Joe Cat showing up represented a lot of things for me, and I my speech there is better. Listen to that. <laughs> Listen to that. I'm, I'm not gonna, but it, it just it hit me. A lot of things hit me at once there. Um, uh, Rob Baskerville said watching you guys experience this game is almost as good as playing it myself. Enjoy the severe emotional damage. Oh, I did. I did. I did kind of want to crawl into a corner, though, in that moment. Um, <laughs> KLG uh, Chaos just yelled, the bromance will live forever. On forever. I will now be putting uh, Mika Mischief's art on screen. Okay. All right. I don't... Did I see this one? No, I believe uh, you haven't seen this one. This, they painted this during our stream. I would say, that looks like traditional media. Yeah, no, and, and that just made me miss Oh, it. holy shit. Yeah, that out. That's awesome. So, uh, I freaking miss painting and seeing them paint even this moment uh was awesome and that's why i wanted to share it because that's so cool that they were painting this in real life while this was going that's freaking fantastic and i want to paint so much again not minis just like actually paint awesome dude i miss figure painting more than anything yeah. else at art school that's the number one thing i miss um Vivian said, uh, just want to thank us for the fantastic memories and, so, and the love that you've shown your community. We love you both right back. Stay awesome. And remember the forge ahead. We did kick Xenos' ass eventually. Um, X ball, uh, said, enjoy the end heart. And I just included this because the, the peak comedy of sending this while I was in the middle of having an actual breakdown, um, <laughs> I loved Enjoy. it. I loved noticing. I loved reading this after the fact when I was a little calmer and was able to receive this message. Um, and then uh, we're getting some messages live right now that I feel we should probably address before we get too deep into this. Because some being thanks for the, the generous super right now in live chat saying, and Walker was my way through depression as, as crazy as it may sound. The walk helped me more uh, to get a grip about my feelings and dealing with grief uh, than years of therapy ever could. Uh, I cried two hours straight. And the point we lost Graha, but well, yeah, like let, let, it's, there's no right way to 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 get help, <laughs> like or no wrong way to get help. You never know when when things are gonna when things are gonna resonate with you. Um, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about you know like what emotionally resonates with me, and I think for me it's it's a lot of it is is, is music. Um, Katie's ever comfortable having this conversation. I'd love to talk about this at some point because we talk about we have these songs that 
and we have we we've had this conversation with each other that we have songs from bands that we love because the original reason Katie and I ever started talking to each other was we were both into the same music in high school. Um, we both showed up to art school one day. We were wearing the uh, same Newfound Glory T-shirt, and I sure. used, I used that nice, as an icebreaker. Nice. And we started talking, and I was like, "Hey, you want to go see a movie this weekend?" And she said, "Yes." And there was this whole long journey. But there was, as we've talked about, there was a there was four years where, where we were broken up. We weren't dating. Uh, I moved to L.A. She moved to Atlanta. We were very far apart. Um, and after we get, ended up getting back together and reconnecting, um, we realized that there were songs that made us think of each other. And some of them were the same songs. Oh, cute. Um, yeah, yeah. And so th- I have that. I have that where, it, 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 you know, it's I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was depression but it was it was definitely a hard time for me when i was like having these feelings of like did i really royally mess up and did i miss uh, <laughs> uh like could i have not ended up with this person who is actually my other half um, now you're getting to why Alize's line hit me. Yes, so hard that that's what made me start thinking of it. Yeah, actually, I'm not to jump ahead, but but yeah, um, that's why. Yeah, I think I, I I think for me, emotionally resonant media is so deeply tied to to songs from bands that mean a lot to me and Katie. Um, and that's why, like a lot of this, I'm like, oh yeah, no, that's cool. I mean, I can see how it's sad, but it's not it's not sad to me. Like the whole, well, I'm talking about the whole journey now, you know, time and time again, things where people are like, oh, I'm surprised it didn't hit you. I'm like, yeah, no, no, it just didn't, didn't really resonate with anything personally sad in my life. Um, but, but yeah, uh, not respecting your parents' love and uh, potentially missing out on the love of your life are two things that will wreck me every time. Um, Cause yeah, I was a teenager that took my parents' uh, support for granted. And uh, I feel very fortunate to have reconnected with Katie and ended up getting married. So uh, someone please time to hit this so I can just like bomb drop this on her next Valentine's. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Here's where I talked about you on Here's stream. Here's where I talked about you on stream and I barely made it through without crying. Um, but yeah, yeah, we got a, We got a couple songs where we're just like, oh shit. Yeah, this always made me think of you. Yeah, so that's that. There, there I am. Uh, I bared my soul. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, and to, just so we don't get too far ahead of these other messages, um, Mark, thanks for the for the super where you were talking about Emmett and uh, Amarat, where he said, let us imagine the laws of reality are again undone. Do you honestly believe that half of your number would sacrifice themselves to save the other? And then you get to the Scions and Ultima Thule that said, well, what about all of us? And yeah, I hadn't really thought about it that way. That's a cool read. Hmm. That's a very cool read as I uh, choke back a little, uh, little, little nose sadness there uh, and then eagle just now supering it's like how stormblood was divisive to the player base depending on their experiences uh and it hitting close to home while others were like Ugh, political drama yeah yeah i mean yeah for me uh, not to go off on too much of a stormblood tangent but um i think stormblood just resonated me from a character rating standpoint i just i keep coming back to i love that crew that we rolled with like hian and yugiri yatsuyu while she was with us gosetsu i really just like that crew it wasn't. I don't think there was anything in Stormblood that really kind of hit me on a personal level. Oh, I was getting hit all the time for Dola's parents. Yeah, into the Yatsuyu crap. Like, and I yeah. say crap to be dismissive, so I don't overthink. It. This is me now protecting myself from tears because yeah, yeah. the Yatsuyu like bad parenting. <laughs> yeah, that stuff was. Uh, that was a time. Yeah, and a place. Yeah. And that would be my COVID experience. And I've told you all about that. And I'm not going to retread that. You can go find those streams. But, you know, not being able to have family come visit my baby and what a, a riff that was for my family. Yeah. Yeah. COVID, uh, COVID sucked. Oh, yeah. I almost did I'm like, that's what a stupid thing. Like, you like, can, like you I can need, say it. Yeah. Like I need yeah, to say I mean, that. <laughs> obvious statement. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Ken Lon sent a message during all this that said that the fact that N. Walker makes everyone cry is a good thing. Uh, stories are supposed to make us feel, uh, and we should never be ashamed of that. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with that. I don't, I think it's totally okay. For future streamers, 
I think it's completely okay if you're uncomfortable crying publicly. I think that's a perfectly normal thing. Because uh, I am uncomfortable crying publicly. Uh, I'm not comfortable about it. Uh, Sanaka uh, said my husband was ill around the time that I was playing this part. Uh, the story reminded me that he and I were still in it and we were still fighting. Um, I was up till 3 a.m. playing the storyline and it was worth it. Uh, he's still here. Thank you for in that <laughs> yes, parenthetical at indeed. the end, Sanaka. I'm, I'm very glad. I hope I hope you're both doing. I hope you're both doing great. Um, <laughs> There's been a you know yeah. You've had that right where you're watching a movie by yourself and you just come in the blubbering mess to wake your significant other. And you're like, honey, you go in there and they're just dead asleep and you're like, oh, I'm gonna walk into the home coming back from this. Yeah, and I'm gonna give Katie a big hug and she's gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, I, t- I talked about. I was talking I, about. I, I you talk, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna name drop a, a song to her. I talked about the song and what it means and I just. I just, I'm so glad we, I'm so glad we found each other, again. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm to a note that says Elpis Flower Field breaks the server slash twin sacrifice. Oh well, that yeah, nice combination there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I love that organic discovery. By the way, the there's no one. Oh, there's no one to talk to here. Oh, except Medion. That was that was solid. That was freaking solid. It was a good part. It was a good part. Uh, Kato, during this, said, I couldn't get into the zone to celebrate with two in person. It was nuts. Bo- absolutely nuts that so many people showed up. Uh, Meldrick Redcaps uh, said in all caps, I'm trying to teleport in and join you, and I'm getting an error message because my destination is congested. You did that. Your fans did that. You have broken the game. Congratulations. I'm watching myself. I'm sorry. It was weird that I ma- I showed everybody you, so I'm not gonna, you know. It was a mix here, man, of people re- uh, uh, reacting to your breakdown yeah. and then a server also being broken, because it was it was very, it was very. Like here's Lyra saying, uh, uh, "Your words have made me a snotty, uh, teary, fucking monster." <laughs> <laughs> and also said it was Joe Cat's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Nomad said such emotional devastation, in fact, was their intention. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Elbardo said, I'd like to congratulate both Garrett and Kyle for congesting the zone. Double meeting there, Elbardo? Yeah, congesting. Congests all around. Oh, that's the part. That's the part of crying I hate is when it ends up in the nose. That was, that was no good. Uh, Solomir said I broke into ugly tears with Alizé here as well. Uh, that she and her brother yeah. are, like, so young, with so much more to live for, and they're bravely walking toward an uncertain doom. It hit me in a way I didn't think it was possible. Uh. They did a good job balancing that. Uh, because they're not so wise that you're like, now wait a minute, how old are these characters? But, just wise enough to make you go, oh, they went through some shit. I like that it was pulling from to me I read into it like them putting trust in not only the warrior of light but like all the scions that they were it was a it was a, I looked at it as a leap of faith um cuz they've looked at the warrior of light multiple times before in the story but also like like a payoff like it's a big payoff for alpha no cuz he 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 had faith in the crystal blade braves and it it was one is like his greatest failure and so here's a moment where he's really, truly, you know, believing in others, uh, but then also kind of giving himself to that belief. So I really liked that part of it. Yeah. Kind of holding up a mirror to that to that arc for, for Alfie. Um, as Alberto just, I'm like, Alberto, double meaning, is now just raining memberships on our chat. Um, thank you. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you, Alberto. Much we summoned the Alberto Prime. That's what we did. <laughs> That's what we Thank did. Thank you so much. And Ryan, right now, in this moment, super chatting, can we talk about what legends you two are for pulling Joe Cat into your Endwalker finale dungeon and trial? We no, no. That's, let's talk about yeah. what a legend Joe Cat is for for showing up. For staying up, um, for being a part of that, for limit breaking yeah. correctly. <laughs> for role playing that he wasn't limit breaking correctly. Like as someone who was like felt like I'm but a visitor to the your lands of like realizing the breadth of content creators that exist within Final Fantasy 14 
and also what Joe Cat means to us in our journey because it's no, it's you can go look. The views on our Joe Cat reacts videos are bonkers. A lot of people found us through those videos that I'm honestly like a little uncomfortable about because I'm just like, oh, I, just like so much effort went into those. Um, um, that you know, it's something I still like struggle with, but I'm like, well, it's people want to see it and anyway. I, I, I'm not gonna go down that road, but. Um, Joe Cat's important to the journey that we've been on and I've sent him as much of a message. Um, but, uh, I've, I've just respect the living crap out of the dude, um, on personal and professional levels. Um, I know how hard it is to make the type of content that he makes that animating is not easy. And he, he like, does it like the old school way. He just does it with digital tools and, uh, like, yeah, like I don't, uh, Joe, I've got so much respect for Joe Cat because he he's he he kind of represents this this like burst of energy that kind of snapped me out of like multiple levels of burnout. Um, you know, I, I was very I've been very cynical about art after art school, and uh, when we had Joe Cat on the podcast, it reminded me of my favorite parts about art school, which was like talking to like other creatives and just like having a good time. It's the things that like school can't plan for. It just happens when you're around kindred spirits. Um, and then like he, he, the, the reason I was also kind of having to melt down there was because of like thinking of just how long I've been doing this and how cynical I was at times about content creation and just, yeah, it was just, uh, you rule Joe cat. Thank you. Uh, it's just cool to say, and you said as much too on that stream, I think quite elegantly through the tears. I was impressed at how eloquent you were, uh, it was, uh, just that the content creators here in Final Fantasy XIV lift each other up. And granted, we did come from competitive gaming. You know, you were doing MMOs as well, but I did a lot of competitive gaming, and that was not a lift each other up atmosphere. No, it was literally try and beat each other yeah. when you run into and that each was other the on, point. The, on the ladder. You know? Yeah, that was yeah, the yeah, point, yeah. But... 100%. Yeah, um, yeah I'll, I'll just add, uh, like, because I think I kind of just sur surmised what I said, but the one thing I don't think I said in the moment is that... um. Uh, the other thing with Joe Cat is like, I'm so angry <laughs> on his behalf for what he's been having to deal with. Um, but I'm also very happy for him that he's making healthy decisions. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's just like the dude's a fucking legend. <laughs> so, yeah, that's 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 enough being parasocial with Joe Cat. <laughs> but, but very well, I got I have endless uh, wells of respect for him. Um he, he freaking rules. Uh, Ten days was giving you an out uh, during all this, saying truly a bad day for rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say. I'll say. Um, Pythos during this said, I just got home and went to join your Ultima Thule only for the game to tell me there's too many people. Oh, well, have some money instead. Thank you, Pythos. Thank S you. Sorry for the state of the server. Thanks for trying to join. Um yeah, I don't. I don't know what to say. That, 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 that is, uh, it's, it's super. It's super humbling, and I will uh, do my best not to get an ego about it. Um. <laughs> uh, fallen MSH, MSH sent one of my favorite quotes in the history of film, which is, "All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain." Scoob. Why? Because it's just so good. I just love that meme so much. <laughs> Something about Shaggy smoking a cigarette just sends me. I've, this is the most I've hated you today. <laughs> this is I, I want to hit you. <laughs> you are making me feel violent. <laughs> uh, Latero said, "Remember when you jokingly predicted in five three that M Walker's end would be Oops All Xenos?" Hmm. Interesting. Mm, I wonder what we're heading towards now. Yeah. And then Tooney said, sh "Also, shout out to Sokin. The man came out of cancer." And wrote three banging end boss names for Endwalker. This is literally the final days. I think there's a reason shouting out Soken is so common in in the Final Fantasy community. Um, yeah, yeah. This music is is incredible, and makes you want to throw even more shade on the Final Fantasy IV tracks that predated. I, I think, it, it, I, it, as I say about so many things. That this game does i think one of the most powerful things they've got going on is they do what they want yes and they follow their passions yeah. and it's reflected in 100 and and a less a less uh shady way to put that is like those um much more simplistic 
four tracks that are, are earlier in the expansion just make these tracks at the end hit like a oh absolute explosion i mean just go back to the stuff we grew up with you know play it again same song again <laughs> like it's just nice to have properties that have proper soundtracks these days i mean you have the shadow bring a soundtrack up and i'm looking at track 111 and it just happens to be where you're stopped like the fact that there's that many tracks in a in a sound oh yeah this is just uh, this is shadow bringers the playlist i made but oh okay yeah it's called shadow bringers because i made it during shadow bringers oh, but this is like my pre okay. no this is just all a bunch of and walk gotcha. stuff and it goes on gotcha it does go on um all right so we're to the end singer session rio xenos elvin infante kicking us off with why haven't you beaten the game yet scrubs which is signed xenos at the end of the universe as a dragon I didn't see Xeno Shinryu coming. I feel like I probably should have. People kept hinting like, think about channeling primals. And I'm just like, stop giving me hints. <laughs> also, I don't trust anyone at this point. I've been misled so many times. <laughs> I don't know who to trust. And who to, uh, and, and who to shun. We're, we're past the dungeon now. Doing yeah, yeah I, be... I think we caught some things during, or they they, they may I may have moved them. Oh, because we were running around too, so we were reading supers during that time as well. Yeah. Okay. And some may have gotten written replies. Okay, so now now is a moment we need to take, just so you all can fathom why the sweet hell this was given at FanFest. Why would you do this? We were like, oh, what a happy little thing they're giving out. Here, have a war corpse. Won't that be fun? Surely yeah. its face won't fall out of itself and spill on the ground. Would you like a war crime magnet? Lovely. What the fuck? <laughs> well, you know, we, I guess you could quest in that zone and maybe find them and something is like a whole business but no like that yeah why not deeply upsetting yeah deeply upsetting so that's all i wanted to say on that okay point the well bahama wanted to say time to kill a time to kill bird drones on starship xenos that's an accurate statement yeah that is true that, does make sense. that is lore accurate yes and again please like all future bosses please have a trial where just people get owned They'll just have a little cut yeah. scene where everyone gets Let's owned do it. but us because it really it really filled it out wonderfully. I'm super into it. Uh, the mirror said Xenos is big fat potatoes now. There were a lot of potato jokes because I said, man, I just thought Xenos was such small potatoes. Oh, all the potatoes. Yeah, yeah but then he was he was Shinryu. He was Shinryu. Are you you good? Uh, no, I, I didn't grab the other art. Though. Kyle is like fury over here. What's going on? Well, I'm just I'm scrolling. I'm not furious. I'm just trying to dig. Oh, okay. Trying to dig through. Our our channel is very busy. You may have noticed. Yes. Um, Fidgel, and I don't know if this is a joke or not, but Fidgel said once my dad thought he'd get into hydroponics, he tried growing potatoes in old oil drums. They were about the size of pearls. Those are small potatoes. Xenos is very much not small potatoes. Which I originally thought was a joke, but I'm now starting to think that's an actual story from Fidgel. Hmm. But yeah, you know. You never. He was one very large. But yeah, I mean, he was Rafa. He was. Don't say soup. I'm so hungry now. It's like. <laughs> Stop talking about. Potatoes. It is bananas. How hungry I am. And oh, jeez. And when we're done here, I have to immediately place an order, so that I am the hero and show up at home with dinner. So I'm also thinking about. It. I'm like, do I get sides? I think I'm. Gonna, I never get sides. I think I'm gonna get sides. Kyle. Are we, are, we, are we good? Oh, yeah, no, no, everything, e nothing's bad. <laughs> nothing's bad. I'm just trying to find uh, the art I wanted to put up for this next section. Xenos is a barrel. Uh, Shin Shinryu is not a barrel. Xenos has a, has like a, has just an absolute dump truck for a rear. That's what, that's what he's got going on. Is that it? There it Congrats is. Congrats on being alive. Yeah, there it is. That is uh, currently chilling on my desktop right now. I like oh, it so good. much. Shout out to Jaffers for this. Oh, it's a, it's a big one. Um, it's a finely 
<laughs> Starlin said, ah, yes, my favorite trial. Wish I could have seen the walk, but glad to be able to catch the end of this. Uh, enjoy it, Starlin. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've, t if you've taken in the VOD by now, I hope you had a good time with it. Um, and, and for MSA, a G, this was their first super chat ever. And they said, I just have to say the final day's trial has to be one of the greatest RPG gaming moments I've ever experienced. And oh my God, soaking in the team, uh, with the music, it, it's just incredible. It was super well done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Praise Rala. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking Rala. Oh, uh, we should do some really low effort Rala um cultist cosplay for the next fan fest <laughs> just get the just like white robes like a crappy mask out of cardboard and just some signs that say i just want to die yeah would have been good for that all right all right so New i've Vegas got a heat. massive amalgamation here okay kmca griff cat Shakal, laura lee d bellboy ethan vicker mmo richard chris majors mean bean clairvoyant nara linko silver and comor maldeb all had a super or a membership message about it about enraged mechanics and about the enraged mechanics being ours, not hers. And I at no point picked this up in the fight. Hmm. Go on. That's all I have. I, I haven't had time. We had Amanda yesterday. We had Jesse Friday. I have not had time to revisit this fight. Interesting. Because the scion started praying too hard. I don't, I don't know. They're saying the Boston enrage we did. Yeah. The music is a clue. Well, that was what Jesse started to talk about. Is that like the warrior of the light, a warrior of light theme comes on during this? Huh. And so it's like we become the boss for End Singer. Interesting. L literally, the boss music starts playing, but it's not for the boss. It's for us. It's our theme. Yeah. So it's like it's like it's like you're fighting the boss, and the boss goes. Why are they singing in Latin? Hmm. So it's it's reversed. That's cool. And I absolutely did not notice that in the moment. Uh, I obviously saw a lot of praise people saying that the music is not a unique song for the end singer. It's a combination of the previous boss themes because it represents yes. your journey. That that end singer isn't an end boss. They're just a culmination of your journey to get yeah. here. And definitely also missed this as well. Um, excuse me, Arkson saying she calls uh, us the final encounter hmm. afterwards. Well, I mean, we would be the only thing standing in her way, really. Yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't read into it that way. But that is, I love that read. That's super cool. Marco has a great video about the Ensinger theme. All right, we'll have to do that. I would love to actually react to a Marco video now that we can, now that we can actually do that. Yeah, yeah. We'll line them up, man. Yeah, I'd really, I'd really enjoy doing that. But um, yeah, it is no kidding. What was that like? Twelve people, like it was like in a row. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like I didn't pick up on any of this. The 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 urge to not die when you're the stream view is so great that I I miss out on so much of the set dressing in the in the moment. It's always hard just play, you know. Like that's just nature of it when i was doing ranked play on stream i'd play offline sometimes be like oh this is better <laughs> yeah yeah i'm better at this when i'm not talking or showing my face or worrying about my nose being picked yeah kelly a who is saying and walker reacts on lock go yeah exactly yeah 100 exactly. we've this thought has has been through our mind uh, Jeff Flynn put this put this up, and I definitely didn't notice it in the moment. Which said, "Look at the color of the boss in the last phase; she's turning more and more blue." Hmm. Um, that's a cool. That's a really nice touch uh, that I definitely didn't notice in the moment. Are you gonna scrub? Yeah, yeah. Gonna, Going for a, a scrub scrubberino. Um, blue, da ba dee da ba die, and da ba dee da ba die. Because without da -dee, da -ba -dee, the fight so far, like the main thing to me was, I mean, one, the mechanics were beautiful. Um. She is. Look at the wings. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Look at that. Oh, I scrubbed too many times. YouTube wants a refresh. It does. It does do yeah. that sometimes. No, I, yeah, I didn't notice that. That's really cool. Thanks for pointing that out, Jeff. I'm sure other folks in chat were as well. Um. Fortunately, you can recruit the trials and unmess. Said James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, we're, I mean, when we go to make our video, we're going to be going through this with like a fine tooth comb. So I'll probably pick up on a lot more of this. Uh, Lee said the power of friendship in peak form. The power of friendship in peak form is Kyle hugging me from behind while I blubbered. <laughs> that was the power of friendship in peak form. We had our own power of friendship moment. I just love how uh, how chaotic. And in the moment, you're not watching Health Bar. You're just watching her flail and being like, is it done? Can, can she be defeated? It just keeps going. Well, she's just getting owned, right? Like, yeah. Like, we're actually beating her. And it's, like, really being visually represented. And that's that's super cool. That's super, super cool. Oh, I'm, I'm getting confused. I'm seeing chat go by. And I'm like, oh, no, where's the super? Oh, yeah, I don't yes, see the super. Yeah. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. You can leave it. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah, Actually, yeah, you do need yeah, to fix yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah. do need to fix yeah. it. Never mind. I see, I see what's going on here. We're producing live. Um, d Man said this extreme will take you a few days. I believe it. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm all into it. Let's do it. Planets. 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 Uh, the Mirror said, after Ensinger, what does Median mean, Hermes? Falling star, you ass. <laughs> I get it. I get it. And it wasn't quite the hop on pop moment, but we still did get a good median out of it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I would say it wasn't a hop on pop at all. No, no. If, if In fact, but because star also means planet in Final Fantasy 14, uh, we were attacked with literal falling stars. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not mad about it. I'm not bad about it. Uh, Komor right now saying one fun detail with the music syncing with the fight. The Shadowbringers tumbling down to the never syncs up with her saying none should hope for better. I'm definitely going to have to mm. frame by frame that and check that out. That's rad. Huh. Oh my god. Rafa is saying it took 120 runs to finally clear her on Party Finder. That's bonkers wow. for, for the extreme. Holy shit. Oh, we got to go, man. <laughs> I want to do this. I want to freaking do this. Uh, Twist the tiger during all this. Uh, supered. Um, thanking us and said, I appreciate you both and wish you much joy in the future. Thank you so much. And I start to get to kind of the, uh, mix of uh, some congratulatory and celebratory messages here um uh zervon uh really making us feel good informing us that there was five thousand total viewers for 14 on twitch um, wow which we yeah okay we were young yeah we were doing a, thank you okay for that letting night. us know zervon thank you very much Wait, how many people are just here today watching this stream thanks for joining us everybody uh kenlon uh super and said medion you're approaching me, Warrior of Light. I can't hug the shit out of you if you don't get closer. <laughs> it's a JoJo reference. Nice. Well done. Well nice. done. Nice. Nice. Well done. I thought it was going to be Chainsaw Man. We we're just going to be kicking her in the crotch the whole time. Mm. Guess not. Guess not. I mean, it was just a void in between the wings. I loved that effect. Yeah, that was cool. That? No, no body. Yeah. like, And, it, and it, it, it was like active where when she would flap and the wings would spread, the, vo it, the void effect would go with it to where you would see a void that was not matched by what was behind her. It was just such a cool effect. That model is so good. So freaking good. Uh, moist uh, lawn or Von Lipwig right now. Thanks for super said because you make videos. The warrior of light theme is called makers ruin the time to fight God theme. It played during the Ultima fight. I am becoming very familiar with it. Yeah, like um, I was confused of when we got in there why Big Fat Tacos was playing. Yeah, I wasn't mad about it. No, it's yeah, a great so freaking song. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Pins and Needles right now uh, said, by the way, the boobies in The Last Boss and Eden are actually bull testicles. It depends. It depends. Um, there's versions of that goddess with both. Yes, yes, but I'm aware of the multiple testicles you would hang around the necks of the statues that had boobies in order to basically create this fertility madness that we did in the past. Yeah, we, we looked it up and there's there's renditions of both and uh, Metallic's also bringing it up. Yes, it also, it, there's also renditions with grapes. But it happens, you know? Yeah. It does. It does. 
Um, is it time for cameos? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Hold on. No, I, well, I did a big. Oh, did you? Did I, oh, no, oh, no. I did a small skip. Sorry. Um, we got Ken Lon. Art not available. This was sweet, and I wanted to make sure we read it. Uh, message that my husband and I had a private dance to flow at our wedding. I can never hear the song without all the feels in it. Aww. Wish we had done a private dance. That sounds really cute. Did you not? Did you not have guys get married and then? Oh, when dance? I think of private dance, I think of like a dance like where you're not in front of a bunch of people. Oh no, no, it's just when you oh, know. Oh, is that just what it's called? When, when the bride or the they go together. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, we are. So I'll give you this. I'll give you this. We have been sent two cameos. The first one is from Day Cop, and I think they said. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat or uh, mods. I think they said they made this like. A year and a half ago. Holy shit. And I guess they didn't feel like sharing it until now for some reason. So I don't know if the cameo person said something that made them go, oh, wait, I can't share this now. Or they just had the thought that it'd be good for Endwalker then and they just decided to get it done. I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. So almost I've... a year and a half ago. Says okay. Das. Um, this first. He did. He did say something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Conf confirmation. Okay. So this first one is a link. So I will open it. Um, we might we might take a hot moment while we get the sound together. So please bear with me and the repeat sounds that may play during the time that this is getting going. Okay. All right, here we go. Hello, Kyle. Hello, Garrett. Uh, this is Luke Allingale. This is a cameo. Um, your friends at the Grinding Gear Discord channel have asked me to send you this uh, cameo uh, for reaching Endwalker um, and, uh, <laughs> and and all the great work that you've done. Um, I, I understand you're both on opposite sides of the country and that you've given Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 14 um, a good try. Uh, but actually, in the process, you've created something far bigger and far better, which is a brilliant community, um, which, you know, is really, I think, the most incredible thing about these games. So well done, guys. Um, now, first off, Merry Christmas if you're celebrating. Um, I hope you're uh, well uh, and good. And everybody at the Grinding Gear Discord channel, um, keep playing. Enjoy this holiday period. Um, yes, yeah, set yourselves in, guys. Uh, this is going to be some fun. So, um I've uh, uh, I've been told uh, I've got to pay check up um, your character's Valentuna for the last battle against Xenos. Um, ah, okay. And mm. I'm going to assume it is the last battle um, when you say reaching Endwalker, meaning you're at the end of Endwalker. So. <clears throat> ah, I see. I see what happened. Valentuna, my friends, my enemies. Peace, my heart. Let the time for the parting be sweet. This is not a death, but completeness. Let love melt into memory and pain into songs. Farewell to thee, but not farewell. To all my fondest thoughts of thee. Within my heart, they shall dwell, and they shall cheer and comfort me. Adieu, but let me cherish still the hope with which I cannot part. Contempt may wound and coldness chill, but still it lingers in my heart. O oh, beautiful end, I bow to you and hold up my lamp to light your way congratulations guys <laughs> that is the coolest shit ever that's awesome holy crap thank you <laughs> the absolute commitment holy shit um breathtaking utterly breathtaking i'm sure he gets I... this a lot I am such a voice actor nerd. Yeah. I, and I... Hell of a voice. I fucking adore Xenos' voice. Well, you're in luck. For I have one more file that was sent to us. Thank you, everybody. Uh, this one is from 
Kluya. And uh, please prepare your ears because it will come. It is a file I had to download, which means it'll come full power oh, my word. when I drop it into the screen here. So be prepared. Gary. So real quick, who wrote that? Before we move on. Uh, yeah. Do we have Dacoth here to confirm? Did you write that yourself? The poetry. Or, I was nope. about to say, it, so, it, sounds, it sounds like an existing, an existing poem, but I, I'm unfamiliar. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right. Let's give this a shot here, and I'm going to try to... Garrett all Kyle all for That's all of us in the gearbox. Holy shit. Damn. Wait, one second. I we can't hear that, so I'm gonna have to do this a different way. Let's see. Can you open in browser as the player? Yeah. So I'm gonna open it here, in front of us, and then I can control the sound levels too, so that'll work better in the end. Nope. All right. Oh. Garrett, Kyle, okay. from all of us at The Gearbox, thank you for the last 876 days and for sharing your journey through Final Fantasy XIV with all of us. Now then, Val, Tuna, <laughs> if I may, <laughs> sync up with me sandwich. for one last test. Come. Three, two, oh, shit. one. <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Official uh, countdown. Did the freaking countdown. Y'all, that um thank you so much for that. Uh <laughs> Those are extremely thoughtful. Like Jesus. Really cool. That's crazy. Two gears Zenos did the three, two, one. Yeah. Uh, I love that independently. <laughs> Two splitter groups in the gearbox are like, you know what we need to do? These men need to get sent off by Xenos. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. That 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 is that is profoundly cool. I cannot wait to keep count yelling at Katie. You'll never guess what <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um and with that in mind, we're on to the Xeno solo duty. <laughs> I'm a BRB. Oh, wonderful. What if, yes, different haircut Xenos. Yeah. Where is it all great? Rip that and put it on your soundboard for the next version. You're damn right. You're thinking exactly what I'm thinking. Secret, secret. Yeah, I need to get that. I need to get that. Um, now someone else needs a cameo. I'm saying go. <laughs> and I'll just be like, can you please just say, um, just say go. Is that it? Yeah, just yeah, just please say go. Are you sure you don't want anything else? Yes, I'm I'm sure. Just please, just just go. I'll I'll take care of the rest. What a what an utterly wild suggestion or uh, uh, request. That would be fantastic. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely blushing. Yeah, no, uh, Luke is amazing. I love Zenus's voice. Uh, it's, it's he's. It just relishes every word. All right. So yeah. what, what's the cameo usage policy? And can we put three, two, one, go on our soundboard? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I well, assume but, you can kind of use it for whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, no. Let's, um, like, if we're going to ask for that in the future, but, when you say, let's see some three, two, ones, we got to be able if, to press that. If we're that, that worried, we could honestly uh, hit them up, yeah. uh, uh, pay for another one, and, and in it also be like, do you, oh, can, that's true. Yeah, do you mind there might if be we a box to, we can check. Do you mind if we add this to a soundboard for a stream? You know, like, for that, for that concern, we could, we could, we could go about that. Um, uh, like, let's can, like, can I just pay for a cameo and just be like, hey, um, uh, take this. Would you like to come on the show sometime? <laughs> and if the answer is no, cool, take it anyway. Take it away. Yeah, yeah, just say, love your work. You can say things. Um, not a bribe, but a way to get a message in front of you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. He's also sick art. You can hear it. Yeah, dude, getting to watch him do the voice live, like yeah, the way hearing him drop into it, the relishes every word, and even like, leans into the eyes a bit. Freaking fantastic! Hell yeah. Freaking fantastic! Uh, your can, sir. My can. Oh, we, oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Hair, Thank you. hair, hair, 
hair doing hair things. Uh, love to have Beth and Walker on. I have, I've not, I've not, I've not gotten in touch with Beth and Walker. Uh, I know it came up while we were talking to Taliesin, but uh, no, I have not gotten in touch. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have Bethan on. I'd uh, love to have Colin on. Um, any, any, anyone from the cast, any of the Scions, um, any, 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 anyone from the cast of fourteen, like full on open invite. Uh, I don't know if any of them follow, but uh, would love to, love to have you on and have a chat with you. I think it'd be a good time. I'd love to have eminent Hitlow's voice actors. Oh, That'd be a, yeah, a well, dream just... get would be being able to interview them at the same time would be very fun. <laughs> That'd be uh, ridiculous. And same for the twins getting getting uh, Colin and Bethan on at the same time would just be like, oh, oh, that'd be killer. That'd be absolutely killer. Uh, but to the Xeno's solo duty, some of the messages that, that we missed, um, our Wojo uh, said, here it comes. Garrett's favorite player choice in the game. Probably. I, it, it was a, it was a non-choice for me. I knew exactly what I, I wanted. I loved what you had to say about it. I like, knew exactly what I wanted. I was entertaining ideas, but you quickly... I won't even, like, shot them down. No, you propelled it into orbit. I was so pleased with your take on it that I just had to slam option one. <laughs> it was so insane. I was going to, like, debate and be like, well, what about my character? And how do I... And you're just like, you're like, you are your character, Kyle. Press the damn and them button. <laughs> Yeah, you can be. You can be. Uh, Silver said, I was here for the Extreme Nights. If you pick anything but option one, I call you both liars. <laughs> I respect the shit out of that message, Silver. Uh, Shakal said, as folks that run min-eye level on Extreme Xenos, calling you out. Th this, uh, I, I, I loved, I went through all these messages last night to, to format them, and I loved reading through this because I was just like, y'all, y'all get us. Like, our community gets us. And just like the, how all these were like these cuts from what has become our our stream diet i i just i absolutely love it yeah i absolutely love it thank you mods um cory said time to square up gamer signed <laughs> xenos via <Viator> turgalvis <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to gamer and the Kura wrote as xenos do you even raid bro we know xenos lifts so uh, destroyer super that every time an adversary called you an adventure before now they did some as with derision uh but when xenos does it he isn't making fun of you oh that's a cool he, he's like truly describing i love this take well particularly with him being a prince and not being able to leave and be free like that it's the you know the jasmine situation but he reversed I, I take issue with that because he did whatever the hell he wanted well he did he didn't but, give a shit but that doesn't mean when he was growing up he wasn't burdened with responsibility Fair. does she sing a song about her does she just pet raja the, uh, and that's the end? jasmine gets her own song in the live action version not in the animated version oh really they like added yeah, a song? it's actually it's pretty dude the live action oh. I, I i have very low opinions of live action um disney movies the live action aladdin is not terrible hmm. it's kind of its own thing um the actors that they got for aladdin and jasmine have great chemistry um, and I and Will Smith kind of made Genie his own, which I was glad. I'm like, if you try and do a yeah, Robin Williams, yeah, this you, is not going to fly. Yeah. He made it his own. Uh, it's probably the only live action Disney remake I think is passable. I just watched Aladdin the other night. I needed something to like come down. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know what happened. Finish Sam Walker. A couple days later, Katie and I are like, we have nothing to watch. Let's start catching up on Pixar movies. And we watch Coco. Have you seen Coco? Oh, yeah. I love Coco. A, a completely emotionally destroyed me. Uh, we watched Coco in the hospital when my son was sick. So Coco is, a, is uh, an immediate comfort punch in the gut. Uh, like, okay. Just, All right. yeah, uh, Coco's amazing. Coco might be my favorite Pixar movie now. It's good. Like, I love it. Pretty. It is an absolute triumph. Yeah. Um, oh, dude, the switch up on Remember Me from like this like rock and like, hey, remember me, everybody. Woo. To the actually passionate uh -huh. version, it's, it's such a oh, it's good. It it works so well for the movie. Oh my god, it works so well for the movie because it's it's it it also sells like how bastardized it was. Like it yeah. sells the villainy of the villain even more. One while at the same time like being this gut punch of sentiment. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it's sorry, that's my that's my that's no, I, thing. That's awesome. I watched Aladdin the other night because I'm like I just need something that's not gonna make me sad, and so I I, I fell asleep with Aladdin. I haven't watched Aladdin since probably eleven. That movie holds up. Aladdin's great um anyway i digress mel the red cap during this said just so you know i recorded small this so xenos yay small this beating the shit out of xenos 
<laughs> via Tur Galvis. Truly, truly, truly evil of you. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, right now, the mirror. Thanks for the super. If you think back to Stormblood, when Xenos was still being a good prince, at one point he sighs and is like, as his radiance commands, clearly aggravated by his obligations. So Kyle's got a point. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. No, I think he was very jealous of the adventurer life we got to lead. It's, just, it's not what I was left with, you know, after he becomes a dragon and goes... No, and, it, yeah. He kills his, like, every, his entire kingdom and... Yeah, it wasn't it, it wasn't the most recent Xenos flavor left in, <laughs> left in my I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Um Alara said option one is a red mage with the class gear hat was so good with that smirk. I believe it. Are multiple people having a audio stuttering issue? Interesting. Broadcast is clean on our end. Okay. So stream let's, messes up. Let's let's take a look. Try doing an F five, everybody. If you can even hear me saying for you to do an F5. Fine for me, fine for me. Okay, okay cool. So yeah, it, yeah. If you, it's a YouTube thing. I can't say I I'll say it in whale. If you're having audio issues, restart. Because if I said it quickly, it'd probably cut off the various parts. So hopefully that got to them. And they can now Have you ever seen the second ace ventura? Oh, not in freaking years. Three darts is too much. <laughs> oh, when he get, yeah, that's a, that's it's been a long time. A actually, long, I actually long quite time. prefer the sequel to the first one. Um, my my cousins and I still quote it. If you can't tell, uh, Das super during this. When I had done the Xenos fight myself, I was a Reaper for all of N Walker. I hit Ooh. ninety on Dragoon in the last Shadowbringers patch. Going Reaper versus Reaper was pretty badass in my opinion oh yeah dude i would have oh, i'm so sad canonically i couldn't switch to samurai because that's what i played through stormblood for oh, this fight right. and it was so cool doing the solo duties of samurai versus xenos the astrologian footage it's not very thrilling but i you know i feel so um like accidentally vindicated by sticking with odentikai which was the oh sword yeah that I, I found that sword in stormblood and it had nothing to do with the fact that it's what I wielded when I fought Xenos. It was, it's just my favorite sword that I found in game. I just love that sword. And I, I got super attached to my character and my Stormblood outfits by the end of Stormblood. I, just, I really enjoyed Stormblood and had a good time. It's when we started doing extremes. And it's really where I found what Final Fantasy XIV was going to be for me um, and how I was going to play it. And so that's why i'm so fond of it and so but damn if like xenos being the final action set piece of the endwalker arc that didn't pay dividends on the fact that i decided to stick with the same sword that i well i and, got in stormblood and the, you guys bring up the scholar book yes like that's where it all came together granted there was enough damage he was dealing to me that i was, it was kind of a heel check so i was like oh i'm actually like kind of feeling this and yeah. and walker solo duties have just improved so much yeah since even the old solo duties we did but when he essentially like knocks my globe from my hands the the difference that if i was samurai like going to your fists it's it's a change of about this but going from healer to dude throwing punches it's like this like it was just so freaking good to just be freaking fisty cuffs after he ripped up my cards like some school bully <laughs> loved it rock oracle during all this said uh and quoting me saying closest thing i'll ever live to a dbz fantasy as the game goku super saiyan explains things garrett likes xenos duel being to go even further beyond yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely i loved this i absolutely loved this uh i already said during um when we talked to jesse it was just like so happy to eat crow this this solo duties are good they can be not all solo duties are good but and Walker solo duties are, in fact, good. Uh, white mage in the red and white 6.0 white mage gear. Oh, that classic. Classic. Um, Elves Beth said round two, anyone? Uh, I'm assuming that's during the form change. Oh, yeah. You know, and when, when Xenos goes into his final form. Uh, Zeno member said, ah, oh, yes, the ultimate monk advertisement. Right? Oh, you just keep punching. Yeah. You just keep punching. I mean, you probably have weapons out and then you discard them. <laughs> you discard your weapons. Your bells. You just start. You... <laughs> Let's dispense with bells. Uh, Bandit said, for the record, yes, the fist fight looks hilarious as a Lollafell. 
Yeah, this is where we started I have no to doubt. think about this. Fallen Plays said the same thing. Um, Kura supered that all the close-ups of Clint's fish, fists in Endwalker were specifically foreshadowing this finale. I don't know how much oh, I share geez. that feeling, but no. uh, yeah, sure. I want to do some research into that trope, like where sure. it started, because yeah. the, the glove like squeaking on itself, too, it's such a trope. Yeah. I do like it though. I don't. And who was? When did we get into the staring at your hand thing? Too like I. I need to do some research. Uh, Stitches and Zervon both thinking this is a massive monk advertisement, or thinking we should have played monk. Mm. Which I get. Fair. I get. Uh, Nekahooch said I unlocked dancer as soon as I could and did the majority of game as one. The uh, the song of hope. She dances on the wind during the trial had me sobbing. <laughs> I, I think that, that part just amps me up, man. Yeah. I've talked about it with, when we talked to Amanda. Like, I think that's my favorite uh, uh, piece of music that features Amanda in, in M. Walker. Just uh, I've literally all week I've been up at the, doing dishes just... Definitely. I, it's so good. It's so freaking good. It's so freaking good. Uh, and, you know, it being the battle theme and... Almost every battle team has had to grow on me, and just by the end of this, like when that kicked in, and I'm fighting Xenos, I'm just, this game's amazing. Uh, ID10T error. Thank you for the four for the for the super chat. Said, did you uh, enjoy reenacting the MGS4 ending? Uh, no, because this is actually good. Shade, that's me. You didn't catch how it. Long we actually debate this. That's I shade. Was, I was in a. I... Are you really? No, like, dude. I, it felt like a second that we were having this conversation. Uh, I, I thought so I th I was thinking about it afterwards, and because I was it, I I kind of felt the length in the moment and um, <laughs> phrasing, um, and I was thinking, man, what a perfect! It was like the last choice we had, and it, it, to me, it was like the perfect representation of how we stream, because we would always take time to debate our choices. Um, so I loved it. I thought it was great. It was, I thought it was a perfect moment. It's perfect moment made me really happy. I was in a time warp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mel, super. This is why Kyle wears gauntlets and you laughed. I'm sorry, Mel. Did you see my gauntlets? Did you see the gauntlets that 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 Tuna was bringing? I was in the sweater of light this night, and I punched him with my brand new ring I got in the dungeon. <laughs> like there was a whole <laughs> shot of me being like, "Check out my loot." I scratched my wedding ring, loading the car for the honeymoon. So I had had it for three days. And I went to down, uh, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking of you like tarnishing your brand. Oh, ring. sure. Um, so we're we're at the LAX, and I'm loading our heavy suitcase. So I get under reach, and I, I grip under, and I just take the whole thing and I just score it on the asphalt to try. Oh and pick up no! This. So three days old, giant gash. I've since had it redipped, but huh? No, I I wear my grandpa's yeah. wedding ring. He left it to me. Know. What? Yeah. Shit! Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Holy crap. He left it to me when he passed, so... Mm, I wonder if the grandpa line gotcha. Yeah. Damn, dude. Love my grandpa. Uh, I, 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 Both of mine I miss like crazy, uh, but the one on my dad's side, he really helped me kind of get my feet under me when I was uh, when I moved back. Um, let me rent his house for... Uh, I've talked about this before. Basically what his mortgage payment was, which was very reasonable. Like super reasonable compared to renting something. So he, he really helped me out. Um, I miss him a lot. Uh, he loved Katie. <laughs> he was so stoked when I bring her for visits. <laughs> so I, we, we we both think about him a lot because he was there for when we like were kind of getting back together and all that. Um, I'm gonna hug Katie so hard she's gonna be like, "What the hell? Like everything okay?" <laughs> yep. Um, here's your bayway. Yeah, that is your. Here's your, <laughs> here's your Gucci junk steak ramen. Um, Ardbert, calm bring your super during this that Kyle certainly is breathing, but he sure isn't blinking. Yep. Yeah, this is when we were yeah. watching you catch up. Mine took, mine took a little bit. Uh, you know, the dot wasn't <laughs> exactly rocking. You were fine. You were, you did, you did fine. You did fine. The footage Sarah. is incredible. I can't wait I for y'all to see it. I bet. Luke Eoff, uh, supered as someone who enjoys story heavy games and plays a lot of them more than any other game. I generally believe the story of 14, uh, made me a better person in real life. Uh, yeah, uh, I think, I think really good media makes you kind of take stock of, of you, yourself, your belief system, uh, and hopefully challenges it a little bit. And I think 14 definitely does that. 
Uh, Griffcat said, I don't think anything ever confirms or deny this, but in my heart, Xenos' last act is wishing the teleporter back to you. I have seen so many of these, and I think we have a few more of these in Ooh, here. Ooh, interesting. That seems to be a popular fan theory. I don't know if I believe it or not. I'm not sure this is what, I'm not sure this is what I internalize. And I'm trying not to think about it too much before we get into our video edit. Yeah, it'd be an interesting question just for each other's sake to pose that once we're in the record without yeah. spoiling each other here on our thoughts. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because there's an argument. I think this is as much of an argument that our final thoughts manifested it. I think there's an argument that Medion helped manifest it. There's also a whole prayer group going manifesting things possibly right. like, there's 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 to me it's not beyond the shadow of a doubt i do think it's an awesome it's an awesome point that you want um, they knew it was too heavy-handed to show you giri praying for you back on the source but we all knew what happened well she didn't even show up but was she even would think about was she in the he and i know there was an over the sh Shoulder he end shot. Was she in there? I believe for so, that yeah. hot moment. Okay, Gosetsu wasn't. No, like, but he's one, no, he's wandering the world. We're gonna meet him in Dawn Trail. He's he, off. He could have said he could have. No, like... it would have ruined the mystery of what he's up to. I I don't think so. he could stop back in for a visit. No, I think it, it, I, I unless, disagree. Unless I they Gosetsu did Gosetsu so much. Unless they did the forest nod guy, like it's fly and just shows him and he goes. Oh, gives that's an what they should nod. Well, there you go. That would have been okay. even matter. Now I'm even more mad. They should have done that. They should have done that. That's what they should have done. Uh, Mir said Xenos did kill us in that fight. We're messed up. Yeah, it was, it's like they're equal. It's, they did the your equals thing. Yeah, like you but like you both just KO Trading each other. blows. Yeah. Uh, now we're to we're to post credits. Uh, Mir was uh, I believe that last one because um, post credits start with Vicky uh, saying they're coming to Lake because they had an unexpected trip to the ER. Uh, but they see. You seem well. super stoked to watch yeah, the podcast. I hope so you're like, well. It sounds like things went well. I hope things are going well. Um, <laughs> you also made an attention to money joke. So <laughs> thank you, Vicky. I hope <laughs> you're doing all right. Um, uh, Christopher Clayton right now in chat saying, uh, I don't know if anything in game had me break down more than lyrics in phase two. That fight in Xenos afterwards gave me closure in ways I can't explain well to strangers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, th th I feel that way a lot about this game. Just like, yeah, I kind of, I'm, I'm so, I feel so spoiled that we have this many people we can talk to. I'm like, hey, yeah, good point. It's kind of hard to explain to some people. Oh, this, this solo duty. This, this was. They should do an extreme of this. This is how you should be. Ooh, you, wasn't Varus normal just a trial? So couldn't, and if you did the extreme, you could make it a raid. That'd be sick. Wait, Varus didn't have a normal. That's what I'm saying. Didn't we? But we fought him, right? Didn't we fight him as a trial or duty? Didn't we do him as a I duty? Th I think it was an extreme only. I know, but there was a duty, right? Where we fought Varus? I don't think so. Am I crazy? I think you're crazy. I thought you fought him. I thought you fought him as like a normal we, we thing. We never fought Varus. Yeah, yeah, it was a solo duty. Yeah. Varus is a solo duty? Yeah, w when we were in Sid's memories, you fight him, and then you can we extremed it another night. Oh, I completely, I legit forgot. I thought you were also. I thought you were talking about. Some I, point I was in the mixing story. up my duty and trial words. I, I too thought you were talking about MSQ. Bit. Yeah, no, I'm like, no, because when he when he started to become a big bad, he went back to Garland and he never returned. Yeah, we never saw him. He was dead by the time yeah. we met him in Boja. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a memory. Yeah, no, I was. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I was wrong either way, but I was thinking about MSQ. Um, yeah, okay, fair. So yes, so they, they do, could do they, this as a as an extreme eight man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vonner said, your heroes of the world has a feel. Uh, at this point, very tiring. Uh, I remember it feeling very tiring. It washed it over us. 2 a.m. Like a great Shinryu wave. JF42 sh shouted out the Final Fantasy main theme. Uh, said, we've all heard it once or twice, except both of you until now. Congrats. Well, come on, Kate, Katie. Kyle's. Uh, <laughs> Katie calls Kyle my internet wife, so that's going to be a fun mm. slip. Um, He's beaten Final Fantasy X, and I've played some Final Fantasy. I'm aware like of the 10. of like the mm. the heart. It's it's harp, right? It's like that. Is that that classic Final Fantasy song? What I don't know. Maybe no. Oh, anyway, I've heard the Final Fantasy theme before. I am aware of that. Uh, I was very happy to see it. It also isn't. It's when you're selecting your character. They kind of that that motif comes in in Final Fantasy fourteen. That's not the one. Oh, then never mind. All right, cool. I'm just gonna keep being wrong at the end here, everybody. Uh, Laurelie 
said, I'm so glad I discovered you two near the end of your Stormblood streams. Watching you wrap up Ben Walker tonight has been a fantastic way to celebrate turning 33. Happy belated birthday, Laura Lee. Prelude is the name? Prelude is typically a harp. Oh, okay. All right, well. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking of, too. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking But if there's of. other harp things, then so be it. The main theme is the one played at the start yeah, of that the was credits. The... But, but that was the yeah, harp, right? Yeah, right. That motif comes in during the load screen when you pick your character. Right. Am I being gaslighted on accident again? No, I think it's more we're excited. We to... don't have the files quickly at the ready, so this is this is the wrong way to have this conversation. We should be we should just be able to listen to it and then. <laughs> That's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Um, Funky uh, during this said my one true wish is that CBU3 makes a single player version of Realm Reborn through Endwalker maybe use the 16 engine everyone should have a chance to experience the story I mean I wouldn't be mad about that but they should just play Final Fantasy yeah, 14 just, do th- Final Fantasy just play 14. it they're, they're putting all they're, they're ruining my dragon fights so that you can play it solo so uh, you should play Final Fantasy 14 I don't want my dragon fights to be a lot less interesting for nothing yeah Damn. There's my Heaven's Ward shape. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That um, Race Vulgar fight was so much better. It was cool. Update. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. So much better. Honestly, so was Keeper of the Lake. That Keeper of the Lake fight got neutered like crazy. That one was a bit more nebulous, but I enjoyed personally the, hey, wake up, mechanics are here. Yeah. Kind of yeah. moment. However, if they were like, here is a fully fleshed out, like gorgeous modern graphic retelling of the story. I would buy that day one. Sure. Of course. Absolutely day one. I would buy that. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad about revisiting the story of Final Fantasy XIV. I've already had the, the thought of, like, I wish I could scrub my brain. Uh, Baggins Wolf said, that's what the hell happens in M. Walker. <laughs> so mad I missed this in the moment. That's great. Ksop said, thanks for the wonderful journey. Thanks for watching, Ksop. Worma Meepsat said, grats. Now you can finally begin your journey. I like that. What are we going to do now? We play the game. Exactly. Ultra Foyer right now. Thanks for... Thanks for gifting. Thank you. Much much appreciated. The old race school burger fight was dull and gimmicky. That's fighting words, Nerho Squared. That's fighting words. I can see that. I take. can't. The, compared to the current fight, I can't see it at all. Uh, Umatsu Obasa said, It kind of implies Zenos wished you to return. Yeah, you're not alone, Umatsu. No, I think that's an interesting take on it. Yeah. Omegon said, thank you for letting me see this journey since you boys got to Realm Reborn credits. Can't wait to see what you cook up next. Big think. Awesome. We're cooking. We're cooking. Uh, Kyle's cooking an actual human right now, but... Um, <laughs> that's the way to put it. One, once, once the... Got the bun in the oven? Yeah, yeah, yeah the bun in yeah, the, the, the oven. I'm not yes. going like Hansel and Gretel on here. No, this. yeah. It's, Jesus. This is the internet, though. Well, Gotta be the, clear. Let, let them be the monsters. Okay. You don't have to be the monster. Or the witcher. That's a good one. <laughs> Russell wooted for Enwalk. Fitchell said, this is why Amerik wanders around the Imperium in an elephant costume. The whole reference to Al- um, Estinian finding something like some clothes for him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still waiting to play Swotor with you guys. Oh, Crystal Fine. <sighs> we need to we need to control our, our time better. And then I'm there. I'm there. Uh, this is, yeah, but we're clearly in the uh, Estinian part here because Sally Beans wrote the Azure Elephant. See him live at Imperium today. You get into the Rising Stones, yeah, Kyle. Pray right. return. The Rising Stones. Pray return, I Kyle. Mean, it was, it, no, I mean, it, if you can even rank them, it was the best one because it started with you two just staring at each other. Yep. Properly done. Yep. Uh, Asty yelled, "Summer vacation time." Can't wait. We still got some stuff to do, though. Still got some stuff to do. Uh, Abyss Stress uh, wanted our journey to never end. Good news! There's more! <laughs> uh, Toonie wished everybody good night and grats to us. Thank you, Toonie. Uh, Zikora wanted to know if uh, it stuck the landing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still having, I'm still yeah, having no, about it. Yeah, no, we're not making our big uh, diatribe about how awful it was. Yeah, we definitely haven't talked to anyone else publicly about enjoying it, it absolutely i mean i know a lot of those it. videos exist like there are a lot of and walkers bad videos which 
I'm, you know, you do you. Yeah, you do you. You do you. You do you. Uh, Luke Eoff wanted to formally welcome us to Post and Walker. Thank you. Uh, Jelani said, uh, been sitting on this membership chat for weeks to just post it right <laughs> after 6.0 and then congratulated us. Thanks, Jelani. Uh, Irish and Brass wanted to congratulate us on the incredible journey. Barkwell found us from our first Joe Cat reactions. Nice. And uh, said, seeing him with you tonight felt like it coming full circle. Yeah. It, I remember reading this and uh, it made me think about it. Yeah. Joe Cat. Love that dude. Certified legend. Uh, Light Path was congratulating us as well as Darth Womp. James Thomas recommended uh, Close in the Distant Singers from the Community on YouTube. I believe it's a Husky video, I think. Hmm. Um, it's probably in the rundown for Reacts. What? Continue, continue. Okay. I'm just uh, giving the next piece of art. Continue. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Eryu said, Hope you enjoyed Sailor Moon R, the movie, Promise of the Elpis Flower. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Ethan Victor said it's beautiful because they really could have just ended the game right here. And it would have been, it would have felt complete. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I felt that way at Shadowbringers. I'm like, this is so good. I mean, clearly there was more, but. I mean, it's such a functional engine though, right? Like, yeah. It's like, keep, why? Let's why? keep it going. Why stop? Let's keep it going. Why stop? Uh, Fia and chat right now being like, you're ready for post them Walker? Yeah. Uh, yes. For the most part. Yes. Yeah. There's some, there's some content we want to make before we take our first steps. But, um, I was, I was super into it. Um, uh, Adrian said, uh, using this like Eric, no, he can get his island and get those shirts he's been wanting. I'm looking forward to it. I want those shirts. Uh, Neko Hooch said, a lot of people say that Endwalker enhances Shadowbringers. I think that's true. I, I, I do think that's, uh, I do think that's true, but you, I think, I think it's transitive. I think sh by extension, Shadowbringers enhances Endwalker. Like, you're interested in those things because of Shadowbringers. This is Loran's art, by the way. Loran's art. Yeah, I, I, have, I have thoughts on that. We'll probably get into it when we get to our MSQ video. I've been thinking about the whole Shadowbringers, M. Walker, M. Walker, Shadowbringers thing quite a bit. It's a bit of a chicken and the egg is how I see it. Uh, Zervon said, Garrett in 5.3, what the hell happens in M. Walker? Garrett in 6.0, what the hell happens in patch content? Yeah, I'm never satisfied. That's, that's what you need to know about me. That's what you need to know. <laughs> Henry with the Emmett. Do you know how much material there is for future expansion? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect I love salesman. That part. God, I love that That's part. a good part. Uh, and Robovin said, I'm so glad I made it here for the ending. Uh, and said, Patch Counting is here, but this is a moment. Uh, said it before. But again, thank you for both uh, making this journey and being true bros of light. <laughs> Thanks, Robovin. Hell yeah. I don't think we've gotten bros of light very many times. That, uh, it surprises me when I see it. I, I like that. We should we should use that term more. Uh, Garbage Nirvana said, This game's on track, if it's not there already, to being the one piece of MMOs. And I couldn't be more psyched about it. I think that's a super fair assessment. I you know, uh, Don't watch One Piece myself, but based on the universal admiration for it and the fact that it's still going, I think that's a really good comparison point. The love of the amount of content. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, Vicar said, I was there for all of it. F you guys for making me tear up more than the end of Water Stranding. Boo. I think this was during our our final um Oh yeah. Our montage. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh I was very happy with that how that came out. Uh Sir Jacob with a simple GG and Riddler. I do believe this is the final super wall the credits played. Zero three fish ending, restart from Realm Reborn. What would you play? So fitting. What would you? What would I play? Yeah, you have to restart the whole game. What Start all over play? again. Um, Paladin. Good choice. Yeah, I would good Paladin. choice. I would Paladin from the start because now I really don't have the patience for those slow ass quests. But I want one so bad. But if I was already kind of steeped in like the slow burn that is Realm Reborn, I think if I was Paladining at the same time, I think it would all just kind of blend. It'd be fine. Uh. Addo right now. Hey, thanks for becoming a member. Much appreciated. Um, and Welcome, 10 days, Super. I wish you guys had more time at the end to see all the doggos. A line of doggos wrapped the crystal twice. There were so many of us Whoa. that people were calling it more doggo. 
<laughs> oh, that's fabulous. I would really wish the game um upped that player count, but it would probably brick computers. Yeah. Yeah. Um there's a lot of pieces on those armors. Yeah. Yeah. Um it, it meant the world to us, everybody. You're uh showing up at the Elpis Field and, and the dogs afterwards. Like it uh it hit. It absolutely hit. Uh thanks for coming out and saying hi. Um, Fidgel Supered right now said, I had a very atypical reaction to Ultima Thule and the Unwalker finale. Um, uh, very triggering for me. I was so worried for you guys. I'm glad it hit as intended. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry that happened for you, Fidgel. But uh, to me, it was um, a very like Return of the King epic. Like just this, this beautiful cap to everything. I absolutely, I absolutely loved it. Um, and it was the culmination of all the bits and pieces moving around for the writers and I was that's where again I referenced that Graha moment I was just so overjoyed to see every character landing and using what was given to them hard to do yeah it is um, are you ready for the clubs? I, have, I'm, I'm ready. I'm we have ready. So many. Here, let me put on. Let me put on something like joyous. We let's, have so many superlatives to hand out. Let, let's see. What do we? What's? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Awards time. Awards time. Starting with VOD Squad for paved roads. VOD Squad was uh, Voltroned by Liminal. Fuller Udis, Danners, Rizana, uh, who's having foot surgery. I hope you're doing all right, Rizana. Pythos, Acoria, uh, because of time zones. So sorry. GG, Sean and Jen, Artist Mum, Bade88, uh, who was sneaking little views here and there because they were at work. John D. Arthur, Shinny Geo, and Zafoto Ziggy. Thanks for catching it after the fact. The Gifted Membership Club. Uh, people celebrating their gifted memberships during Paved Roads came from Leith, K, Drummer Lochnar, Chris, and uh, Adam Janky. Uh, grats on continuing to catch those gifted memberships. Uh, doesn't like Mid Rolls 2 Club was held down simply by Gabgano. We definitely thought there'd be more messages like this. <laughs> it's for you, Gabgano. Uh, Money and Attention Club was a club of one for Paved Roads with uh, Mike Hasco. Thanks for the money and attention, Mike. Hype Let's Go Club was consisted of Leith and Absol, Kay, uh, Chase Wade, and Jesus. Who told us to enjoy a dungeon that I had to look up and was, was a World of Warcraft dungeon. So, you know, <laughs> on brand there. Continuing into the... I don't remember that one either. I'm yep. looking at it. No, it's brand new. It just oh, came out with the oh, patch. Oh, that's, that's why. Yes. That's why. Uh, the Play Monk Club, which we also thought there'd be more of, was a solo club held down by Vivian. Makes sense. Your station will never be abandoned, nope. Vivian. Never. Absolutely never. Uh, the Sniped Club, which we also thought there'd be more of, which means you were deleted by a mod, uh, was Dark Knight of an anime, but it was actually self-sniped. Yes. Self-retracted. Hmm. So not technically not sniped. Sniped with an asterisk. Good on you. Um, honorable snipage. Uh, reminding people not to spoil was Udnert. And the Walk to the End and Luck Club, during Paved Roads, because we also had Walk to the End people during... Our finale. It's a long one. The Dragon, Andy Tooks, BD, Mason's Games, Ita Sangin, Vernacular Ham, Jack Foe, Dino, Ivan Avazna, Rock Mall, Robert Cup Cabus, Lord Abyss, Michael Diogardi, Sarah Neely, Shane Boatwright, Hobo Chic, Eight Ultra, The Dragon, 1133, Chris Majors, Gangiscani, Zephobia, Nemo, C, Keys to the Kingdom, Valea, John Podobnik, and Starlin. We're all our walk to the end and luck club. Thank you very much. Quite a few requested this money was spent on tissues for the following stream. We've been uh, burning through a lot of them. Uh, the See You Thursday Club was uh, Clairvoyant Nara, Soldier Hawk, who was taking Thursday off, shout out to you, uh, and Nindri Fierce, who was watching it while on vacation. Which, again, just mad respect. Uh, the two years of membership coming up club, because there were quite a few folks, was uh, Sethanol, MDW, and Kalar Media. 
Uh, and apparently visit, uh, MDW visited us on Curl back during the Heavensward streams. Wow. Hot damn. Nice. Um, wait, why is Vod Squad twice? Oh! Because oh, you probably deleted oh. the first part. Now, so we're, now, now, we now we're into the finale stream. Yes. So Vod Squad for the finale screen, stream is, consists of Lord Abyss, Ellie, Giles, Danners, Salsi, the Dragon 133 again, and then the I'm marking them as the folks who had to dip for sleep near the end but still part of the VOD squad was a vein and Ryan Jones. Sorry for keeping you up so late. But grats on your responsibility. Well, thanks for hanging with us for Good so decisions. long. Good uh, decisions. The Like the Stream Honor Guard for our finale stream consisted of Kujar 3 player, Pothy P, Moira, Defuncted Rebel, Cow Torin, uh, who also got their Garfield during the stream. Oh, yes. Grats yes. on your one year. Our Wojo, Sercardo, and That Witch Mori. And then we got new members from all the streams. So thank you to all our new members. I just smooshed y'all together. We're all friends now. Durbo Burzo. Almost called you Bozo. I'm sorry. The Proud One. Jordan Geister. Amerlin. Altair. Vinny T. Ford. Endon Dracon. Reverie Celeste. Qu Quinka? Quinka is how I'm going to choose to pronounce that. Virus. Her Majesty 935. Stephen McAvoy. Deborah Thomas. T.T. Bart. 48. Maze W1. Silver Ronin. Katura, Big Wooden Bridge, Scott Irving, I Don't Even, Venom8984, Tigurus, Firelink GT, Eli Yoon, Gugol, Ingitech, Frozen Studios, Cadence Aurelia, and Amy Toach. Welcome. And then we have the Thank You for Tempering Others Club, which are the gifted memberships, which is Mr. Volan, Altsa Jantnin, Secret Secret, Aether Star, Final Family, Valen Matka, Eric H, Carrie Ann, KLG Chaos, Lost Mythics, Kevin M, Sean and Jen, Sorcardo, Vernacular Ham, Vine and Kelsier, Andre B, JG Giant, Pyromaniac, Elbardo, Emerus Willet, Orthiar, Metallic, Biggie Sweats, I love that name, Halifax, Vernacular Ham again, Matt Bodega, Vandalin, Quinbell, Jeff Wilson. Thank you all so much for tempering others by gifting them memberships to Grinding Gear. Much appreciated. Very kind of y'all. Everybody. Uh, J Jack right now saying, oh man, I've just seen the date created uh, the GG Crossworld Link Shell 21st of February 2022. I remember standing outside Zelfa Toll for the invites. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That thing... Filled up fast. Yes, it is not useful. Those are, yeah. It is not useful Not anymore. really a great community tool. <laughs> um, no, no. No, not the some best. Some limitations on it. Uh, the Welcome to the M Walker Club consisted of Orthiar Unatiranyu. That was good. I, yeah, nice job. Denise Chang and Neutronics. Thank you for welcoming us to M Walker at the end of M Walker. Uh, Draco had a birthday. Happy birthday. And was really excited to have M Walker or er, er, make them cry again. So, um, happy birthday? Yeah. Hope you had a good cry. A walk to the end club for the finale was uh, Goodman Gray, Shark on Acid, Imurashi, <laughs> <laughs> who really wants you to watch Digimon Frontier with Flynn. Interesting. Uh, Pimpy Shortstocking, Darshana Revenant, and L. Deschamps. <laughs> and then the Dolphin Facts Dolphin club Facts, of is, course. Uh, Soldier Hawk in the Mirror, who are really excited about the Dolphin Facts. Oh. Oh, perfect. Yeah, really, really excited. I'm about glad the you facts. enjoyed them. Now we get to the Bin Watching Since Awards because many of you shared how long you've been watching us. Um, and this really touched me. And so um, this is somewhat in order of fa Final Fantasy, but then it gets into like deep cuts. So the Bin Watching Since Heaven's Word Club was from Vera, Milani, and Kaya Banks. Um, Thanks for being here since Thank basically you. we started yeah. streaming awesome. Final Fantasy. Um, means a lot to us. Uh, watching since Stormblood was uh, Dragon Raven, um, which, hell yeah, I love Stormblood. Uh, watching since Shadowbringers was E the Weasel and 24 Tech Gamer. Uh, you came on board during um, a very good expansion that I think is probably still my favorite. Probably still my favorite. Uh, watching since Endwalker. Uh, Fair Lynn. And I do believe yeah. they said since the beginning of Ben Walker. Hell yeah. Hell freaking yeah. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Anna, also Mia Aliapo, wanted us uh, oh. to know that uh, they've been watching since the Wow Killer podcast. Nice. Uh, and how fitting that you came to watch me play the actual Wow Killer. 
Interesting. Oh, look, we got some other ones, too. Yeah, Corgi hitting me with the Angry Chicken. Comp Sci Jedi, Jedi hitting us both with Starcast. Yeah. Which you didn't need. We know. We know, Comp. We know. Uh, the Instance Podcast from Pothy P and Part-Time Paladin. Um, Part-Time Paladin also sadly lost a dog recently, so uh, Part-Time Paladin. Hope you're dealing with that well. Um, Overwatchers Podcast was Leveled Up Noob. Nice. Uh, don't get that one a lot. Um, that's, that's a deep cut. Uh, and then simply four years was uh, put there by Nicholas Allen. Years. Years. Literally years. Literally years. And now what's happening in chat since the beginning of <laughs> ITN from Solaris. <laughs> Kelly Ahu with the instance. Years from Mechanic Cat. Oh my God. Yes, give us the fan service calling Final Fantasy the Wild Killer. You know we love it. <laughs> yeah, I still, you know I still like WoW. So yeah, call me out. It's fan service. Yep. <laughs> Stop um, then we this, got, man. Uh, Ren, Zervon, Star Johnson, Sage, Kahaya, uh, Zervon again, and Tatsuki all shouted at the mods in some form or fashion in supers and membership chats. Hell yeah, mods. Um, both M, Sashimi, and Gale were holding down the sure as shit not playing Final Fantasy Club. Thank you for keeping me honest. Uh, the Forge Ahead Club consisted of Inji Tech, Zir Varia, Kitlor, Fat Katten, and Kamui Robert. And uh, I th honestly thought there'd be more of these. I thought we'd have more uh, Has Your Journey Been Good Club. Oh, wrong stream for that. But yeah, it's yes. just Gearhead Geisha. Yeah, it does um, happen. Draco Fire he he headed the Welcome Home Club. Uh, the Sniped Club consisted only of Garbage Nirvana. I didn't see any other sniped messages. Oh. But congratulations on getting sniped by Kara. Oh, I got to hear from them a lot today. So. It is an achievement unlocked around these it parts. It is true. Now, granted, there were plenty of other messages that were not uh, supers or membership messages that were sniped. Um, but, yeah. Thank Th you all the same. Thanks again, mods. Uh, and the Making It Rain Club, which is the super with no message attached to it. That's Teal Traveler. And Veridan. You, you just, well, Teal Traveler also self-redacted, so I don't know what's going on. Well, Veridan technically put a heart in there, so, you know, there, there was a heart. Was it a heart? Was yeah, that just, it? Oh. a little heart symbol. I, so I they, think it was in their name. Oh. Well, I still like to think they said heart. Now, there was a section heart earlier back. you said for me to remind you of. Oh. Yeah. Crap. Where was that? Oh, yeah, we got a ton of messages looking back at our journey. Um, which, oh, here it was. Yeah, we, I, I put these in their own segment because it was just, they were just very nice messages that I wanted to read. So Agent Redshirt said, I distinctly remember Garrett saying he was not going to play this game. Who are you and what you've done with him? Mm. Um, Compside Jedi was just really stoked to be here for the end of this. Uh, Vela Lynn, um, thank you again for the super. Uh, said I said this to you at fan, fan fest, but I'm just so glad that you found your audience because you truly deserve it um, with your passion for your content. I'm I'm sure y you are sure as shit. Or sorry, I am sure glad you sure as shit are playing Final <laughs> Fantasy. Um, I do nice. I do remember that. Um, thanks for sharing it again, Valen. It's uh, means a lot to hear that. Uh, Ether Star uh, called us both beautiful people. And wanted us to know that they have enjoyed our playthrough more than any other that they've seen on YouTube. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Aloy have said thank you both for years of entertainment. And thank you, Gary, for all the times you've laughed at my dumb jokes and peanut gallery gags. Keep them up, Aloy, please. I want to see them in Dawn Trail and beyond. Uh, Mayhem said that you are wearing that sweater I gave you at the beginning of Heaven's Ward makes me smile. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome, because I put it in the thing and it lost the tag on it and I was devastated. So, thank you. Hell yeah, thank Hell you. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is a Death Note shirt. <laughs> Mr. Light like in chat right now. Um, and yes, Laura Lee, it has definitely been good. It has been worthwhile. 4.2 was years ago. Damn right it was. Damn right it was. Uh, Chris Denton said, Gar uh, Kyle, Garrett, thank you so much for entertaining us and letting us be a part of the weird way only parasocial <laughs> relationships can be. It's been a joy. Uh, side note, I look forward to you being current uh, as I want to see you try an ultimate hard mode. It's on the list. We'll do it. 
Uh, Suplexus said, I still remember the video where you guys talked about the wild downfall and shortly after you guys started 14 and now here you are. Love you too. <laughs> love you too, Suplexus. Thank you. Uh, Rachel simply just wanted to yell, we love you, Valentuna. Aww. I want Valentuna like pointing like the, we love you, random citizen. Not that you're a random citizen, but I like no, that. Yeah, I yeah. like that part of uh, Megamind. Um, uh, just some about Valentuna doing that makes me laugh. Uh, Charm Relator uh, said, y'all doing the walk is making me emotional. Um, it's making us emotional. Uh, Hector Galvin said, as a 1.0 player and a huge fan of this game, just been amazing and rewarding watching you both discover and fall in love with it. Nice. A Raving Raven sent in a rather generous super chat. Uh, uh, said, just want to give a bit of appreciation on the final day. Thank you for this adventure uh, and for all these wonderful memories and for coming to engage with one of our favorite stories in all the video games. Uh, and said uh, they look forward to another 10-year adventure with us both. Damn, Raven Raven, thank you. Uh, that's why I put this all, and I was like, I should save this for the end, because they're all super nice. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, my ego grows by the second. <laughs> uh, Vashinya, uh, uh, Vashinya said, have to thank you guys, not only has your journey been amazing, but I can't believe I got to see Joe Cat again. That was such a freaking highlight for me. Uh, freaking loved it. Us just flying in, man, to the dungeon. And it's you, me, Jesse, Joe Cat. I'm just like, this is how did how did this happen? Is this real life? It was that kind of a thing. It was that kind of a thing. Uh you're pretty random to be no not random. <laughs> I recognize your names too quickly for you to be random. Uh, John Allridge said, while we have a moment, I just want to say thanks for bringing us your journey, guys. Thanks for watching, because, like, legit, like, we've said it before, we say it again, we wouldn't have kept streaming it if people didn't show up and watch, and we had the support that we've had, so um, thank you for being here. Uh, Kay said, I have around five hours of VODs to catch up on, but I'm glad I could catch the end. Nice. Glad you are able to catch it, Kay. Uh, Schroeninger said, from stumbling upon the Yulmore stream to tonight's end. Ooh. Thank you both for the hours of amazing entertainment. What a stream. Good stream to join in to on. To freaking yeah. join in on. And then uh, almost all of these, by the way, referenced joining us in the future in some way. I'm redacting it to, you know, just to kind of keep things smooth. But I want you to know anyone who said, I can't wait to see what you do next, means the world to us. Yeah, Thank you so much really does. Uh, for uh, talking about how excited you are to watch things in the future. It, me it means a lot. Um. Uh, Ellen uh, Posey uh, said, what a journey, cannot wait for more, and then thanked us. So thank you, Ellen. We really appreciate it. Uh, Knight had a particularly generous super and uh, said, Here's, uh, here at Journey's End, thank you both so much for allowing me to be a part of this and for reminding me to enjoy my time in this game instead of rushing through. It's been such a joy to walk with you both uh, and said, forge ahead into the dawn, on to the next adventure. Did I say hell yeah? Hell night? yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm in my sultry reading voice right now. Pardon me. Ru you don't have to. Be. I got excited. You don't have I to. I got be. excited. You can get excited. Okay, okay. Get excited. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Rupin members said, "Watching y'all's journey these past few years has been one of my favorite parts of this game." Cheers to my favorite sprouts. We ain't sprouts no more. Uh, Ellie, thanks for the German super said. Hello, Gar Kyle and Garrett. Long time lurker for the bromance. So many words I want to say, but most of all, congratulations on completing this hopefully wonderful event. Oh, you know what? I think I, I do yeah. remember reading this one because it wasn't hopeful. It was. It was a wonderful yeah. adventure. Thank you, Ellie. Uh, Rooster Raccoon. Uh, this was their first ever super. Nice. Um, and GG'd us on walking to the end. You did it right. Thanks, Roos. Uh, D uh, wanted to thank us for sharing our journey with them. Uh, said it's been a pleasure to watch. D. Love you to death. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. Uh, Vandalin also said it's been a fun journey with you, and the journey does not end here. Damn right. Let's go. I want to see that patch content. Uh, Aruna congratulated us. Said been here since the very start of the stream, like all of our streams. Oh, wow. Uh, said it's been a joy following a journey, the highlight of my week. So proud of your growth, and here's the more. Thank you so much, Aruna. Thanks for being here for so long. And then... Sunny member, 16 months, saying it's been such a privilege following you to the end. Thank you for contributing so much heart uh, to the 14 community. GG. Uh, I'm going to take that as a full forgiveness for the shade I cast upon the dog people and Shadowbringers. Uh, thank oh, you. Yeah, for, you're absolved. Of thank all you sins. for telling me I brought heart to the 14 community. 
Um, seriously, uh, to take it out of the joke. Thank you all so much. I've read each and every one of these. There's still so many messages in here um, that it, it, it would take more than a day to get through. Um, Kyle and I have handwritten replies to the rest that um, we just we didn't think we'd be able to give give credit to. So yeah, um, we've written personal replies to all of them. Um, we'll be posting a link to this in the Discord soon. Um, so please go catch it there, and we'll add a link in the description below if you're just now catching this in video form. Yeah, so if you didn't hear um, your message read, hopefully it's in there. If it did get lost to the ether, and how on brand is that? I, uh, I'm i sorry about like legit. that. Legit, yeah. Sorry. Uh, we, we This is the first time Kyle and I both worked on this together because we, we needed both of us um, to go through it. Um, and... Uh, we we got some offers for help, but like I wanted to get hands on it. Yeah, um, we wanted to read all these, and yeah. and you all were so kind and thoughtful and and just yeah. vibing yeah. with it too. Yeah. So so I I I, f I feel a little guilty that we didn't read everything, um, but it was just it was it was a pretty in, insurmountable task. So I, I really really hope that um, if, if you didn't hear your message read, um, do a control F search search for your YouTube name. Um, uh, hopefully we uh, we left your personal message and if not uh, please accept my apology we uh we both tried very hard to get every message in here so uh yeah Ooh. let's open kit londons they're right here oh, let's open okay. let's open I, their mail i really got to go. i know you do but we're like let's let's at least do kit londons i can help you find it yes please right. if you could yes let's mm. do that if you could um i am i am in charge of Feeding, <laughs> feeding other people tonight. Oh wait, I was too good about how uh, kept bring addresses, and I didn't write down. Uh, I I He's uh, hand peeling painter's tape. Um, oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we so go. amusing. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I have those scissors. They're there on top of my phone. I'm so sorry because I know we have more things we need to open. <laughs> we do, but the, you know, just that's another stream, you know? <laughs> just attach it to another stream. So we're going to do. Because they're here. And honestly, you met up with them. The also, week. I met up with them, and that was the week that we had that horrible tragedy. And, and we, were we were supposed to have a P.O. Box stream yes. that week. And so Kit has been uh, waiting so patiently as we continue to drop the ball on opening this package so um, you know let's turns out the end of end walker is um a lot i'm going to i, I feel like i'm gonna get stabbed yeah no, no you're good you're good these are safety scissors you know there's are, nothing safe about the these scissors are, these are the children's no that actually they have those little like weird squeezy ones you know what i mean y yeah 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 oh my goodness this is Everywhere you see one of these, you're gonna have to do it again. It's industrial. <laughs> Just gonna. You're good. You're good. There we go. <laughs> All right. Laughs in danger. All right, there we go. Oh, it looks like it's a multi-part. Oh, there's. Oh. oh okay. All right, you get going on the card. Right. I'll get going on the deeper boxings. Oh, shit. All right. All right. I don't see any warnings not to read this. Garrett and Kyle, thank you for the many, many hours of fun and entertainment. It's gotten me through tough times and endless hours of work. Thank you also for bringing together such a wonderfully positive community. So happy to have uh, finally found my people uh, and a great MMO to play. Please accept these gifts uh, as my way uh, to share with you some of the joy You've given to me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you both uh, in March. Well, I got to see you. <laughs> there we go. Uh, P.S. There are. Can't quite make that out. Something here for Katie and Kristen. Oh, cool. Can't make out that word. There are. Your beautiful handwriting. I'm sorry, Kat. Mm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah right. we'll... Let's crack them open. Okay. So they're, nice. they're personalized boxes. Yep, we got. Thank you My for box, the effort. Your box. Thank you for the effort, Kip. What in the world? Oh, oh, this. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. And there appears to be multiple items. 
I'm glad I brought a backpack. <laughs> oh, nice. I got a dead space shirt. Nice. Oh, that's sweet. Look the at back. It's got, yeah, the back on is, the back. The back is dope. That's bad. Eh? Look at that. It's the full HUD. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. I'm not doing it justice. That is fantastic. Right, I'm, I'm opening. This is a really nice shirt material, too. Oh, Nightmare Before Coffee. It show, show stream. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, I love those textured mugs. Oh, yeah. This, it is. You oh, wait. I think, I think I may also be the oh, recipient. Oh, sure. I may also be the recipient of a mug. Oh! Twinsies! <laughs> no joke, you have no way of knowing this, Kit, but like, I, I love these types of textured mugs. I find them just like really satisfying um, as like a mouthfeel thing. I know some people get triggered by the word mouthfeel, but no, no. I love the mouthfeel. Oh. Do you have anything else mug shaped? Yes. Okay. I think this might be a pot. Nope. Also a mug. Oh, the M word must have been mugs. I bet it's mugs for Kristen and Katie. Oh, oh, mugs. Yes. Mugs. And I'm sorry, kid, if you're. If you're oh, gifts. They're gifts. Okay. Yes. Ooh, twinsies again. Yes. Gentle. A gentle cheers. A gentle cheers. Yeah. I love these. I'm going to use these tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right, do you have a cylindrical shaped object? I got a dead space shirt. Oh, nice. No, I think that's you. That's all you. Okay. All right, Kit, 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 now I feel like truly unworthy because you also brought gifts when we met in person. You didn't need to do so much, but thank you. Your packing game is off the charts. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, the whole thing's tacky. Here, I'm gonna protect you. I got cloak stickers. I'm gonna protect wow. Kyle. No, that is, that is sticky. Oh my goodness. 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 Sticky. It is not giving it oh, up. Keep going. Uh, well, and I know it's wrapped for a reason, so I'm afraid of getting too violent with it. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, that is wrapped. Oh, that sure looks like the top of a cocktail shaker to me. If I've ever seen one. Okay. This is actually less breakable than I thought then, if it's a cocktail shaker. Well, you know, you wouldn't want to tarnish. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, holy shit, it's a death and go. It's a death and go cocktail shaker. Yeah, I know. Kid, what the fuck? I know how much that means to him. I know holy what that shit. is. Holy shit. I have always looked at these be like, one day, I'll get this, and I just never do, because I'm always on death and I'm only ever on the death and co site when I'm buying gifts for other people. Um, well, that's because so you like it so much. I never... Yeah, yeah. So I never get my. This is awesome. This is really pretty too. It's it's a smoked mirrored finish. This is gorgeous. This is a nice one too. I shall shake a cocktail in your honor tonight. Well, I got myself the Game Master's Book of Legendary Dragons. Oh what? yes. Oh yes. Oh 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 wait wait wait. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. The, the the lining is dragon scales on the oh. book print. It's fantastic. Oh. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my, look at that. Hot damn. Dragons. <laughs> Kyle is surprised that there's dragons in the dragon. You want to see some dragons? Just in case. Just in case anyone was um oh, yeah. curious. Here there be dragons. If anyone was worried that it was false. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh my God, it's got layers. Layers. Spelled with the L-A-I-R. I do want to re-protect the coffee mugs for transportation Ooh. home. Oh, this is sick. Thank you. I haven't seen this one. I've never seen this book. I've seen the monsters guy that has a Medusa on the cover, but I've never seen this one. Oh, this is handsome. 
There's a dragon swarm made what? of dragons. <laughs> It's a dragon that's made of dragons. It's a swarm of dragons in the shape of a dragon. Hell yeah. There we go. Okay. And I, I, now I can imagine. Now I dragons. can breathe. The breakable things are returned. Imagine um, Kit, thank you. Those, that's like super freaking thoughtful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, my God, I'm geeking out. K Katie's going to love that mug. Um, almost all of our mugs are... Um, matching sets of Halloween themed things. So that's hilarious. I don't think you knew that. It made it even if it had come up when we met for dinner, you you had already sent this package to us. So it's just written on your face, you know. It's, it's written on our face yeah, that everyone we everyone knows that, that we have an appreciation just, of Halloween yeah, coffee mugs. Look at this man. This man loves Halloween. <laughs> oh my word. Um yes, uh thank you all very, very much. Um Thanks for watching. Uh, Thursday. You want, you want to go to Eureka? <laughs> Y'all want a Eureka stream? <laughs> I mean, I heard people talking in the Discord that they actually, like, would love that. I I would love that. I like it, too, because once we get in the groove, we get to hang with chat, and it's, it's just, a, like, it's really... It's one of the best pieces of content I find to, to read chat and, like, interact, which, after this, this cavalcade of Endwalker streams into guest interview streams. Um, and, and even today, you know, we were able to check in on chat, but like when we're trying to give you all your due on the messages we weren't able to read while we were in the, in the MSQ, like, uh, yeah. Um, let's, let's have a, have a chill gameplay ass gameplay stream and, uh, and have a hang night. So yeah, let's, let's do it. So, yeah. Um, again, thank you, everybody. These are uh, 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 our our attempt at at thanking you properly, because um, it's it's re we 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 find it very difficult to to do it justice. Um, your support means the world to us. So seriously, wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have gotten this far without you. So um, thank you so much. We'll be back Thursday for Eureka. Well, until then, thanks, everybody. GG. Thanks for the hearts. <laughs>